I did it. All right, he did it right then. Okay, good. We're going. All right. Welcome to the pre-show chatter. Yay. We rolled Destiny, but now these guys are debating what they want to do with their EXP that they didn't spend in a month-ish. Downtime, everybody. Yep. Uh, while they're thinking about that, because I know some people may have had some ideas, I want to really quickly shout out our patrons like Adam DeHarp, Ahanga Comics, Architect 10, Lex G, Carlos Qua, Ferris, Jeremy Vasquez, Jonathan Sandoval, Kylie Denton, Legendary Boss Hunter, Liam Kessler, Regent Raptor, Rogue Robin, Shiny P, Charvor, Some Guy Named Bob, Sutton, Sutton, Over Tour, Seven Twenty Three. If you like what we do, want to see more, support the Patreon. You can get access to episodes early and lots of other goodies, and it helps us out. Hmm. Yes. So we rolled Destiny. We're perfectly balanced as all things should be. Blah blah blah. Camo's okay. duty has been triggered. It's very funny. <laughs> right, right. I get, it means I get uh, plus two. two. Right. Yeah, you get plus two wounds. Everybody else gets plus one wound. And um, I mentioned this before we started rolling mics, but there's going to be about a two week gap of downtime uh, because when we last left off, you guys were setting up several things, including getting reinforcements. So it's going to be a little bit before reinforcements arrive and before you're fully reorganized. So we're going to have a little bit of time off. And so you should strike all wounds and all strain you have. Reset to zero on that. Uh, does anybody have any critical injuries still? I doubt it, but... No. I doubt it, yeah. No. <laughs> all right. Usually you take care of those pretty quick, but I felt like I'd ask. Okay. Oh, right. So, uh... Anyway, uh, I know some of you have been talking about spending some of your EXP, so anybody want to go? Anybody who spent it want to go first? Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Oh. Right, lucky you go. So, uh, I bought a lot of little things. So, I bought another level of grit and toughened. Bought a rank of command. And I bought a nifty bitty called Stand Firm. Uh, what Stand Firm does as, as an action, make a hard leadership check. And um, I can choose one ally per success who will then increase their wound threshold by my presence until the end of the encounter. Nice. Yes. Nice. You'll have to stand firm, hold fast. Yes, and I do I... believe you get a boost die on that because you bought that rank of the command talent, right? Yes. Nice. I remember what talents are. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember exist. what's what. Yes. Uh, for me, as I was looking through my uh, short short I was like, oh, wait, I only have a... I, there's two deadly accuracies on this. So I don't have the other one. Oh, wait, I didn't get the cheap one. So let me just get that one for 10 XP and I'll get Oops. deadly accuracy light. Okay. So now I just get three uh, extra damage. Wait, uh, is deadly accuracy ranked? Uh, no, you just use tw no, you two it different instances for each different skill. Yeah. It's just like, ah, oh, I buy ranged accuracy for ranged heavy, and that's Okay, that's this it. is actually a good point of clarification. Can you do that? Does it say in the description, the full form, you can do that? Yeah, because I have two instances on here, where it says, one ch uh, uh, choose one combat skill, add equal to rank of that skill. Wait, you have two on the same tree? Yes. Okay, then yeah, okay, you can definitely. All right, it's I was just making sure. All right. Yeah. They would not listen. I I don't know if anybody read my tweet stream I had earlier last week where I once again yelled about the rules. Um, but I, while there are times when I I doubt what kind of sense they were writing this, um, there are other times when I'm like, okay, well if they wrote it under the tree, that must be how it's going. I also got crippling blow. I think the session before that, but yeah, yeah, you didn't get a chance to use it. I yeah. think. Uh, I went ahead and bought Gunnery at rank four. You saw it. And I think we might be doing some uh, vehicular manslaughter stuff later. So what did you get, Gunnery? Yeah, he bought a Gunnery rank four. Oh yeah. wow! Vehicular tanker slaughter. <laughs> Look, Jeez, there are two dude. things. Bo well, actually, no, three things boots can do: medic, shoot, annoy. He's definitely better. So, where him. are your ranks in coercion? When are you gonna get uh, <laughs> get a diplomat spec so you can buy scathing tirade boots? <laughs> Weaponize his annoyance. Point. I've been wondering what my third tree should. Uh, say, wait, no, I already got a third tree. What my fourth tree should be? I mean, don't I mean, I'm joking. Your... But if you wanted to take a talent tree that gives you a scathing tirade, so you can weaponize your annoying <laughs> abilities, like that would not be out of character. I mean, you probably just you don't want to literally. Play. This is a beautiful thing about Star Wars. You can literally build characters to yell your enemies. Not to death, but at least to getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> a, I, just, the... I just wrote down that they twice trade for each five weaponized <laughs> noise. Actually, I could probably... Uh, yeah. Always all, always friendly fire enabled. <laughs> it's like, oh no, everyone's down. All right, actually, Mark, I should you probably... actually lock in anything in BXP? That's no. a taunt effect. Okay. No, I'm, I'm baking it for now. All right. We need to go. Nah, I'll do it later. I very lightly burned my finger earlier. 
Oh, oh no. That hurts. Yeah. Well, it's fine. I just got to make sure not to rub it on too much stuff. Yeah. No rubbing, everybody. Uh, but all right. Okay. So we are in the downs times. And I do believe that when we last left off, I'm not expecting you to necessarily remember exactly what you want. But uh, I do believe that some of you wanted to get some buying of things done and also uh, maybe attempt some crafting. Wait, what did I want to be a buy? Uh, did I want to craft anything? I don't think I necessarily want to buy anything. Let me look at my character sheets. Uh, I, be I believe if, while well, those two are having their uh, peanut gallery discussion, I believe if Axe hasn't done it already, Camo wanted to buy the weaponized jetpack. Right, uh, the jetpack, yes, right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't remember what, which, that, what that, which one that is, but we can figure that I out. I have it here. Okay. That's, uh... So that was one. I it's know Marth was talking about possibly doing lightsaber work, but I don't know. I think you've got some spare parts for that already, though. I have, like, I think, let me actually check. I think I have, like, 11 spare parts. Yeah. You got a lot of attempts. I know what I shall do now. I shall play the Jarek in the, in the bar with people. Because Boots is not a crafty man. I'm just and I mean gonna... that in both ways. <laughs> you know what? I should probably start working on building a lightsaber. I got the sweet permafrost crystal. You got a lot of sweet crystals. I forgot I was kind of loaded. Damn. It's it's almost like the GM is slightly throwing them at you and trying to make something with them. <laughs> yeah, you want this? Throw. Bonk. No, oh, you know what? That one? it's about time. Bonk. Clearly, Cl 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 what's going to happen is Lucky's going to eventually make those uh, lightsaber gauntlets. No. We, no. We, we, we looked at it. I can't make lightsaber gauntlets. Can Kelly make, just can makes make... lightsaber web. They just can throws make, at people. Uh, can you make lightsaber punch daggers? No. Oh, okay. That's what we're just talking about. I can't make oh, yeah. lightsaber guitars. I can't make. <laughs> That's not really. Yeah, it's not, like I said, there's not really a lot of basis for that in the in the fiction. <laughs> even with some of the characters in the High Republic having some very weird hilts. No. Oh yeah, I guess. I, so I, I think the best we ever got was there was a guy with lightsaber Wolverine claws. <laughs> yeah. But that was oh, very yeah. dumb. <laughs> I guess the only one thing I might want to try and get is the damping emitter. Right, make that shit well, do you want to get that before or after you try to actually build your lightsaber? I think I'll probably do it after, so. It's like rarity 9 after the rarity increase, so it's very rare. <laughs> oh, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's two things I want to try to get. It's the intelligent toolbox and, I guess, the Z6 jetpack. All right. So, and I believe you have the money for all that. I do. It's just if the boss, if boss can help me get it. <laughs> well, hang on. I gotta, I gotta look at. Um... We're we're doing cost calculations. Gotcha. Yeah, so... Oh, I can calculate that. You guys are gonna go out shopping while Boots has to deal with signing his warrant. Because now he's Wait. W.O. Boots. Yes. Oh fuck. Yeah, we're gonna have a ceremony and everything. Yeah, it's probably not a huge deal, but yes, there would definitely be some like you gotta do some work. When is even the entire time? Boots is just like, no, don't make it. A... No, no, oh, oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it. Cam gonna pat you in the back and everything. We're gonna, do it. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna tr what trot everybody out. We're gonna officer. give out we're gonna give out medals. We're gonna give out honors. It's gonna be great. Oh, okay, all right. Makes so it's it's silver bars. Or colored bars, not gold bars. Yeah, no, gold bars is usually oh, um Yeah. Yeah. So Daunting, off one. I'll make that check real, real quick. B, B, Daunting is the four or five one. I can't. I think I it's can... like the five one. No, I think or formidable is five. Or no, no. Okay, Daunting, is, Daunting is five. Formidable is four. Oh yeah, I okay. was. Uh, yeah, only ten is the full five. And the... yeah, the modifier and the double cost full is like man, line. everything's fucking expensive. I'm actually double world. check. You got yeah. yeah. I should say this less openly, but for the sake of the microphones being funny, I will. Um, you should also buy Boots a dress uniform while you're doing it. Oh, <laughs> that's probably not that expensive. It's not, Just to be funny. but... Get surprise. him a dress uniform and a ribbon wrap. Yeah. Oh, yeah, surprisingly enough. That... I don't actually... Sadly, they came out with a ribbon rack, and they came out with a couple of medals, but there's not a lot of them. 
I don't think any of you guys have done anything yet bold enough to receive, like, what is it, the Star of the Republic or whatever. I mean, we're just putzing around on a backwater planet. Yeah. <laughs> just play. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Dress uniform. Oh, yeah, there it is. And a ribbon rack. One day, uh, Boots is going to lose all of his Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> Oh, what, do you, what do you mean lose? Oh, you're gonna set them on fire? Is this your sabotage <laughs> duty triggering? <laughs> to make you actually be an officer, maybe. Uh, maybe I'll get him this Republic insignia as well. <laughs> you're gonna do your job if it hurts you. <laughs> Official Republic symbol. Oh, well, you know what this is? You know what this is? This is a fucking officer coin. But yeah. That's, what, that's, what, that's what's gonna be. It's gonna be an officer coin. Uh, but let's see here. So, I'll honestly, all your I'm boys fucking, and I'm, fire team Grek are, are, are uh, you know, gently, gently bitching and moaning as the enlisted do about the fact that now they gotta call Boots Sir, all oh, man. Sir <laughs> <laughs> uh, Boots. <laughs> yeah. I I mean yes. No. I, you're you're. So the thing if we when they start changing your name now. Hmm. No. Yeah, he's still. I, you don't usually lose your name unless you do something like real crazy. Um, he, he is the boots guy, but um, no. It's <laughs> it, in case we didn't cover this clearly enough, and also it has been a month. The thing about being a warrant officer is that you are not technically commissioned; you are authorized via a warrant, hence why it's called warrant officer. But this means that you outrank all NCOs, but are ranked below all commissioned officers. Yes, so. You so like exist in promotion. that special zone. Oh. It's usually for, wow. um, as we discussed, mission specialists. So Boots is the medic. He's quite well experienced with medical stuff. So he gets a, since he started as a field medic, he gets bumped to a warrant officer. But also it can be used for like very senior supervisory. Does that mean I outrank Axe oh, Camo now? Uh, no, I believe we've discussed. Well, actually, I don't know. We... An arc actually, could be the equivalent of a senior NCO, but... Yeah, probably, yeah, actually. What, what is usually spec ops, like, rank-wise? Yeah. Well, honestly, in a lot of spec op fields, like, they don't necessarily follow, like, the same rules with, like, chain of command and whatnot. Yeah, usually... Yeah, that's, that's the thing. You may or may not out outrank camo now. As an arc, camo exists outside of your purview. Yeah. Uh, you might be able to ask him to salute you, technically... But also, I don't. Actually. That's the thing. Like sometimes, spec ops guys don't salute. Like there's a lot of weird spec ops culture. It's also entirely possible that also that camo is actually, actually no. You haven't taken any leadership type specs, have you? No. Yeah, then it's probably safe to say that that um, a as a pure arc, camo is probably the equivalent of a senior NCO. He would be like, uh, you know, like a like a high ranking sergeant or something. Okay. I don't think they actually get that granular, but it's also not uncommon because there are a lot of commanders and, and captains who have taken arc training. It's entirely possible that he could also have been an officer. Well, so was this just the role for camo stuffs? Yeah. Cool. Okay. If I got the toolbox, oh. finally. <laughs> Take All right. It's thirty-five percent off. I believe Mark oh, Mark I mean, I don't know if, if, if we should spend money to get that dress uniform. Do we want to just see if we can requisition it? Like, yeah, yeah probably probably get for the ceremony. I'm trying to requisition it. It's like, what are okay? Five. Six I'm gonna. Insignia. Yeah. Also, so I'm gonna. I think six is the highest. I'm yeah. gonna change the daily accuracy from light to melee because I think I actually want to hit harder with the best cat. Actually, seems fair. You it do is... sometimes have some problems piercing soak. Okay, so, so it, is, it is combat skill, but just the idea of like daily daily accuracy on melee. <laughs> hey, that's how it. I don't need to hit harder with the gun because I'm just gonna I, I, my handgun. Uh, fine with that. Yeah, no. Um, you can totally attempt to requisition this as just mere materials. Mate I believe six is your highest there. Six, and that's negotiation or knowledge warfare, right? Omega. Omega. Oh, um, that's a negotiation or knowledge warfare, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm better at negotiation. So, cut. Uh, roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. 
now gonna put this jetpack in my inventory. You hot swap your. I'm winsome. Put that. Yeah. That story. All right, so you get dress uniform, ribbon rack, uh, insignia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys have not qualified yet for a seal of service. No. Let me just yeah. move, let me move that plast tent out because I don't think we need that right now. I do kind of wish they'd done some more medals, but you know, here we are. Here we are. All right. It was I mean, in a book once. If anything, I'm you pretty can sure we have good that. size. If anything, you can just home brew. Yes, them. actually, <laughs> believe it or not, your tailors do in fact have his size. It's <laughs> like they're the size, I mean, the size of every other clone technically, trooper. Technically, like some clone troopers are pretty swole, you know. Yeah. And there, there are injuries as well, but no, like height and stuff is is pretty standard. All right, let's do that now. Let me go look up how much it costs to buy lightsaber parts. Uh, uh, is it 100 per attempt or is it more? Is it 100 per attempt? Uh, Let me pull out my holocron. Holocron, I think, is 100 for the rig. I also have like, I notice I have like yeah. 10 of these missiles. Yeah, you did steal 10 of them. I, I, I forgot the weight of them because I don't know if we're just like. Uh, no, nah, they, they're just ammo. They don't have any weight. All right, cool. It's just it's a it's a weapon that has a limited ammo quality, so you need to gotcha. acquire more. I have like a small like bandolier of ten of these things. <laughs> yeah, and if you hundred. want to get special types, I believe you can be trying. Yeah, it's a hundred rarity. I'll look four, into that. So within our thing, it would become two hundred rarity six. Is that most just yeah. is it? Is that most generic missiles? Uh, it would probably be. I'd have to double check if the weapon profiles line up, but at the gotcha. very least, we can figure it. Like, it might technically be micro missiles. Where did you post that? There we go. Okay, let's see. Fifteen. Gosh, this is gonna be something obs obscene where it's like it's halfway between a full missile and a micro missile. Uh, oh geez. god, I hope not. All right, it's let the same as jetpack missiles. Because <laughs> because we were ready. Let for, me pull we up the weapon. Yeah, they're they are jetpack missiles. Let me just pull up the weapon list and see if that matches the damage profile. It's not that's quite not a high caliber round, like. however. However, I just, gotta, I just gotta go dig through my toolbox to find 15, the list. I'm already scrolling it. Don't worry about it. All right. I will discover missiles. The bat, the jetpack missile was the one of the funnest weapons. Bounty hunter, though one of the hardest to use. Yeah, okay, so that's way more damage than micro rockets. Oh yeah, it's one more damage than the concussion missile. Uh, yeah, I will I will allow you to because those are alternate profiles, but they're pretty close to the one you've got. I will allow you to buy normal ass missiles on the weapon list as a missile for your jetpack as well, in addition gotcha. to whatever the default is. Okay. It means, like, yeah, it means trying, uh, like, high explosive or plasma might be a bad idea. Mm -hmm. I actually, I just realized, is there not an ion missile? Weird. They're ion grenades, I guess. Anyway, all right. Here we are. Born to be free. Prince of the universe. So that was your role to get Boots his stuff. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, I think the only thing mechanically Boots that does anything is the uh, Republic Insignia, uh, which gives you a boost in any checks to impress or persuade based on service. <laughs> which you might actually like. Uh, the dress uniform and the ribbon rack don't actually do anything. They're just, you know, how much does it cost to get these things? What was the special rule for forging a hilt? Do we just do we subtract two from mechanics check or I forget? I forget. Uh, or do we yes, have if you are working on your, it's when is it when modding you work on your? No, it is when building. Yeah, if you're building your own lightsaber hilt, you reduce the difficulty by two. Okay. Because it's hard normally, but if you're doing it yourself. Yeah, it's also the same with the crystal. I thought you had well, with the crystal, you also get to add your force dice. Yeah. If you're yeah, modding that... your crystal. Yeah. Okay. All right. But lightsaber hilt crafting. Okay. Actually, no, no. Okay. So I'm wrong. No, it's the that's only when modifying. Yeah. So because uh, just... the actual default check for lightsabers is already really low. Uh, it's just when you mod your own lightsaber, it's reduced by two. That means you can get more mods out of it, out of attachments. Yep. And. 
It's only two for standard and precision. Mine is 3D. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, why don't you just make Doing me a guard show now? Uh... I mean, you can... This is the thing we talked about. You can just make the defensive hilt if you want. You don't have to make it a guard shodo because that's very specifically a, a lightsaber tonfa. Oh, yeah. And I, listen, Lucky, I know you aesthetically. You're not going to be okay if you own one lightsaber tonfa. <laughs> You're going to be like, I look like a doofus. I need two. <laughs> a single tonfa. It's like, mm. I'm not even sure. I'm not an expert in tonfa martial arts, but I'm actually pretty sure you're not supposed to wield them as a single. Yeah, probably. I guess you kind of do that with the way police nightsticks are designed, but it's very uncommon. I have seen it done, but only in like a Yakuza game, where that's more of a devil, but that's a whole thing. So Yeah, I suppose. Man, I'm not getting... Well, I won't be like you shoot, with, only, with no mechanics and only two in end. This might take me a few tries. Yeah, the Tonfa is traditionally wielded in pairs. Could I Well, you can get, give you my gear that helps you improve mechanics checks? Uh, Not your custom toolkit, because that's custom the specialist you, kit. but yeah, you have a specialist kit for crafting, I believe. Which adds an advantage and success. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you also did just buy him that uh, intelligent toolbox. toolbox, so you can reduce the time by 50%. So you can use both those things if you want to. Yeah. That should give you some extra panache. But also, yeah, you can just, you know, you can always keep doing, uh, keep trying to make it easier. Yeah. That's true. Well, let's uh, go with uh, defensive lightsaber. That's 306, so that gets bumped up to 608. I do believe this was actually, these rules were actually made before they made the cross guard lightsaber so yeah yeah cross guard so let's, let's acquire oh, let's go let's go for like a solid three attempts so i'll hit the streets hit the markets be like hey let me roll in the junk shops i'm gonna see what calls to me uh, so uh, yeah, this is the, I've, I've always kind of love this quality of lightsabers is that the actual components that do most of the work are like dirt cheap you need yeah. you need the equivalent of some fucking pvc piping and you know double <laughs> a batteries you know some some like watch watch lenses and stuff like it's not the process of making it all work as, uh, as a precision oh. instrument and and stuff requires the crystal and the force but the actual like building it you know um uh, in the uh, in the old lord, oh, yeah, friggin' Corrin Horn um, built his lightsaber out of a his first lightsaber out of a speeder bike handle. Like he literally took a bike handle and turned it into a lightsaber. <laughs> Sorry, Mark, you were saying? Yeah. Interesting. It yes. all came out in the same book, and they didn't even bother. Hmm. Yeah, they're just like. Yeah, we don't want them. Well, to I guess do that. technically you, that is one of the the advantage options. That's really yeah, weird, yeah. though. If Lucky does that, then yeah. he's like defensive too. That's what I'm gonna try for. But All right, so... he's got a buy. Give me big money. Time. That is big money. Uh, Lucky, make sure to add success to that. For what? Well, actually, wait. Was that mechanics check or is that just a buy check? Just no, this is my buy, buy check. check. I have to buy. I have to buy check. Right. Never mind then. Uh, well, you got. How do you want to split up your force pips, there, Chief? This is the first time I've had to ask. I think. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, let's see here. The total cost would be eighteen hundred for three. Ah, uh, how much advantage would I need to double the, to double that number? To double the amount of parts you get? Yeah. Uh, I think yeah. I, I'm 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 okay with it being the three already. Okay. Like you've already got a lot. You what bought three? Yeah. Attempts. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say for three advantage, you can already make that six. Yeah. Then I'm just gonna dump the rest of it into success. I can't really now, specifically, you are buying defensive lightsaber parts, right? Yes. Okay. So that's the important to double check this. Where is the calculator? Because math! Maths. Oh, yeah, that sure really helped. Jesus. Yep. I took a shower today, too. Yeah, feeling clean is weird. a weird sensation sometimes. 
There's the page. So that's minus 630. So that comes down to a whopping 1,170 credits for six. And let me mark that before I forget. Lightsaber parts. Oh, actually, this is a good point. Um, I I remember this is in my homebrew that I worked on because you guys were asking about it. Did anybody ever pick up Craftsman Tools? I think Lucky no, might have. but I forget. Do we have to specifically state what, what cra the Craftsman Tools are for? No, they are just specialized for crafting Craft items. It uses a toolkit, though, so I think you can't use my specialist, my modding kit. Unless it's, that unless would be true, the... but this would mean that you could um, basically... Up to the ranks in the skill. Oh, yeah. Minimum of one success. Oh, okay, I see. In their craft, the crafting skill. Man, it really kills me that we have to use mechanics to make fucking... Well, yeah, skill... I mean, skills are skills. Skills are skills. Yeah, they... you gotta use pilot to fly. Yeah, and well, the old the sir, get a little finicky. But about they that. did the whole like split between either mechanics or something else. But this is just mechanics now. Oh wait, uh, looking at it, uh, the toolkit is for the toolbox. The assembly kit is a specialist kit, which is a separate thing. Huh? so that is a good point then. That so you could use it to the total no toolbox, actually. Yeah. Let's get the plus specialist tool. Uh, the intelligence toolbox just half. reduces the time by 50%. Mm -hmm. I do believe also, didn't you guys end up with the scrap recycling kit as well? Yes, yeah. I have the station. Yeah. Like the very so big if station. You, if you fail it, you will recoup 50%. Retain yeah, 50%. You'll recoup the cost. So if you do six, yeah. you can get three well, back. Well, unfortunately, I can't use the so do tools you. I have no mechanics. Yeah, okay. I could right. use them. I might actually might want those. Yeah, well, consider. Well,. Now I will try I'll to help make a you with these. Saber. Yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, like you guys got you guys got a couple of weeks, so you can go off and on making purchases. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, to intelligence, it is a hard me mechanics check. And uh, Axe, what do you what were you saying? You were lending me. What do they do again? The assembly specialist kit gives you plus one success and advantage on your check. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's a. I spent a long time making this. Yes, it's a. Uh, you can make a special. It's like a specialist. Uh, yeah, it's a, you built a specialist tool. It adds automatic success, and also on that check, he got the thing that adds automatic advantage. So yes. you add success advantage. All right, but that, unfortunately, I think that's it. So here we go. You did it, but I don't think you want it. <laughs> No, nope. it's a very good beta test. <laughs> uh, it's a hmm. lot of threat. Okay, this is just the okay. hilt, right? Yeah, it's just the hilt. Yeah, this is the hilt. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just, okay. I'm just gonna eat it. Can I just? Can I force feed it into the scrap recycler? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can just. Rec I think we can just make it. You can. I I believe we've talked about this before. You can just scrap bad hilts. Oh, yeah. also, there's um, the thing you can just reforge it for fifty percent of the cost. Yeah, but... So you. But yeah, but like but, uh, about to say like, like again, that's usually you do that so you can like maybe transfer a uh, uh yeah, uh I, I no, I think I think the most the, the most relevant thing is I'm gonna give you misaligned emitter <laughs> for three threat. Yeah, screw that. So uh yeah. You you build a lightsaber, you're trying to build a very finicky delicate because you're making a like, you know, compact defensive lightsaber and it's just not quite right. No, Right. It only takes you about six hours, though. Oh my god, there's a thing for... There's actual, like, threat. There's actual, like, despair things on this chart. Oh my god. Yeah, no. Okay. This, this, this is big stuff here. I have made it's, it's big, ye things. old standard lightsaber. Alright, attempt number two. You remember your training. <laughs> you build a pitch-perfect lightsaber. This is this has, uh, has the qualities of, you know, defensive one. This is the yeah. most average-looking thing I have ever seen. Yeah, it's uh, it it looks like a, a lightsaber from an old old Star Wars game. <laughs> it's just like a, a single polygon. <laughs> it's a it's a featureless silver tube. All right, could let's let's yeah, let's, I... let's, let's, let's just I'm gonna eat it. Okay, 
I think I... Uh, well, I, I, so you've scrapped two hilts, so you've got one hilt back. Yeah. <laughs> Worth of parts. There's one thing of... track. You did Yeet. it again. <laughs> yeah, you well, can't don't try to get a better result. Hmm. I'm well, gonna try. Let's keep trying, yeah. Let's see, so that's three. I'm trying to think, what would... There's not a lot you can do besides spending Destiny to do this. Yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah, like, that, that takes you less time, but would get a uh, negative. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> exhausting effort, you suffer three strain. Oh, let me mark that real quick. You'll probably get it back next time you rest, because, by the way, um, I'm I'm hoping you're not doing this contiguously, otherwise I might have to make you start rolling resilience checks to take penalties. <laughs> this would be six hours, six hours, six hours, and six hours. This is probably over, like, over a week. So this is, this is probably in the middle of your second day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, defensive... Guard showed it was 12 hours, actually. Oh, God, yeah. Okay, you would be but doing one a day. The, you're using the intelligent tool back. So that so cuts get, back the Yeah, you, get, you start with six. Yeah. All right. That toolbox is nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes us more time effort. Yeah. Okay, that was... Let's see. One, two, three, four. So I have... Uh, is that six? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can actually get like that much, much better. I wish I could give you my dice for this. <laughs> What is this? Uh, that's I... technically a failure. Uh, yeah. I do believe that means you can flip a point. Yes, you can flip a point. Oh, I can flip a point. That's right. I am learning shit. Because this has actually failed to be built. Okay. It, it just falls apart. And one more time. For good measure. Well, I believe this will be this. This will be the last of the six OG hilt parts. Yes. And you still yeah. have three more attempts later. Well, if I eat this one into the machine again, yes, but... Yeah. Yeah, I might have to go see if I can figure out something to... Like some Narnia So the too? unfortunate thing is you have just sent uh, Europa away on an away mission. Uh, right. But otherwise, technically, this is a thing she is good at. Roll. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the roll. Uh... <laughs> Nah, yeah, that's just a straight up failures. All right. All right. Uh, so you get an advantage. Three. But I'm gonna hold off for now because I need to think. Yep. So you 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 go down to the to the lab. You go down to, to to your workspace, and you start clanging, fiddling, wiring. One time you accidentally uh, poke yourself with a soldering iron. Ow. <laughs> uh, and like three days later, you come out and you're like, I've realized something. I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> like as, as you've got a necklace of the most generic lightsabers ever. <laughs> they just dump them into the recycling booth. You just dump them all. Just <laughs> you know, just hit just... the button. You hear the. Yep. You uh, hold down square to disassemble. <laughs> it's, like, it's like. Would you like to disassemble all? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Keep pressing A. Smash A. <laughs> So... If only you could guide Campbell to do this, but I don't know if you can. No, I. So lightsabers are as... making. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, I was about to say. While it is a simple process for Jedi, making lightsabers is not something that non-Jedi really get. You, when you finish the product, you actually lock all the pieces together with the Force. So... Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like Campbell could put all the parts together and then she seals it together. But I guess it's more of a thing. Uh, yeah, I mean. I'm trying to think, I don't think there's Is, anyway. I guess like, you hypo hypothetically, yeah. may maybe you could offer unskilled assistance to just be like point out good parts she can use, but that yeah. would be about it. With I like guess if they got it, if, if I'm like, point mechanics, I could get she could borrow my four mechanics. There's like, yeah, three parts to the lightsaber crafting one is the lights lightsaber hill two is a tuning with the crystal then three is putting everything together gotcha so yeah yeah you, you gotta do all the work no but um i don't i don't think we have anything that lets you you don't have the skill sharing ability no. there's absolutely like a talent or force power for that but no there is it's it. in it's in the battle med tree but i'm still a little ways away from it okay well we'll keep that in mind for future all i right. do uh i do have mechanics so Marth, you have uh, run up a shopping list for some stuff you yeah. want. Yeah. So, you want to roll it, or somebody else could roll negotiate your behalf? 
I have like zero negotiation. I think my presence is two. So ah, this wanna... is the other half of this problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like trying to find a damping emitter is even harder to find than a crystal cyclic crystal a cyclic crystal array. Um... Marf, I at least think for you I can at least I'll give you assistance for your mechanics, so at least I can help you there. <laughs> Well, no, this is to build okay. a lightsaber too, so. Yeah, okay. lightsaber. Yeah, and the dap emitter is 8,000 because of double lightsaber. Uh, All right, well, oh, yeah, because you, you need to buy double the cost. Well, this. I, I will go shopping. Yeah, double. Yeah. Shopping it goes goo. Yes. Well, not the greatest, so, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, dump that all. Success. Let's dump that all into um success. Make it three success. Success. Ten percent. All right. Well, you've got so a triumph. So, uh, since this is being bought for. Webu will give Webu for a shot. Is there another lightsaber mod that costs less than that damping emitter you'd like? Uh, let me check. <laughs> and if you don't have anything, I'll let this go to Arma if there's a mod she wants. I'll just... That's one that I want. Uh, okay, it's not going to be the Spear Hill because that's even more expensive. Who's, who's even kidding? <laughs> uh, okay, right. I already have extended help on that previous thing. Uh, let's see here. I believe you pre bought uh, that one. Well, yeah, that was from the double hill thing. The double tribes got the uh, got the extended hilt from that thing. Scrolling. Okay, so let me double check. Sorry. Just seeing what. Because I already have that. Damping emitter is okay. So that's one superior one, and extended health is okay. What thing I can get that's like either one, either like I'm just trying to see what. Okay, I'm just trying to look to see what thing that's like. Only one hard point. Uh, overcharge power cell is pretty cheap. Let's yeah, just spend that, that one advantage to get plus one damage. Yeah, but two threat for minus one damage, but still something. Uh, oh, I never which is overcharge. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be 2000. The fusion shot is not the one they want. What was that, Lucky? Uh, Oh, the um, Etan crystal. One that comes with an 8 tan Parian Reflect mod. I was like, hey. That's yep. cool. And when using Improved Reflect, increases the damage by 2. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll go for the Overcharged Power Cell. Alright. So, Arma also finds you an Overcharged Power Cell. Okay. Thanks. It has two, two pluses on it. Because I'm okay, pretty. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so 10% off of the buying things. So that's going to be. Well, 1200 off of that. So 10,800. Mm -hmm. I would like to put a bayonet on my crush guns. Sorry, I'm just scrolling and thinking Google Talks. Ignore me. I guess it's like... I, I, I... Attachments are fun. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm just I never thought about that What down. are the attachment points of Crush Gun? Okay, so none. now I'm okay. going to do my crafting now. Do that crafting. All right. Yes, the Crush Guns don't have any hard points because they Wait. were uh, folded 1,000 times by Mandalorian armorers. They need no mods. They, they really <laughs> don't. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go around the intelligence... Toolkit and the uh, scrapper thing. So you also right. can use my you can use my uh, assembly kit if you want. Just the bonuses. Yeah, okay. get the take a bonus. And also have the craftsman toolkits. Clearly, what what Camo is doing right now is he is not crafting, and instead he is testing supervising. his jetpack. And Ooh. also like, supervising them making shit. <laughs> okay, so you 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 just for fun for, and I use <laughs> a little bash. Uh, camera scene against the lightsaber till it works. Oh, my, you can't punch it. You're that thing into a lightsaber. That's not how it works. 
<laughs> Armand's out here trying to fucking metal bend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now this I'm pile of her broken I dreams is trying to form it into something. <laughs> mechanics three, intelligence two. I have two the three. mechanics force power, so I got three force bands. Yeah. But then we have a success and an advantage. Look, it's a bummer that Webu can't just make a lightsaber for you. <laughs> I mean, Webu can, but that's it's not yeah. the same. It's, it's not the same. It's 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 a very sort of personal thing. It's yeah. Like any sort like, of warrior culture, Jedi, any sort of like culture that makes weapons, they want to make it themselves. Otherwise, it's not the same. Like gotcha. te technically. Well, actually, yeah, I think we talked about this. Armand never got a chance to build her own lightsaber. She had to make a loner, I think. Yeah. Because you got, you got over promoted. Okay. So you, you, Jif, yeah, that's everything. Yeah, let me see what they have to say in endless, in endless visuals. Oh crap! Let me see if I can. Four advantage. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put in four advantage. <laughs> All right. And then I'll. Then you hit the craftsman's tool, I'll suffer one strain to make it five advantage. All right, fair enough. Uh, right, there's you got five advantage items to pick from. Yeah. So a double would also normally take you 12 hours. That's six minus two more because you've got... Actually, no, you don't have any bonus success, so it's full six. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What, okay. what was the, let's see, where's the one that makes it where you can just make, make it again but easier? <laughs> uh, I don't actually think you can... Uh, light, okay, never light lightsabers. Okay. So okay, so uh, let's see here. There's the hmm. So I know there's that energy. Energy bleed is for advantage. Yeah, for advantage, but it gains a stun to quality, which is yeah. nice. Uh, for can... three, you can get customizable. customizable. I think I'll go for three for customizable. Right, you get then, then I'll go lightweight for one to decrease the double ice rate from two to one. All right. And you have one left? No, no that's all, all of them. Okay. One, lightweight is one, customizable is three. So that's... Actually, wait, no, you do. Right? Didn't you bump it to five? Oh, yeah, I did bump it to five. Wait, maybe I should get... Oh, right. There is not really any other one that you could use. Can I just get a boost dice? Uh, I don't yeah, think you can get I boost can. Boost to a future mechanics roll. Okay. okay. Uh, I think I'll do another crafting roll. I'm trying Actually, to... wait. Uh, no. Uh, another thing you might want to consider is I've talked about this. Is um, you can do that. At, you can just do practice makes perfect. But uh, this is something I think I mentioned way in, way in the way back because I don't always, I don't I don't always like how they keep making those two things separately. Um, is you can also um, just use normal ass crafting results as well. Yeah. Okay. So just add a boost or... Yeah, you or... can take the practice makes perfect option to add uh, one boost to the next check you make with the same uh, skill okay. for the end of session. Okay. So okay. how many hard points does a double lightsaber usually have? It usually has four. All right, so you've made a five hard point lightsaber. That yeah, is only two... E1. Yeah, two of those things are... Yeah. Is it also uh, like two advantage to reduce the difficulty of the next check? Like... Uh, is it? Uh, I don't check. think there is one. It was like one for like probably like uh, like two's reduced difficulty or something. Uh, lessons, yeah. yeah, lessons learned. But that's if that's if we're gonna go on there for another one. We've already got yeah. a pretty decent hill. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to combine like multiple lightsaber rules to try to combine rules. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, That uh okay, that's everything. <laughs> okay, so that is four four advantage advantage. again. <laughs> yep. Right, what was the homebrew thing that we did was that we can like come uh, like put one sort of roll on top of the other when you're trying to make one thing, or is it another thing? Yeah, you can combine. You can work to combine the the hilts. The question would be what stuff you want to take from the like you've you've crafted. I uh, I believe that was a roll to craft a whole new hilt, right? So do you what kind of yeah. qualities do you want to put on it? Yeah, and then you can work to, to try and combine them. Okay, energy bleed on this. 
Yeah, I could. I'm just looking at to see what other... Okay, so this one I'm going to... Hmm. Oh, personalized design, huh? Yeah, I think I'll... Yeah, I think I'll do personalized design. All right. For this one. Okay. And then Ooh. I'll and have... Lightweight. Yeah, and lightweight. And then now this one's without the boost. Okay, you 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 pa 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 da da. Put them together. I think I should actually copy this down because each time I try doing Control V, I still have the shopping list. <laughs> you must make sure you have the correct copy paste. Okay, for that one, I'll. Hit the two thread with the light side, and then should I do anything else with that? Ah, uh, nah. That would just scrap, I guess. Uh, um, yes. Unless I want to suffer one strain, but I don't. <laughs> Okay, now this is the fourth time. Oh, we're just gonna... Well, you got the triumph. But I was about to say, okay, you've you've so already triumph, built several I'm functioning very... lightsaber health, so I'm I'm as I'm like, is this are we just gonna build lightsabers till you run out of lightsaber parts? <laughs> like, what's what's our goal? Probably. Okay. <laughs> until I get until I combine something. Wait, hold on. They want, huh? If you use the, so, use the marksman. Customize for a personalized design. Of... So. Uh, okay. That... Darn computer, don't do that. There, okay, there you go, so Meg, I had this... a genius idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do fine tune emitter for the triumph. Okay, and that gives I'll, you an advantage. And then if you use... I'll see. do three just to have one advantage left. And then transfer and make... success into advantage, you get two. Yeah, so two advantage. Uh... Uh, let's see here. Two advantage. Uh, can't really do much with it other than lightweight and get a boost. Well, actually, I'll just do the yeah. That's what I'll do. Lightweight and boost for the advantage they get from taking a strain to get one advantage and the three light uh, light side points to eliminate. Yeah. So now the next attempt. Probably should keep that one, I guess. And, uh huh. Oh, this kid bashing all these together after they're all dead. All right. Well, if you're going to want to put them all together, that's going to take you a shitload of work as well. Uh, yeah, I know. You're going to need to keep rolling to get bits to find bits. Okay, so that's four legs. Oh, planks. Uh, totally shit. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be... Uh... Well, you need at least one success. Yeah, so one success, and then I'll do three advantage. And I guess I'll just do uh, three boost. Uh, do you believe that can be selected multiple times? Yes. Yeah. All right, so you made a lightsaber hilt. It's just a lightsaber hilt. Yeah, it's just like, OK. Which tap you learned a lot this? from it, though. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> so this is this is number six. After this, you, if you scrap if you scrap two of them, you can make another one. Ax, stop helping him. He's already got functional lightsabers. Okay, Unless you want to be time. here all day. Oh, that's fair. Okay. That is a triumph. I'll right, do that one's going to be. 
probably the personalized inlay. Yeah. I do not feel. Wait, do I actually feel angry enough to do dark side? No, not yet. You could convert some stuff into advantage. Axe, silence. I'll just mute myself. I mean, I can server mute Axe. We can make this go faster. Okay, and that's just going to be back down to no boot. This is, I think, seven. I don't even know how many he has. There's another okay, triumph. So well, you don't one, have any more. Two, that's interesting. Three, so you don't have any more normal four, one triumph five, options. Six, seven. Yeah. Is there anything interesting on the normal crafting for triumphs? No, it's all. It's it's two triumphs or nothing. Got it. Okay. <laughs> you, yeah. can only, you can only use triumph to substitute for something else. Well, is there any other singular thing you want? I think you've got them all. Um, Energy bleed. <laughs> Actually, yeah, no, that doesn't say it can only be taken once. You can do it again. If you combine them, that would mean you'd have stun four, I guess. I have not, not actually taken energy bleed yet. Oh, you didn't? I thought you did. Whatever. Listen, man, you've done this I like seven times in a row. I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, the end result is Mars going to be able to have whatever lightsaber he likes because I'm not going to know what he did. <laughs> I literally don't know what's happening anymore. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should have just done this all at once and then just said, yeah. <laughs> okay. Then uh, I'll just put five advanced shells, etchy, energy, bleed, two, so it's done, four. <laughs> all right, fair enough. We did just discuss how that was technically possible. All right. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is like forty-two hours. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's well, actually, well, it's half because of the intelligent toolbox, but that's still six hours every time. How many was that? Yeah, seven times six is forty-two. <laughs> he let me just say that Webu will take breaks. She's not doing this constantly. Oh, no, no, yeah. I, I'm not actually concerned about that. We, you like I said, week. you have a couple of weeks. <laughs> um, So you guys you guys can... This is not to cat the first time he built his <laughs> lightsaber, where I think you you hid in the hold of the hot getaway and did nothing else until it was done. Yeah. No, also, was... sorry. I, I looked away from the Discord channel. I looked back and you see that fucking bit of Joshua Graham. I'm good. Yeah, I only found uh, I only found the one good Joshua Grimm gif. That's why we're just making lightsaber after lightsaber. Oh god, <laughs> using the dark side too. <laughs> I'm using one light. Yeah, he's gonna flip a light point. Get a just to get three yellow. Hunting for that double triumph. Nope. Slightly I, ludicrous, okay, by so, the way, FFG. Double triumph results. It's a little, it's a little silly. Eight advantage is good, though. <laughs> yeah, you got a shitload of advantage. Holy crap. Just, just, uh, just I'll that. put that into uh, eight advantage. <laughs> okay, I mean, you can get some interesting stuff. Yeah. Um, well, so on the, like, on the brawl thing. and melee weapons crafting, for instance, you can, you, you can spend four for accurate to a max of five. So you could spend... You got eight, right? Yeah, you could dump that into accurate, too. Yeah. I don't think I'll try to do the whammy of like eight stun because that's too bonkers for this weapon. <laughs> that is a little intense. You do also already have stun four, so. Uh, yeah, it's like it's stun four. Is like, it's too advanced you to stun. It's like, uh, why are you? Double um... check. Is that suffered? I believe that's just straight up suffered strain, not strain. Yeah, damage, that. Though. Yeah, st straight up suffered strain. Yeah, that's it, definitely yeah. Kill people. <laughs> Uh, it's it's think... almost like these guys don't really intend you to make your lightsaber over and over again, but don't actually make it easy enough for you to do anything worthwhile that Unless you can you do actually it over do it in one attempt, as seen by Lucky, who doesn't have any mechanics, who has utterly failed to build an interesting lightsaber six times in a row. Omega, as an example, how many times did it take me to make good armor? <laughs> okay, it did I take mean... you a couple of times, and you didn't even you didn't even try and build this many in a row. It was just like shit dude okay, like you just so... wanted to roll any number of advantage i think actually part of that is why i designed the specialist craft uh, the craftsman's tools because you were just rolling like six successes and it was like okay well it takes me two hours to build a boring suit of armor <laughs> okay so it was the brawl and melee one that had the accurate yeah it's on the brawl and melee table it's scrolling okay so yeah i guess i'll get accurate too for this and then i'm done 
Oh my god. This is this is a friggin' meme at this point. The the Chad Webu versus the Virgin Arama. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. Now the kid fashion will begin, and that's when she starts spending dark points. Okay, so you're gonna actually try and okay. So I'm trying to remember what we said about this. I think the normal rule about like that's like eight double lightsabers that I'm trying to kid bash together. Okay, so normally well, think... the way this works is reforging a hilt is. During acquire materials, you can reuse a hilt to lose fifty percent and spend a triumph to transfer. Um, the way I want to is, is if you have an intent to combine hilts, you can make a single mechanics check, same difficulty, to combine two elements. Uh, but let's see, what's the best way to do this? Did I say before I want you to pay the cost? Ah, I mean, so normally it's a 50% discount. I do think it's fair to say that this is 100% materials cost. Like, you gotta, you gotta have yeah. the parts to work with to make sure everything lines up. Yeah. So, yes. I, that was, yeah. So, and I now it's made... just like figuring out which ones you want to do. You do have to do them in order because, well, not in order, but you know what I mean. You gotta do them in, in, in a sequence because there could be negative or positive results. Yes, I know. Seriously, though, again, why why would you do it this way? You have to spend a triumph to transfer one positive result normally. You've got a triumph. You can just take the new positive result. It should... It, sorry, it just doesn't make any sense with the difficulty economy. There's literally no advantage to doing it. Unless you get, like, a two triumph... Res you got the two triumph result, you want to get it back for one triumph. Like, it's just not... It doesn't make that much sense. Or you can get someone... Like, if you find, like, some weird Jedi swordsmith that can just roll five yellows and, like, two boosts on it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but why? He'd just make you a good lightsaber. Like, it's... Yeah. I'm just saying, the fact that it costs you something to transfer a positive result, which you can already use to get any positive result you like, is dumb. It, it has no... There's no benefit. It's pure cost. That... I, I guess it's for people that want to play those like games where you're like you're weirdly desperate all the time or something. I, I mean, okay. yes, it does save you the like it would be, it would be useful if like we had no money and Arama didn't have the cash to buy like five copies of her hilt at once. Yeah. Okay. But even then, yeah, like I... the odds that you would not just start over fresh, it's like the, uh, the cash. Yeah, one of these results was just a regular old lights <laughs> double lightsaber hilt. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. So, that was a new roll just now. Sorry, I'm losing my math. Do you? Uh, this one was the latest one. Yeah, okay, that was just that ever. was the eight one, right? Okay. Sorry, I'm like, I, I keep looking away and like I have some channels muted, but I don't have this you know, like Discord's being weird. So okay, anyway, yes. I I have delivered my ruling. Is anybody so... doing anything? Oh yeah. Sorry about that. I couldn't quite hear you because my ear. Discord thing was cutting out, so you were cutting out on me. That happens occasionally. So what was the thing? It was something about the fifty percent. No, that was me reading the old rule. Do your okay. to combine hilts. Do your your mechanics check again. You have to pay the materials cost. Okay. I just think you remember somebody nodding at me and saying yeah when I said this, but um, but pay the full materials cost because normally it's a fifty percent discount. But you can just transfer the positive results from one to the other. Okay, I can do that. Uh, right. Full it's only between two of them, right? Cost. Yeah, is... at a time. Okay. Yeah, full material cost is six hundred. Twelve. Okay. So I do have the spare parts that are still around for that. Uh, you can use them if you've got them because it's the same thing. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that was eight times, so I have three left. All right, well, you maybe can should, combine maybe three I hilts. Maybe instead design what I want my perfect lightsaber to be, and then just work from yeah. there. Okay, so just regular roll and just do mechanics. Yep. Do your same hard mechanics. Purple. Yeah. You can still use my okay. kit, so like. Yeah. Yeah. Obvi yes, you can keep all the bonuses. Okay, so I'll do two success, one advantage. All right. Okay. You have successfully uh, combined two hilts of your choice. They keep all the positive qualities from both. 
Yeah, I guess I'll combine the one that was lightweight and then uh, customizable. Okay. Now. Wait, wasn't yeah. the first one that was was already lightweight and customizable? Oh wait, yeah. This is the problem uh, with rolling so many checks so fast. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that was the one that was lightweight customizable and then the the practice makes perfect so that one i need okay i need to actually step this down so anyone else that needs to do stuff do it right now uh, i don't think well uh, i could I'm make about, more I'm more stuff do. but i'm okay with waiting i don't i'm gonna i'll check my hard points and then, uh, uh, the only other thing, by the way, I do want to throw out there as I was double checking this is uh, you guys, you Jedis may have Jedi multi tools or lightsaber maintenance kits. Those do add one more advantage to building lightsabers. Oh, uh, that was the one that I was using to my thing. I knew I forgot something. I don't think there is a. Wait, was there another advantage that I could. Yeah, use my kid, yeah, you, using... you should. Yeah. Oh, because okay. access thing is success and advantage. We're not going to redo it all, though. Yeah, I'm not going to redo it. So, okay, the first one is customizable and lightweight, I think. So, okay, let me roll up. Uh, okay, third one I did not do lightweight, but that was the uh, one of the three results. Or uh, wait. Uh, this is why I should write things down. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, so this one was the personalized design for the second one. And then I think I... Wait. I mean, in total, you ended up with, I'm pretty sure, one was personalized design, one was, one was double energy bleed, and then you did a fine-tuned emitter and a personalized inlay. Yeah. And then I think yeah, the, the second, one is like second... Second one was the energy bleed. Because I just checked because otherwise we would have done another practice makes perfect. And then the third one was the one yeah. One advantage, lightweight, and then uh the one of the two things which I did the fine tune emitter. So the third one's fine tune emitter, lightweight. Then fourth one, uh, that was four. Uh, yeah, that one I did three boost dice and just took. That was the fourth one was the normal one. Okay. And then fifth one I did the fine tune emitter. Sixth one. Which is a one success, three advantage, one trying to thing. I think I did. Uh, huh. Let me just double check what I was doing. From now on, when we do big crafting things, I'm going to insist that everyone writes down everything. Yeah, that's why I was. Yeah, I, think... I mean, I don't want to be sassy about it, but also I was kind of imagining that we were doing some writing as we're we are blowing through so many checks in a rapid discussion. <laughs> I was hoping there was a purpose to this. OK. Well, my purpose. Th uh, thanks to the power of editing, the audio version will cut out a lot of this awkward silence. The video will not. There will be suffering suffer with us, audience. No, I think I'll pull up the, the melee thing and the lightsabers, and I'll see what my ideal lightsaber would look like. I th think those were all the things I was doing, at least with the stuff. So, somewhere in there... I'm just going to just keep... Them <laughs> yes, you got two accurates. You got that. Plus, da, 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 da. And one of them so how many... was plain. So, how many total lightsabers do you have? I think I have, like, eight total lightsabers. <laughs> No, I mean, did we? Did you roll eight checks? All right, well, I gotta look it up. Yeah, yeah it did. Okay, yeah. All right, so. All right, seven of them. 
then one of them is the one that got nothing on him. Okay, so yeah. you succeeded on your check to combine a couple. How many do you, uh, which which one of those two pairs do you want to move together? Uh, okay, so I'll do the lightweight personalized inlay. The, no, it was the customizable and, pers- customizable and lightweight with the personalized inlay. All right. One. Those two are combined. Okay. I'll combine the that one with the two accurate one. Okay. You do you do pa 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 doing this. Two advantage. Oh, right. advantage there. So that's two. Oh, you're gonna tap into the dark side. Wait, yes, this is where I'm. Here, flip the point. Take your. How many strain? And how I many have conflict? to. I have to take at least one dark side to actually make that success. Yep. So at least define how much you want to do, and you want the extra success, or you want to just go for. I'll just do the success. All right. Like a conflict and a strain. Yeah. Conflict and its train, I'll just angry uh, lightsaber building. <laughs> it, it goes for a lot. It's like you, attack you start playing. Uh, you you start playing uh, some Lincoln Park in there. <laughs> Trying <laughs> it, my boss. I was thinking of the edit where everything, every line is crawling. <laughs> crawling in no. my crawl. Now I'll combine the one with the personalized design. Okay. You just make you just remind me of the uh, the edit of uh, Eight Mile. <laughs> just everything's mom spaghetti. That's it. Oh yeah, and there's a triumph in there. Can I just upgrade? Yeah, my you could role? go for an upgrade on this check, yeah. Okay, so four success and two advantage. All right. Well, let's. That's the three you've got with the materials you had on hand left. So yeah, which so... which one did you add to this one this time? Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So I did. Okay. Which ones did I mark? Just mark down oh the ones God. I have with. Like Marv. I'm like I'm proud of you that you basically have made eight and you're combining them all into two. Like fuck, you're just like <laughs> crushing them all together. It's like, oh my god, uh, a lot of squish. Uh, so I mean, te- so technically there should be four of the results should be used now because it because he's gonna keep doubling back. Yeah. So it was. Oh, wait, hold on, what am I doing? Yeah, that's one, Excuse two, you. Why I three. This video, how dare? Yeah, one, two, three, four, and then I guess right. One, two, yeah, one, two, and then, yeah, that's one, then two, then three. Okay, so I guess the fourth, they combine the one with two accurate array. If not, then I'll combine the other personalized one that I haven't done. Why are you not letting me uh, It was customizable, then inlay was the first one. And then the second yeah. check was you added personalized design. So then, yeah, the third one can be add accurate. Yeah. So you okay. added all four of those together. Okay. So that leaves you with just the stun, which I yeah. think are on different ones. No, you spent eight for uh, four stun on two, unless okay. you have actually six stun. Um, yeah, I think it was just internet detective. Done Somebody four. go back in the past hour and eight minutes and figure it out. Oh. Okay. So I'll just roll regularly now. Okay, so it lets me play. Well, do you have the materials left? Because remember, you're paying 100% of the lightsaber cost each time. I can pay the cost. Okay, just make it sure. So that's 600. I see that Loth has begun playing RimWorld while we wait. Oh, yeah, no, that. Okay, again, it's basically as I wait for it to load. It, no, it's okay. So I, just, I just see you in the oh. sidebar there, Chief. Okay. <laughs> I just, I, look, I'm Listen, if I could get away with playing part. Civ while we do this, I would, but I can't. Uh, My computer okay, would that's, eat itself. That's the final one. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. 
So the end result is you have a very shiny lightsaber that does a lot of stuff, and I hope you write down all the stuff it does, because <laughs> yes. I don't. We're not, I'm not gonna remember. <laughs> also, Lucky's got to go plan a crafting date. I think. I think I do. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, uh, so you you do this for like two days, you know, the equivalent of like 24 hours. Webu goes into the into the hole for like twice as long and comes out with a really really shiny double bladed lightsaber, and you're just like. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a cotton picking space minute. Wait a parsec. I just need. Now I just need to actually write down all these stats. It's like as shiny as the thing Cam was spent like months making. <laughs> just lift that well, thing like up. Power of the Jedi. Yeah. That's that's what you get when you get to roll extra dice for successes. Basically, you get yeah. you get f three extra d twelves to turn into yeah. success. Yeah, personalized design, which is plus one success for me, plus one threat for others that try to use it. Yeah, so now it's <laughs> only you can use it effectively. So it's it's you know once you install the extended hilt, it's like really long. Uh, probably got like some supple curvature, you know, has a very yeah. streamlined fluid look. It's probably easy to use in water <laughs> somehow. She goes back to her days of like watching her sister making her blade. Uh, which is that whole Slonian glaive thing, which they do. Yep. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm searching for a dumb ship post, and I remember. Then... I'm still giggling oh, yeah. over bananas rotating. And having their <laughs> lightsabers. Banana. I sh There has to be a grievous edit of that out there somewhere, right? <laughs> I don't know. There's the one where he gets five billion lightsabers and dies. So. <laughs> he, just <kills> <laughs> he, just, he just evaporates in a puff of, of logic. Oh, yeah. There's actually one more that I need to do. Oh, God. Mark. Yeah, this one. <laughs> It's yeah, there it is, the, uh, <laughs> oh, wait, I think, actually, the fine tune emitter, wait, no, it was... Oh, fuck all my gifts you are gone, fuck. Uh, well, you didn't put fine tune emitter in the list, but you did actually do fine tune. That is one of the results you got, yeah, yes, you did. Yeah, I think fine tune was from one of my triumph ones, so I think that went in with one of the, one of the other ones, so it's... Let's just say it went in. I'm, yeah, I'm fine. I don't I don't need you we, to roll one more time to figure it out. We we know what results you picked, and I think we figured it all out with the math. Yeah, now we can move on. Okay. Let's uh I, so I mean you you guys once again, you have some you have some spare downtime while all this is happening. Oh uh, while while we have her Tony Stark montage. I already said at the beginning what uh Boots was doing. Yes. Oh, uh, uh, there's only I am actually good at it. Hiding in the bar, playing Dejaric, running from his dress uniform. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Uh, oh yeah, now I can add any mods I do to my lights here is already reduced by two, but now it's reduced uh, by another one. I'm gonna have to okay. go and recover boots, aren't I? I'll help you, cause like, fuck, I don't know what else I'm gonna do, cause I don't have crafting to do. Well, no, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock him out and then attach a balloon to his ass and shoot him, him into the <laughs> shoot, him, shoot him into space. <laughs> It's like, uh, if only I could pick him up and Defeat drop him in mud. Defeat me in the children's car game before I move anywhere. Fine. <laughs> now I just need a lightsaber crystal. You should ask Arama. She's got like five. I don't have five. I have yeah. three. <laughs> and then Arama's like, "Okay, I'll play. I'll play your game." I cast fist. Like, wait, no. Yeah, no. Actually, if you did say I have to beat you in the dark, okay. You want to play a war game? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> no rules. <laughs> Ar Ar Aramad just sh just shouts in the middle of her own bar, uh, PT. Everybody runs. <laughs> Surprise, PT. <laughs> no, no. She just says, and now all the clones just hold their breath. We start with they like you know they tense, physical. They're gone. <laughs> Conditioning. No, 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 no. Sorry, no. You, you thought there was clone troopers. No, those were just. The dust outlines of what used to be clone troopers. <laughs> if any clone trooper comes to, to check in on whatever, it's just like the, the, the bar is full of Microsoft, uh, not Microsoft, uh, Minecraft armor stands. If some clone trooper just comes in to check on whatever, it's just like, hey, it's like, what are you doing? It's like, you, 20 laughs. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, wait, I don't think I saved that ship. Oh, I need to go find it. Oh, uh, let me see here. Well, I still got some credits because, sure, I don't... Why not? Let's just fucking spend money. Uh, return to money. Return to money. Uh, let's see I still see have, here. like, 16k. Holy shit. Ugh. I'm still on my quest to make the perfect fucking head uh, neural charm. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, oh, that is sorry. everything. Just the way I'm... we write where we write save, the fact that she's an auto reminded me of this wonderful ship post, which will load eventually. Okay, now everything I just need. When the upside down, the... you know, makes it so. Yeah. Otherwise, you just gotta stare hypnotizingly into Grievous exploding over and over again. <laughs> 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 A hearty chuckle. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh... At least I can go through. And now I shall remove again. it. I'm still, I, I am still currently dying over how bullshit the protective amulet is. It, like, <laughs> I just, like, look, look at this. Look, uh, internet, you can't see the lightsaber tables, but I'm gesturing to them open on my screen. Look at this and, like, how complex this is to do all your bullshit and how much shit Marth had to do to get, like, four things on his lightsaber. Which aren't even yeah. really that broken. Like some of them are. The extra success is pretty gnarly, but like, it's not that crazy. Most but, of them are and just then nice just things. Look at the what the the protective charm just does. All right, so let me because I'm like I'm probably gonna make I'm probably gonna make another neural charm here. But the protective charm for the whopping son of 300 credits, rarity four, and making an easy discipline or knowledge lore check over the course of three hours. You get something that commonly taken the form of a ring or a brooch. This talisman surrounds the user with an aura that stimulates the comforts of their native environment, no matter the dangers that surround them. When active, the talisman allows the user to ignore environmental effects such as fire, acid, and corrosive atmosphere. They will always act in a standard gravity field and may breathe normally even underwater and in a vacuum. Weapons with the burn quality do not count as having that user quality when attacks when used as a part against the user. It's a and fucking. You'll like, notice, no, I believe, Lucky read the whole description from the book. There, yes. You'll notice that it does not uh, break or anything or explode as some talismans do. You just get immunity to fire <laughs> and vacuum. It's, a, it's like a force nano. It's like a nano weave nope. force it's a, made it's a sonic bubble. Suit. Yeah. It's, it's just but a sonic. like, I get what they're going for because usually resisting those types of things means you know you're a big beefy boy, and if you're a, an alchemist, you're not. But like, damn, dude. For for three hundred credits in rarity four, like I, 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 the forums are gone now, and I, I so I'd have to go to like the offsite archive. But like, fuck, dude, did did somebody miss a fucking line in there? Like, you know, it you have to like activate it for like I, I don't. Know, it's just it's nuts. It's easy. It's easy. <laughs> All right, so how long? Hey, I gotta double check how many fucking blueprints I have for the neural charm as I have been slowly perfecting this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you've been working on that one for a while. <laughs> like at least two. Uh, let me see here. Let me see here. Let me see here. Hopefully, it's written down somewhere. No, it's not totally written down. I'm just trying to remember where I written down. I could have swore I put it with my bar stuff. Yeah, here it is. It's under my alchemy section. Yeah, I have three blueprints for neural charm. Oh my god, that makes, how it, hard that makes it an easy check. <laughs> Do you, you want to go to the North Pole and camp out with Europa so she can use encouraging words if you fail? It's like. That's there, what it did. There, she doesn't have skilled. Do I didn't give her skilled teacher, even though that would be funny and relevant right now. But no, I will uh, give her encouraging words. No, I don't feel like we should run up back north quite yet. We just well, it's been probably some time, but I'm just making. Yeah. I'm just giving it one go here. It's been a couple of days. Yeah. Right. You so yeah, just show you, back you up. Have like... firmly set up your rotation. Yeah. Uh, and what I do want to say is, since we're bringing it up, uh, over the course of these couple of weeks, we also get started on some other stuff. Like, your, because it's been a while since we left there, your Canyon Air Base is now actually getting started. You know, they're throwing up prefab hangar buildings. Oh, yeah. You're actually getting, like, duty rotations and shit out there. Cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, they finally did everything. Jesus. Oh, my God. Your, uh, your, your various uh, ends of your railway project are probably starting to, like, actually bicker about how, you know, who should do the groundbreaking. Mm -hmm. Who should start where kind of a thing mm -hmm. like oh. not like the fake arguing but like the real stuff mm -hmm. um, I like to spend the three advantage to get an extra set of neural charm parts Okay, sure, and then I'll take a 20% discount 
So what is twenty percent from twenty four hundred? Uh, yeah, I wanna. What I wanna say is, if this sounds all right to you, it, it, there's definitely in the final result of this lightsaber, there's definitely something like weirdly aggressive about it. Like I'm, I'm imagining it's got a very, a, a very like we said, like lean aquatic shape, but like at some points it's just got some like it's weird predatory. like fishbone style sh spikes on it. Predatory. And you're just like, that's a little weird. And now you have to put. All you have to do is put the crystals in them. <laughs> Yeah, well, I gotta say, I got crystal. a spare crystal if you if you want it. I got like three different yeah. crystals. No, I, I I like no um because um yeah I made the Padawan one took, took yeah. one of them and yeah, all um, I have to see about it. there's already enough crystals thrown at the party. <laughs> Because I remember at least three I'll different admit, I don't think show. I actually yet quite snatched one for Wevu, but we could work it in. Also, I mean, you could just... Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take... I'll at least take the one from Arima for now until I get one that might fit me better. Yeah. Because now, yeah, now that I've seen that this fucking... This uh, Antes crystals, I'm like, oh no, this is sweet. I want this. I didn't know this... Because I remember this... Yeah, I know that uh, Lucky would probably like the Chris Crystal Cyclic Ray. I remember there being or like there was the one from the from like where Crown was. There's one from the Bandagora, and there was then a one from like the first uh, the Black Garden. Well, yeah, there's also, yes, one, so, there's also uh, one from the um, from the Republic Fortune, but that one went yeah. with yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, Cavus took that with him when he left. Yeah, so like yeah, d d so okay. you've got the the equivalent of a uh, most of these are homebrew also but you've got the equivalent of the uh Fircon. Fircon. i have i have it written down because i you've got the permafrost the, the, you have the ice the lightning and then the bing agora one which is the kind of the kind of fire yeah but the it's, evil one. it's the evil one it's the darkness <laughs> but no that's uh, here i will as you know congratulations on making such a Completely bitchin' and bitchin' lightsaber, and because I'm trying to show that I'm totally not jealous and butthurt about this, I'll gift you a crystal. Asshole. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you just turn on my face. Roll. <laughs> you just catch. like, roll. <laughs> like, roll athletics to catch. <laughs> you just fucking shot puts it into your face. Well, least, otherwise, you take. Otherwise, you take 20 wounds. 20 wounds? <laughs> Almost kills you. I mean, I think Arima can't toss it that fast with enhanced. Oh. Uh, well, actually, I don't think I can. I can't. I, if, I, if I do some bullshit, do yeah, I could probably hit, could um, break 20, 20 damage on a punch, but probably not a throw. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. When I throw this, it will reach terminal velocity. <laughs> All right, Explosion. Anyway, okay, I, got my, now, I got my new okay. charms. I'm gonna try and make this damn. Thing. Anyways, I guess now I'll try to attune to this thing. Yeah. Uh, lucky as a thing. Yeah, do you, you want? Are you gonna use the intelligent toolbox as well? I can't. Do I think? Do okay. I actually need These to attune to check. the crystal? Right. Uh, no, that's a fluff thing. You just need to take some uh, time, which you've got. Okay, so now I'll slot, slot it in. in. Okay. So that has the thing that Lucky mentioned. So base, it sets the lightsaber to dam six, crit two, reach one, stunder. Starts with stun one. Now you're at stun five. And then when attacking your droid or vehicle, it's treated as having the ion quality. Because I realized they never actually came out with an ionic lightsaber, probably because giving it ion straight up would be like it doesn't hurt people at all. But then I'm like, but you can just, the rules are what you make them, Fantasy Flight Games. You can just say it does a thing. So it can just be super rare okay, and really so hard to use. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is. I guess I'll we'll work. Okay. Oh. Wait, should oh. I work on my, my crystal oh. now? Well, you have a... You have oh, several fuck. mods you can go ahead and slot in already, right? Yeah. There are, like... There are a number of mods that I need to pay for the mods. Well, I mean, you have you have okay. attachments already. Oh yeah, I do have attachments already. Yeah, so this is gonna be a fun one. You got a triumph, you got four advantage, and you got three light pips. But you yeah. also got four dark pips. The darkness. The darkness. Slotting in the extended hilt. Time to see how Omega screws with this. Oh yeah, he's gonna look. See, I will double check what I want to do with it. Uh, because I did want mighty. 
Oh my god, the four Dark Pip one's insane. <laughs> oh, that's that's hilarious. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so those, yeah, so I'm slotting the Extended Hilt, the Furcon Crystal, the Daphne Emitter, and the Overcharged Power Cell. Yep. Failure to activate uh, actually. Eventually, <laughs> eventually, the Overcharged Power Cell will be replaced by the Superior Hilt. But, you know, you work with what you got. Also, yeah. Superior is fucking expensive. Yeah, it is 20k for me. Oh my god. Su superior, superior is correct. Act one of the few things that is normally correctly priced. Yeah. And it's, it's also double bullshit. priced for us, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's this is... Point. Yeah, this is why double lightsaber hills are the most... most credit uh, sinks ever. Yeah. Because you gotta pay double for the components. Yeah, okay, so that right, will give you're me... You're pretty robust. Plus one damage from extended hill. Daphne and Mayor allows me to switch it to stun, so I can actually stun people without having to switch to the Electro Staff. <laughs> no, it's, pre it's, it's pretty cool. You, you power this thing on, and, like, it produces two, like, clean electric blue blades, which literally crackle with lightning. Yeah, now I just lightning. need to... Now I just need to come up with a name for it. I already have one. I just need to think of another Sloanian name. But okay. Lucky, whenever you're ready to tell me what you want to pick on the thing. So I will be picking um, Mighty and Invigorating. Wait, did I do that math right? Yeah, because I got four. Because I got four and three. That's seven. I mean, I think technically it wants you to spend all f spend like five light pips total, but the math converts really weird. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. I'll allow so, it. Some of these crafty tables are just janky. Yeah. I was going to try them, so yeah. But okay, so you get mighty. That gives you an additional die. And then what was the other one you wanted? Invigorating. When I use it, I hit one string. Okay, so I got four. Still got triumph left. So do I got triumph left? Oh, I do. Yeah, you got triumph. Want to get like oh. spend that for any other one? Clever construction to give it to Webu. <laughs> well, actually, no. That's mm... you got a trail. <laughs> what, what do I want to do? Oh, uh... some of these I don't think just apply to how you use it. So, well, that's the weird thing about talismans is. They there's do, a lot of them. There's a lot of them, and they do weird stuff, but they had yeah. to try to make a table about heckin' this. Uh... Oh, right, and then the... Fuck, I might just take another the... boop, boop for it. Huh. <laughs> so it's simple? Make it simple. Sure, but... go for it. Whatever floats your boat, Chief. You've mastered uh... this. <laughs> I've been thinking about this, but no. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go with... Um... Uh, failure to activate. Ooh, powerful. For four. So that if I want you to not do that, I can spend two destiny points. Well, that makes I just had a thought. Points, like, so... okay. It's my lightsaber. The, li the, <laughs> the light has been folded over a thousand times. Ah, uh, I mean, the hilt was, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> At least ten times. Alright, so now I actually have an E1 fucking, I mean, an E0 neural charm. Which is one of the one things I was like, because the first one I made, it's like, no, it's heavy. I'm like, damn it! Now it's circular okay, instead of a mask. No, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there were a couple of choices I could have, I could have been annoying and been like, ooh, -hoo, bad feeling. But no, I was just like, nah, four, right, four, I'll, four, I'll, I'll, you give me four. Wait. I'll just spend all four for failure. That means that if I want to, I can just be like, nah, you don't do that. You don't do that this time. You don't get to be smarter. Honestly, throw to activate on a protected charm would be hilarious. Uh, yeah, no, that would be very, very <laughs> funny on on a number. You want. <laughs> But okay, all right. Okay, so you crafted your charm. Boots is literally hiding. Mighty. Camo is literally looking for him. No, oh, it's a game of cat and mouse. Cool. Because I got nothing better to do. Because I don't think there's like actual like stuff you can dedicate time to like boosting your own shit. I don't think so. Not if you don't have anything to craft now or mod right now. 
No. Like there's we got plenty of like fluffness in there, but you know, you've got you got some downtime. We can Actually, work can it I out. mop this jetpack at all? Let me check. I don't think you can. No. Uh, no, I don't think it it, it nah. counts as a vehicle, but I don't believe it has any hard points. Gotcha. <sighs> you can like get your practice in with it. You can you you can play, you know, paintball tag with boots. I do like base de eighteen damage of this thing. Yeah, it's missile. a it's a what, it's range heavy weapon. It's range heavy, yeah. yeah. No, I get plus good. on that, so yeah. And then I can get like I can try to get like I can get high explosive ones or plasma, so it does like actually does like ion. Yeah, you can get some funny stuff in there. Or at least pierce. Okay. So yes, I'm pretty sure that after after like babysitting his Jedi slightly and like, okay, here's your intelligent toolbox. Here's your recycling <laughs> station. When you don't like what you built, just put it in the recycler. It's fine. All right. And then he just, he goes out to do uh to do uh jetpack flips and stuff. Wee. Wee. Demo, away. <laughs> like through the ceiling. I, planetary. I, I, I guess if I ever get, if I get Tim more experience, I'll buy planetary three years older. Okay. Alrighty, so um, like I said, there there are your bells and whistles are going, your wheels are turning. Is there anything in particular terms of like role playing or talking to people you want to do over your next couple of weeks, or is this just like normal? Obviously, we can say that like when we had this big long discussion in and out of character about reorg last time, you had that conversation with people in character mm -hmm. about reorg. So you know, you your various officers are all briefed. Everybody knows what's up. You know, I I don't know if we want to make a big scene out of it, but obviously we would do the thing where Boots does get promoted. You do actually like give him his warrant and pin in some new some new bars on him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just spin to it into his skin. He's like, ah, why? You were wearing your fancy clothes. Yeah, it's, and I'll be all like, maybe you shouldn't. Have, I'm just muttering around. Maybe you shouldn't have been trying to run so much. <laughs> Wasn't and he ran? He, he ran, ran so, so far, far away, <laughs> but he couldn't get away. Get away. <laughs> the oh. of all. I, we used I, ran so, I think we've used I ran yeah, so far away we, already. We, yeah, we have. Okay. We've actually had episodes with more running. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this so, one's just gonna be. This, this one will probably be called Iron Man. <laughs> if the cadets look at the cadets look towards the door, it's like, ah, oh, who's who's getting promoted okay. now? And just watch our mug drag a clothing, kicking and screaming. He's like, no. No, okay, I don't want so it. With, uh, it's, like, it's like, no, I can't be an officer. I make fun of officers. <laughs> I have to make fun of myself. And then I already do that. I always have to doubly make fun of myself. It's a snake eating its own tail. <laughs> Soldier, you could just gain some self respect. That's my secret, Captain. I have no self respect. <laughs> uh. <sighs> but alright, okay, so, yeah. Um, you guys do all the stuff. I don't know if it's necessarily role playing, but I will start actually making some discreet inquiries, maybe into I must say budgetary into budget our our budgets of why do we get so greenlit on shit? Like why like we've only like this, we've never actually been told a no. It's more of a yes, but no, not even a yes, but. Like, Just like huh. no, I like here, like like, this, like, like out of this, character, out of character. This. Like I'm very good. I'm very, very good at being the the social character, and that's a thing. But in like things, usually there's a lot more negotiation and nose and uh, you know, and like you know, compromise and stuff. But generally across this whole campaign, I'm just like, no, I roll goo. I get what I want, and I'm just like. I don't think. I yeah, can... generally you roll really, really well, and there's not much opportunity for there to be like a, a counter offer kind of thing. Yeah. It's just like budgetary committee. I need these things. Here's my paperwork. Please stamp this. And they're like, "Shit, your paperwork's fine." All right. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, like we don't have to make it a whole thing. But yeah. if you start like discreetly asking people, the uh, the the general impression seems to be that like, I, I think it's fair to say based on how this campaign has gone. The general impression of the Soho Live Front is that you guys are actually doing good work here. This is a this is a planet that is actually being positively impacted by the war effort? Question mark? It's like somehow uh, it's growing. That's weird. That's That's weird. Usually how this goes, like mostly the Republic is in especially since we're in the kind of mid to late war, the Republic is in slog fests on like separatist fortress worlds or other outer rim hellholes and like it's usually 
way more a way more bloody affair that's way more complicated. Um, and in general, you guys have done very well to reduce crime, uh, to stymie. Like, you guys haven't, because you guys have been actually quite successful in this campaign, you guys haven't really had your noses bloodied by the enemy. You know, you keep giving the seppies the black eye. Um, you know, um, your latest round of, of results was also accompanied by your, like, strategic announcement of, by the way, we found some Cortosis deposits. We've worked to secure them. Um, you know, for for the good of the future of the planet and the Republic, and they're like, well, okay, cool. Oh, shit. Um, it, it's almost know, like our you, effort You, you want us to have it, fund it, building a city to, you know, secure this region and emphasize trade with the people who have the land rights to the Cortosis? Yeah, that's fine. It's great. <laughs> Love totally. <it. laughs> so, we told you to go fight a war, and somehow you not only almost won that war, but you decided to fortify everything there? Fucking yeah, go ahead. <laughs> when when the when hypothetically when the war ends, Arma, I think you would you would get the impression you're getting back that like maybe you've you've written some checks that somebody's gonna try and cash, but like right now, morale is up. Um while spending is up, you are like you've made you in character have made a very consistent argument for like, no no, this will pay off in like five to ten years. Like um you have actually like done your forward thinking as RMA, and so in general, the idea is that, like, you guys are running a successful pocket war campaign and you, like, haven't involved shitloads of collateral damage or military casualties and you haven't, you know, bought any any experimental super bombs and used them to blow up <laughs> the enemy or anything. Like, you, you guys are not right now, like full-blown your jedi anyway are not like full-blown clone wars cartoon characters like you are very reasonable yeah you've crashed a couple vehicles you have lost a few clones but for for the most part when it comes time for you to do your jobs you're very good so i i definitely like like i said i like the sense of like right now you guys have a lot of momentum you get the feeling from your subtle inquiries that like if this momentum ever stops you know check you check man gonna come audit man's gonna come and he's gonna be like asking questions mm. but for now you you have enough positive momentum that nobody actually really has found anything to object to like i said you're if if arama doesn't know this in character we can say she knows it now she's actually really good at paperwork and writing reports and <laughs> you know proposals like you're actually really good at this nobody can really find any problems and i mean you're a Jedi, so it's not like there's any political like question, right? Of like, are you like working an angle or something? You're almost like, I guess the way to phrase it is, you're almost like the textbook exemplar or version of what the person leading a war effort should be like, <laughs> weirdly result wise. To the bureaucrats, that's for sure. Like yeah. you, <laughs> I, I think at no point have you ever just asked for more money without a reason and without a plan to make that back somehow. Like, ah. when you're like, hey, I need economic stimulus to put into the city so that the city can grow and we can increase our population and make it more secure. They're like, okay. Hey, I need money to build a cross-continental railway so we can increase trade and spread of population. Okay. Like, every time <laughs> you ask for something, it is for a reason that is like, like, at no point have you been, hey, I, I need a shitload of money so I can, like, buy up a whole bunch of land so I can blow it up. Or, like, you know, hey, we need to buy a whole bunch of land back because the Separatists have blown it up and nobody can live on it. Like, ev everything is part of a plan. Hmm. And, like, like I said, you guys have avoided getting your, your own noses bloodied pretty well. Okay, so does anybody have any other, you know, character questions, stuff they want to ask about? What's Master Lago been up to, by the way? Uh, Master Lago for this time is mostly in the the pre prep for the reorg um. and continuing to run the the kind of day to day military ops. As we kind of discussed, you guys especially lately have kind of focused on like special projects. So Master Lago kind of takes a back seat and makes sure you know your regular patrols that you guys established are staying up. You know, making sure that supplies are being moved to the new Canyon Air Base. You know, when you guys are off spending four days in the crafting hole, he's, like, actually making sure that, that that unit rotation you guys set up with the North Pole is working. Stuff like that. You know, uh, at least at one point, he probably hides boots in his quarters so you can place him to Jarek. 
Yes. Like, Master he, Lago is too just, good. We don't deserve Master Lago. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he, he's just keeping the wheels turning. Because, like, honestly, again, as your master, he's... And if you, if you like, ever ask him, Master Lago, how do I keep getting away with it? Like, <laughs> he, he'll be like... Well, my student, you know, you've you've grown a lot over the past couple of months. You've learned how to approach things, you know, in a in a uh, a proper and methodical way, you know, with strategy. When you when you came to Soho Live, you were stumbling lightsaber first into all your problems. You've you know learned how to properly metal yourself out and how to uh, use your resources appropriately. <laughs> I'm sorry, but as long as I'm going, our mom's like, yeah, but usually I just punch it or throw money at the problem. I mean, sometimes we all have our strengths. <laughs> sometimes if you just do it effectively enough, everyone likes it. <laughs> uh, this uh, this probably may come as a shock to you, uh, m my students, after so you know so long among the Jedi. But uh, generally, the people of the Republic do like money. The question is just whether or not they like where it is, where and how it is spent. Uh, there are, you know, some hardliners in the in the Senate who uh, wish us to spend more uh, less money. Period on this war, and there are many uh, with many angles uh, overdrawing from the banking sectors and the military industrial complex who wish us to be spending much much more on this war effort. It's all a matter of balancing everything out. Who gets what? Where does it go? There's balance in life, even logistics. <laughs> yeah, Arama will mull over that. Arama's secret technique money. <laughs> yeah, as I as I said in chat, Jedi Master Money Fist. No, no, <laughs> Fist of Money. Yeah, that's that's your that's your new martial art, Fist of Money. <laughs> Golden Fist. <laughs> the image on her ancient scrolls is just a. Is just you know a a, a a hand gripping the dollar sign, or a, or a credit sign. All right, we have been going for almost two hours. Uh, oh, I want to take oh a quick break. God. We should take a break and then actually just get to the yeah, and then thing, move on to the actual bit because I want to talk about reorg stuff. Okay, and then move into that. <laughs> so I will pause the audio and we will be right back with you. We'll be I only back. expected like an hour of that. Not like I expected half of that. Anyway. Yeah, you know we had some fun stuff in there. I'll be right back. <laughs> I mean, I guess we just kind of need to sort of low and sort of get back into the game thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this time around, I was the one taking up all the time. Unnecessarily so, I could have sped things up. I've, That's fine. Yeah, because it's like it's no longer me anymore. Because I've legitimately like yeah, done was... everything I can. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a bit tired, but yeah. <laughs> so I think the only thing left to do is if I can like just start modding all of Loft's gear for him. I have my crystal to mod. I have the lightsaber hilt stuff to mod. <laughs> I have stuff to mod that is going to take a lot of credits. <laughs> But it, that's how it goes. No touching my gear. Oops. Say no touchy, no touchy. Uh oh. Wait, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Okay. I'm remembering the talk we had where it's like you were very much not, you were very much against using all of your, I guess, free optimization points. <laughs> what? Uh, no, really. It wasn't against 
huh. against uh, the optimization or hard points. It was just didn't have any ideas on what to put on it. Oh, yeah. But anyway. Okay, so from let's see here. Extended Hilt, I have one thing that can do a mod from that, and then uh, Damping Mirror, two from that, and then a whole bunch from the lightsaber itself. Chris, so itself. Okay, I'm just gonna sell I just gotta start modding the fuck out of those, but that was pretty easy because you get like minus three difficulty on that? Well, yeah, minus three difficulty only for the crystal. Oh, okay. Well, that's still pretty good because it's like because that means then you that means you could honestly do like five mods without having to use destiny to like go above five yeah i know so plus that force points they can spend in this because you use lights here force points to do crystal modding there's eight mods on them there so yeah yeah i know so you can get most of those pretty good Oh, okay. I'm gonna go get me some more. I'll be right back. All right. Okay. Actually, uh, I'll be back in a second. I'm just gonna wheel on over to my fridge and grab a bottle. Right. Oh yeah, there it is. Lightsaber crystal attachment. <laughs> Let's see. If you take the honestly, you don't need to do the disorient or the droid one. So you only... the five that you can just do this pretty easily, like the two damage, the minus one crit, and then like the stun. Is he? Orson. Okay, I kind of need to open up those books just to see if those things are actually in there. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Lucky's going to get a drink, I think. Yeah. I was looking at like what. I was looking at the crystal that Lucky put in the chat. It's like because Marf has. Marf could technically do five of those mods I... without having to like do destiny. I mean, yeah, it's it starts, the it starts thing simple, about using your so... crystals. So, yeah. which book had the minus two difficulty for a light simple crystal? Uh, it's in the GM kit. Okay. Oh, so Talk that's where it when is. you mod your crystal, you can you can use your force dice and reduce the difficulty by two. It was introduced okay. as a like I believe it's well actually I, honestly everything that's not in the core book is supposed to be an optional rule, but. It's it's a rule meant not to punish players who want to work with their lightsaber crystals because it's supposed to be very forcey. Yeah, I know what the thing that it says in the lightsaber crystal attachment does not do the my suit difficulty. <laughs> but yeah, I can still try stuff. Honestly, you could totally make it. Yeah. Okay. Welcome All right, I'm back. back. Damage eight, crit one, stun two. Damn. Stun three, actually. Also, I mean, you joke about that a lot. That's technically. I mean, you can just have armor oh. clothing. Oh yeah. The... Well, and also, there's those uh, the thing that RMI used to use the armor inserts. X is doing a Marth. A what? He's mu he's muttering to himself quietly. Ah. Yeah, that's what I was doing like in the previous campaign. I don't do that as so much anymore, but yeah. All right, I'm ready to unpause though. If we're all back, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. I was supposed to do that's... like what Marth could have done. Let's right, get right, ready to roll. Yeah. Maybe we'll, maybe I'll roll some dice. But okay, all right. Um, I don't know what you guys talked about while I was gone because I was getting a glass of water. Very little. But we are here. Uh, like I said, we got, you know, after pr probably let's say that all that back and forth with the buying and the selling and the whatnot and the yet 
it's been probably been about a week. You've got about another week before you are expecting your reinforcement. So before you can like actually get this under control, because yes, taking a couple weeks to you know double the amount of troops you have is still a huge pain in the butt. So it's very busy down here. Mm-hmm. Right. So excuse me, sorry. Uh, is there anything further you guys want to do, or is this you know just chilling, doing your usual business? I guess. Oh, I yeah, well, I'm going to spend some good old uh, lovely time at the Liquid Sunshine. Of course. Um, you literally missed it. Yes, I literally missed it. Um, hmm. But, hmm. yeah, so no, yeah, I'll be pulling um once. Well, I probably won't be doing it right off because there's going to be a lot of paperwork that needs to be done, a lot of reports and stuff, so, but, yeah, no. Um, and maybe see about getting, like, I'm sorry. I am starting to get a little bit worried about uh, my employee situation. So maybe I'll look about maybe hiring a couple more people. Maybe like a day man, like another manager and something. It's true. You do technically only have uh, the the cook as your day manager. So he is always doing double duty when you're not here. Yeah. So maybe looking to maybe getting a few more employees, like another manager for the night. Or actually, probably, I probably actually maybe get like just maybe like two more managers, and then accompanying fucking employees. Like I said, we're about to get bigger, so I'm expecting that traffic yeah. will eventually uh, yeah improve in here. So yeah. Do you, uh do you have any core focus upgrades you can buy still? Uh, I'm no, I'm 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 full. I got fucking I'm I got max core I got max core focus. Okay, so yeah, actually, so you probably we never really talked about it, but you probably did do a decent amount of just raw space expansion because obviously you did add the. With your like specialty roles, you did add your your gambling area, mm-hmm. your you know your actual area, and you have that uh, stage in there. So, yeah, I mean, you probably if you're if you're bringing in a lot of people, you may need to hire some additional employees. Yeah, so, but so I'll start some additional work on... folks in. Yep, yeah, so start I working have my on that. Own thing. And yeah, I have my yeah. own. Thing that I want to try to do. But yeah, I'll start taking over night man, like night man, night manager role once right. most right. of the uh, major paperwork is out of the way. Boots will be working on um how to properly do paperwork because I'm assuming <laughs> that's one of his new duties now. Oh yeah, no, uh, trust me, uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have some classes, Boots. Yeah, put and the yeah. Boots I mean, it's, it's a different caliber because you're not you're not a command staff officer. You're a specialist, but no, like you will probably have to do, like, medical reports now and, like, sign off on guys and, you know, uh, actually, like, you know, uh, manage, you know, various positions. Mm. I know, and Boots will uh, take to that. He will do his best to learn how to do it properly. Okay. All right. Uh, How many points in Knowledge Warfare do you have? Me? Yeah in a bit let me pull up the old sheet I and i uh, yes i am indeed at five thank you lucky uh yeah so shockingly you're pretty good at it you understand how to military bureaucracy <laughs> but it's like starts working on it's like oh wait a second this is easy <laughs> just make sure to cro- to cross the i's and dot the t's But yeah. Yep. Sorry, I, I know I was kind of quiet there to, in response to RMR saying something, but I just didn't have anything else to add to that. That's fair. Another thing you probably do now is, again, with the like filing certain reports, is because um, another another job of being a warrant officer is consulting that ba- and training. That's basically like, not that I think RMR or any other members of the general staff have a lot to do, but you do probably get occasionally asked by the command staff to, like, hey, Boots, what's your medical opinion on this or that? You know, like, actually, like, get required to do technical work, which, again, you're pretty good at. You're not a doofus. Yeah. Uh, And, in (laughs) fact, uh, not right now, but you you may actually also be scheduled to do some some medic training. Ah, yay. Like, you it's may actually have a... some new squad medics to train. Yeah. Just running in class on what to do if your Jedi gets shot at. Well, uh, about that. 
Yeah. Apply it... Vector. <laughs> is this before or after they have destroyed everything? Is this before or after they... <laughs> what happens with friendly fire? Well, uh... <laughs> what so happens... what I'm imagining Boots in his, you know, in, in his armor, uh, with glasses over the front of it, over the visor, <laughs> and he's, yeah. he's got a flow chart on PowerPoint. Also, now it was ribbon. Now it was like ribbon band on his chest. What are you talking about? There's also the uh, the pointer. I forgot the name of it, but the thing most lecturers have. Yeah, you got your little lectern pointer, and you're just pointing at your flow chart of like, okay, is your Jedi injured? Yes, no. Follow this direction. <laughs> but all right, everybody. You know, spend spends these these days, these couple of weeks, about their business, working on stuff, practicing things. Yeah, mine, whatnot. Mm -hmm. At which I would have to pay for a role. Yeah. Or I do research, which one of these was research into pirates. Mm -hmm. Because that's what she's doing with the rest of her time, other yeah. than PT and getting the clones, clones exercising. Maybe take some simulator practices. Yeah. So anyone will you, know... You do have a, a Jedi Starfighter that's like yeah. second into you, so... Yeah, so anyone will know Swabu doing research. Uh, That would be Knowledge Underworld. Do you want to actually roll anything, or you just want to say you're spending some time doing it? I'll just try, like, at first, like, a sort of, like... So her first sort of jab it, and then she just do mindless sort of research afterwards. Okay. Just so to just... see if she gets anything, and then the mindless research might pull things up later. Yeah. So you can roll a average knowledge underworld if you so chose. This will just be for, guess a specific power group. So she might not get anything. Yep. Nothing. Makes sense. <laughs> You're looking like, really specific. You can't really find a lot of like, info out here. No, I do not want the Jedi pirate movie. <laughs> That's awesome. Alrighty, so we we eventually come to the day, sort of. Mm. Uh, you guys are expecting reinforcements. They're supposed to be on deck. They'll be arriving via a... Uh, I think I actually did my math. I think it would take a single acclimator class transport because that can, what one acclimator can hold a whole clone legion. So, oh, okay. yeah, they're they're gonna send one compact transport with maybe some fighter escorts to like meet up with you, and deposit your new soldiers and all their new shit because one of the things you asked for was a artillery company. Yeah, yeah. So and the whole ship that's was it, a, yeah. that's a lot. That's a lot of get up and go. Um. Especially, you know, your engineer's battalion will also have their own. Actually, yeah, no, that's right. It's a, your regiment now, so you're four battalions. So, yeah, that's a whole artillery battery, a whole artillery battalion. So, yeah, that's a lot of shit. Um, so, they're planning on coming in. You guys are, I assume, you know, waiting in the command center, watching stuff. Yeah. You don't have to yes. be, but, you know. <laughs> It's as good, it's as good as place as any. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we'll be there at least. So, uh, you know, probably somewhere in the in the in the mid morning. You know, hyperspace travel's a little a little inexact. You never know exactly how long it's going to take you, uh, especially with all the different qualities of drive. So, somewhere in your mid morning, uh, you guys get a call from uh, your cruisers in orbit. Who are like, all right, we've got the acclimator on long range uh, scanners. You know, we're gonna get red ready to uh, to make room for them to come in for a landing. You know, everybody, buckle up down there, get ready, clear some space. You know, some clones get sent out to sweep the parking lot, mm -hmm. <laughs> and everything is going pretty normal until. Uh, you get another alert from upstairs, uh, which informs you that uh, the there are a couple of enemy contacts have come out of hyperspace, blocking the transport from the planet. Oh, no. So a couple of large separatist cruisers have 
park themselves in the direct route. Uh, acclimators are mostly transport ships, though they do have some some ship to ship weapons. Mm -hmm. So in order to match the enemy and escort them, they are going to uh, divert your naval force of your three own large cruisers, the Lord Hoth, the Arclight, and the Alicorn, mm -hmm. uh, to assist. The light cruiser Redeemer will stay in orbit and reserve, yes. along with any of your various ground fleet forces. And so they go off to go engage. Uh, and you guys can obviously, you know, are probably staying glued to the radios listening to this yeah. as they yeah. go out there for a big dust-up. Check the comms, check all that stuff. So, uh, it, does anybody have anything particular they're going to be, uh, like, do you have any reactions to this news? Uh, well, what, what's the term? It's all like, I'm surprised, but not really. Yeah. Uh, like, I should be shocked, but I'm not. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like, because... There's they, definitely a verb for that. Yeah, because... I bet it's French. <laughs> Damn it, French. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's like... I'm not surprised that the Separatists made a move. It's just I'm kind of surprised <laughs> that they actually made a move, considering... considering. Uh, we should... But no, well, honestly, there's not much Make we can a... do down here. Unless... Yeah. Unless, Webu, you want to hop into a Starfighter and uh, give battle. Give battle uh... to, uh, two big... I mean, yeah, you guys have some assets here for your own purposes, but the <laughs> your cruisers are Venators. They are primarily carriers, so they're already loaded to the gills with a lot of your space butt, your space ass. Yeah, so no, we, we yeah, no. have to... This, but... Uh... Boots, you're good with computers, right? Yeah. See if you can get on comms and see if you can get on, on those communicate. See if you can crack some communications. We have big old sensors oh. here. Let's see if what we can oh, find what they're up to. Okay, so you wanna you wanna you wanna keep an ear for some enemy activity, huh? Yeah. Uh, I do believe there is well there may be action to that effect somewhere in here. Let's see. That's terrain, that's vehicle critical hits. Yeah, let's go with a um a hard computers check, Mr. Boots. One, two, three. Computers. Yes. Yep. And I don't have any other bonuses that I can think of at the moment. It's fine. Still finish. Hmm. That is what it is. All right. So you're 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 casting a wide net. You're checking through channels. Um. But you are, you're getting a lot of, you're getting a lot of Covenant, uh, not Covenant, you, you fucked up <laughs> <in> there. <laughs> Sorry. The audience will get that. Uh, a lot for me to joke about the Covenant battle net. Um, no, you're listening to a lot of Separatist uh, chatter. Most of it is encrypted or in binary, and you can't really, you can't really pick up on it. But you're, 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 you're getting a lot of background signal noise. There's a lot of activity on the enemy wire. Hmm. Mm. That has me a big concern, I guess. Well, keep monitoring communications. Maybe we'll get a chance to clear it up later. Oh. Actually, uh, if there are people making movements up there, do we have comms within, like, uh... You have a couple of observation posts. Yeah, let's check in. Oh, let's check another yeah. observation post and see if there's any weird movement going around. All what? right, so you you know you 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 either over the comms channel or just to somebody are like, all right, everybody check in, and they start getting check in reports. Mm -hmm. So you 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 start getting feedback. You know, uh, do you would you run this list? You know, um, from your farthest out bases or from your closest out bases? No, we'll go from our furthest out. Like, honestly, they're making, like, I'm thinking the Separatists are making a move here, and I don't think they're going to make, they're making a single move. I think they're making multiple moves. So, I try yeah, to kind of see where, I kind of want to see if they're doing something maybe landside as well. All right, so yeah. the, the, the rundown starts. 
you know, it's like, all right, everybody, you know, units, units check in from, from, fur, from furthest posts. So, you know, you talk to a, to a slightly cold sounding clone up at the polar vault and it's like, you know, polar camp is secure. It's a bit nippy. <laughs> Somebody get me the hot cocoa. <laughs> uh, you know, you talk to the, you know, Canyon Air Base, check in. Everything's nominal here. It's a little windy today. We're going to fly a kite later, you know, go through all the stuff. <laughs> you start checking in with some of your other situations. And uh, you call up to... Uh, I believe you guys did actually want to leave a listening post up at the Green Hills Observatory. Yes, because it was very yeah. high up. I was like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, they're actually like... Get some uh, some some unusual interference in 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 your area, command. Uh, you might want to you want to double check your scopes. Uh, at oh. which point, uh, your own sensor operator uh, looks up at looks at his board. He's got he's got his lovely you know weird dots and lines <laughs> display board, <laughs> like a new hope. The uh, the and he's, and he suddenly yells out. Contacts close. Air contacts coming in. Uh, God, what would it? I gotta look at my own map. Hold on. I want to give the the right clock, de you know, clock degrees here. It would, uh, yeah, it would be like, well, let's say ten o'clock high. Oh. Ten o'clock high. Co contacts increasing. I'm getting inbound transceivers. Squadron of something snub fighter sized coming in out of the clouds, and there's a larger contact behind them. It's very sketchy. And so I'll just be like, focus those sensors. All right. Uh, it's loose, but we're getting a large silhouette shadow. Looks like it could be an enemy frigate coming in. Oh, frigate. Oh, in the cloud cover. Hey, yeah, so, uh, there's an enemy air raid, guys. How you doing? All right, time yeah. to counter raid. <laughs> yeah, um, shoots, um, I'm going so, to... Oh, sorry. All right, go ahead. No, just, you know, grab, grab the microphone and, and, um... Shout out alarm. Stations? Shout out alarm. Shout out alarm. All, 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 all pilots to their fighters. Yeah. Web is already going. Yeah. As a battle yeah. station. No, oh, no, 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 is just already on her way even before Okay, that. so, uh, to make this faster, I have pre-compiled a list of assets. Oh, sweet. So, you have, uh, at the front, it looks like a large squadron of enemy vulture droids are approaching the base directly mm -hmm. for a base pass. Uh, and there is a large enemy vessel behind them. Uh, looks like a heavy frigate, though it's a little blurry right now because they're at very long range. I don't think you guys have actually done any like special sensor upgrades at base, so no, we uh, they're, they're a little, they're a little the sketch out there. The more I was like, we don't have a lot of like emplacements here. We probably, oh, yeah, we, we have a nice base. Yeah, I did. Uh, by the way, uh, Omega did all this math over the week. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, you you guys have a number of minutes to make that sound that just happened. Oh. Throw dice in a bowl or something? No. Um, so, uh, you guys have a few minutes to decide your defensive strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a variety of armor assets pre-existing, because um, we, we already talked about how uh, your your actual Sierra company was a, a, a mechanized recon. So, you guys have access to Sierra Mobile. Obviously, you have a whole ATTE armored company, uh, which comes with an ATRT complement. You've okay. got a company of stun tanks. You've got a bitish of um, some tank platoons for your your TX saber tanks, uh, and you have two okay. uh, artillery platoons. You would have a full artillery company, but uh, I remember this from the other month. Um, you sent a rotation of guys up there, about four, which would be an artillery platoon. So you currently only have two platoons. <laughs> Funny how that works. <laughs> uh, if you want to deploy infantry teams, you've got, you know, 
a couple companies worth of troopers loose on you. Uh, you've got a company's okay. worth of bark speeders. Cav platoon, stuff okay. like that. Okay. Various heavy. I, I love I love the Swamp Strider cavalry platoon. Yeah, I uh, you've been you've been carefully maintaining it. You've got you've got a platoon's worth of of ready cavalry guys. Mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of your air assets, if you're you're curious about launching an air defense. Oh yeah. Because uh, you do you do have a wave of enemy forces going. You might want to get in there. Mm -hmm. Um. You have access to your strategic fighter wing. Uh, which is your heavy fighter squadrons. You've got a squadron of Y-Wings, Amber Squadron, and a squadron of ARC-170s, Carmine Squadron. And one uh, large squadron of ARC-40B scout fighters, which are escorts. You know, to act as escorts okay. for those two. That's Emerald. Uh, you have two interceptor squadrons in your interceptor fighter wing. The V-Wing Shade Squadron and the Z Z-95 Coral Squadron. Uh, you also, because you got some new fighter replacements in your last bit of reinforcements, you have two mothballed squadrons of V-19 Torrents. Um, so you've got 24 extra fighters sitting, you know, put up in storage. Uh, they'll take they'll take, they'll take a minute to get out, so probably shouldn't count on those. Not right now, but, you know, yeah. you, you, you know you got them. Um, yeah. I did the math. You've got a support squadron of LAT series. That's two. Uh, that is your... That squadron, that is your entire um, battalion, you know, your battalion's worth of air support, right? Yeah. That's enough gunships to mobilize all your walkers and infantrymen. You also have access to three A to two Actus class Jedi interceptors and one Delta 12 Sky Sprite Jedi Starfighter trainer, the two seater. Mm -hmm. uh, so, okay. uh, whoever I assume will be jumping to the lead with, uh, with taking one of those interceptors up. Yeah. All right. So um, you are dogpiling into position. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're already yelling, you know, fighters to your, your squadron. Is that kind of the defensive yeah. posture you want to take here? Yeah, I'm not telling yeah, anyone to for... launch at the moment, but I'm getting everyone ready to sortie. Okay. Uh, are you taking any other additional steps, or is this just like everybody, you know, all all, all pilots to your vehicles? Let's go. All pilots uh, to the vehicle. Um... Let's see, I'll pause to the vehicles, uh, you know, sound general quarters. Um... Basically, yeah, they, start, want... they start making the Star Wars alarm sound. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, that's a frigate. I'm pretty sure they're going to be dropping some sort of land troops if we can't take down that frigate. And I don't know if we actually have enough firepower to take down that frigate before they drop whatever. What I'm worried about is, I, I was going to ask, like, what angle is, is it coming at us from? Because if it's, like, above high. us and we take it down, it's like... Uh... Well... We're so, so to remind everybody of the tactical situation, mm -hmm. let's because yes. it's been a little while. So, um, you guys are currently in Outpost Sohalev. Mm -hmm. You know, you're in the main Republic Science base. This is built up onto a mesa. Uh, so you are on a rock formation that juts out of the ground around you. The terrain around you is mud flats. Um, it is wide open. There is not a lot of cover, but uh, it is a little muddy. If you were to try and go with your wheeled vehicles or your uh, your walkers, probably don't give a shit. Um, and honestly, the Juggernaut probably doesn't give a shit because it's designed not to give a shit, so. Uh, if you were going to have infantrymen on foot deploy on the on the plane around you, they would be in trouble. Yeah, but, okay. Uh, walkers and repulsors can deploy very cleanly, and that's what you have Swamp Striders for. Okay. Um, um, so just... You guys don't really have a lot of fixed gun positions at the base. You probably... do have a lot of vehicles lurking around to act as air defense. Um, that's primarily what those stun tanks are for, but they're not, you know, necessarily idling in deployment. Um, and you do have, like I said, heavy weapon teams. So you you have enough clone trooper-like squads. There would be a heavy weapon guy on each squad. So you've got an assortment of mortars, rocket launchers, um, weapon emplacements, you know, heavy repeating blasters on tripods you can throw out. So you've got a couple of different things. Uh, they are coming at you from the 10 o'clock direction. So from your northwest uh coming on from an on-high position, mm -hmm. and they have deployed a screen of enemy fighters, 24 vulture droid fighters in oh, front Jesus. of them. Yeah, no, let's fight fucking... Uh... I don't know if I... No. Let's, if uh... anybody wants to know more about uh, enemy frigates, you could roll me a warfare. average knowledge of warfare. Yep. Uh, right on it. <laughs> Ooh, uh, right there, that, I'm thinking. 
All right, you're planning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, we're gonna deploy infantry assets with the clones and the um, damn heavy uh, squadrons on defensive positions mm-hmm. around the mesa. All right. Look, I've got I've got five in warfare and I've got three in. Mm-hmm. You're good at this. Okay. All right. So so it's you... almost like I built myself towards this. Uh, no matter what you ultimately decide, because I know you're still working on it. Lucky, go ahead and roll me average leadership first to start belting out orders oh. in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh, know, yes. all hands to battle stations, general quarters. Give me weapon teams at uh, the strategic points. Oh, no. Oh. So, boots, you, uh, you, you know, you roll over to the sensor panel. You've got a rolly chair. It's perfect. <laughs> uh, and you start scaring at the scans. They're a little blurry. Um, you are reasonably sure that the enemy ship must have an ECM suite attached. Okay. So it's got it's got a countermeasure systems, which is uh, blocking long range scans, but uh, judging by the size, you would say that's got to be a Munificent class heavy frigate. Uh, Munificents are called pocket cruisers. They are very well armed and armored, um, though a little light in their uh, out overall structure. Um, so they've got very decent shielding, kind of a loose skeletal structure. Uh, they're still at seven. Damn. Uh, they're only speed two, so they're a little slow, but they've got the full boy shielding. They've got about five armor. They've got a long sensor range of their own. Uh, Boots, however, you you realize there are two primary problems with this. Among many yeah. of your problems of your stationary base being assaulted by an enemy capital ship. Um, yes. You've got two primary problems. One, uh, the estimated storage capacity of one of these things is approximately... Oh, I do my math. I believe that's yes. The comma point is at the third digit, so that is one hundred and fifty thousand battle droids in cold storage on this thing. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Uh, what did I write down? The how much that is? I think that's a division worth of battle droids. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. Um, now keep in mind, those have to be stored compactly in storage. They are not ready to rock, but so that's a lot that of right. clankers if they decide to park it somewhere. So you need to blast uh, before it parks. <laughs> the well, yeah, about that. Speaking of blasting, the other problem is uh boots you are aware from military briefings that the major danger zone on a munificent is they are armed with some very powerful small, they're limited in number, but they are armed with very powerful forward-facing long-range guns. Oh. Um they have paired heavy turbo lasers and pair long-range ion cannons at the front. Um, which obviously have a limited rate of fire, but no, these things have powered, powerful forward-facing guns that if they get into clean engagement range, you guys could be looking at some very nasty long-range fire. And yeah. also they've got uh, decent arrays of uh, side-based weapons. Oh, we're going to have to scramble a lot of fighters, aren't we? Jesus. Uh, we're going to get through, though, to hit that chip, yeah. Fuck. Well, so, uh, mechanical note. I have designed this encounter. By the way, this is air raid exclamation okay. point. You thought you were doing counter offensive, but no, it was I, air raid. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even got to the counter offensive yet. Oh, no, I now actually, know. Yes, uh, this I literally planned this um, since before the rotation. I was going to sneak another another adventure in here entirely. <laughs> so, um, th- uh, the up. way this is designed is that the enemy will be coming in waves. We are on wave one. Enemy on scopes. They are deploying fighters oh. to fly over and probably do a couple of uh, strafing passes on the base. Mm-hmm. Vulture droids are okay. armed with lasers, um, light lasers, but they carry either concussion missiles or discord missiles, which are full of buzz droids. So uh. um, you guys probably don't want to get a bomb pass done on you, but they are not heavy hitters mm-hmm. as far as enemy forces go. So you may want to not overcommit. Um, but here, let me, yeah, you don't know all the details yet of the thing, so let me just post the weapon list that Boots knows. Oh, hang on, let me. Leadership check. I'm still kind of like, I'm still like kind of, my brain's suppressing, okay, so, okay, this is, like, this is basically the part of this, hopefully the counteroffensive we're doing, okay. Well, no, this ain't the counteroffensive, this is just the air raid. Oh, this is the enemy's counteroffensive. Well, no, this is why we're going to have a counteroffensive. Yeah, that's what I there. meant. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Like... Yeah, this this is the, this is, you know, 
whether this is a hammer or an anvil, you're not sure, but this is a something. Yeah, this is something. I was, I was also thinking, like, man, maybe I can start using my downtime just start building base, boat, like base upgrades or something. I don't you know. might actually. You know, we could work on that. But right now, the enemy is at the Later. gates, metaphorically. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. um, you have pulled off your, you have pulled off your leadership. You start yelling at people. You're like, heavy weapons now, gunners. And so, you know, the clones snap too. So, like, oh, all over the base, you see, you know guys hauling you know you see weapon teams one guy's got the tripod one guy's got the gun the third guy's got the generator mm -hmm. they're like yep. throwing up you know points uh you've got you know clone troopers filling filling sandbags or with pre-filled sandbags which are filled with mud, mud um just building positions you know you've got uh clone troopers loading racks of of missile launchers um you know hiding in rooftops and corners uh and you've got your your fighters ready to stand too um, the only problem is, you know, you can't launch everybody all at once, so. But you, you have pilots two positions, crews in place, weapons are hot, weapons are loaded and fueled, so. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot, so. Well, for this, I'm going to spend 10 of my XP right now and get into the invasion. <laughs> okay. can do that. Because I do not want to get shot by the turbulence, those are, oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, no. Well, if so least... this thing's still seven. Uh, that means it's four silhouettes higher than you, so it's really hard for them. I think it's the full five dice to actually hit tiny, small targets with this. And if I um, commit it, then it up to hit to hit a, to hit a, to hit a stationary base size target. It's considerably easier though. Oh, yeah. for right now, let's fucking the Arc Forty Bs are escorts, right? Yeah, scout it, escort scouts. Uh, that's probably not the best then. They are three man crew. If you've forgotten, they're pilot, co pilot, back backseat gunner. Oh um, yeah, that thing. Yeah, no, because I'm thinking take out the fucking vultures right now, then worry about the frigate. Yeah. So, uh, but let's go with the let's go with. Um, they said wait, there's 24, right? Yep. Jesus, no. Uh. Oh, oh, okay. yep. So no, let's go with um yeah, let's go with the Y let's uh let's scramble the Y Wings, the Amber Squadron and um Shade Squadron. Alright. Leaving interceptors and Y Wings. Alright. Uh will will any of you be joining this besides Wevu, uh, who I assume will be taking her own ride? No, I I have, my, I have yeah. more preparations to do. I got my own ride. I'll do I'll, I'll take my own so, ride. So so uh, is this like a role playing thing like Wevu, buy me some time? Yes. Because <laughs> um, I need time. Because I need to get. I basically I need to get armor into the flats. Yeah, so, what I, what I to, so as a um, backup, you ultimately want to deploy armor to the flats. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. You can get rolling uh, on that then. Yeah. Well, was just like, was like, how much time? It's like enough <laughs> times I can fill the fucking flats with as much metal as I need. All right, as for Mac, do your thing. <laughs> how much time can I buy? Do not think... give me that number. <laughs> Don't tell me the odds. Tell me the results. <laughs> uh, no, uh, what Boots will do as well is, uh, because our is focusing on getting the armor out, Boots will, like, as you mentioned, uh, infantry setting up the, uh, like, emplacements and sandbags mm -hmm. and all that. Boots will coordinate with, I assume we have some kind of, like, tactical map here in this command room yeah. where we are. And we'll try to uh, find out good emplacements and we'll lay out orders like, hey, we should put this here, we should put that there. Have a, have a defense uh, in depth to like make sure that we can, if necessary, fall back to a different position if need be. Oh, uh, actually, um, boots, um, hecking, um, take one of the um artillery platoons and get them set up in a defensive position so we can have some thing that acts like AA guns just in case. Okay, oh, I was also right. thinking of well. yeah. right. I was thinking of joining Webu. Uh, I was gonna grab grab someone that can do gunnery as I just do ace flying. Uh, I mean, you can get a you can get a backseat, a clone backseater. I'm yeah. sure. Let's grab a guy. <laughs> you don't need me. Right. No, I'm just grabbing the artillery so, guys. Uh, that means you want to take a Y wing. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Well, hey, the yeah. Y wings are going out. Yeah. All right. That's the bombers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Y, okay. y wings are bombers now. Mm -hmm. um, these are the fully armored version with a bubble turret. So. Yeah. All right. So, like I said, I know bomb. I know bombers, but I'm like Jesus. I. I'm well, so at... right now the Y wing is a fighter bomber. It yeah. is a multi-purpose, heavily armored strike craft. Yeah, and like I said, we're going up. 
It's 24 versus 24, so I want them to have a little bit of armor. And if they can survive, they might be able to do some bombing runs on the frigate, maybe. Okay. So. All right. Uh, so. Boots, go ahead and roll me Knowledge Warfare again, uh, average, to build your tactical scene. This will also include, like, you're talking about, like, setting up reserve positions. Oh! <laughs> of course. That's interesting. Hmm. All right. Okay, so um, this will not turn into a mechanical thing when we do a mass combat check in a second. Um, you you are successfully able to deploy. You are not able to deploy in such a fashion that your fields of fire will assist the defenders right right now. Okay. Um, you are focused on doing what RMA told you to do and building your reserve defenses. You know, you take a couple of these AV-7 anti-vehicle cannons. Uh, if you want a description on those, by the way, those are in my homebrew document. Um, they're pretty pretty sizable, but you you get some guys up to basically play flak. Um, you build the defensive positions. You probably make sure, especially because your boots, you have like, you know, medivac teams waiting. You know, you're like you you yell down to sick bay to get ready. Actually, I have a very good point. You said everybody to battle stations. You've got a lot of civilian government and and loose contractors. What's uh what's your policy for that here, chief? Um, we have. Everybody down below, you know. Yeah, because everybody. That's all. We, that's all. That's all we can. Well, I'm actually, how many civilian and um and um. Uh, do we have a good? Do, do I we have a good in my notes? Did I jot down how much we've got population of the base? Let me check. Population approximately two thousand. So, uh, a decent chunk of that around. is probably actually accounting for your clones. Um, but you you may have, you may have four digits worth of civilians. Oh God, no! We gotta divert some clones into getting the evacuate, not getting to any, well, getting people below deck. Okay, all right. So I mean, you're you're mostly using the heavy weapons, guys. Mm -hmm. Um, you do, like I said, base infantry. You've got a full two companies worth of just regular Joe infantrymen. Well, yeah. Right. Let's get them working to getting people under and having them run whatever needs to be run. Supply around. runs, yeah. Yeah. All right. Supply. Okay, so you are organizing an evacuation. So that is probably why Boots is not able to bring his tactical brain to bear on this problem because you are dealing with a lot of problems. <laughs> uh, Note to self: We need to buy fucking turrets. Yeah, so I you're that... you're deploying one platoon of artillery right now to act as your your flak cover. You've got heavy weapon emplacements in reserve. You're getting everybody below. You've got you know. Uh, Defensive teams in position for medical. Um, probably got fire teams ready. You know, you're mm. thinking you're about to get bombed. So, yeah. Uh, ready to yeah rock, fun fact: uh, Lucky um, always fa honestly favors defensive tactics. I really do. I don't know why. I mean, sometimes it's because you trust yourself, and there's a, instead of trusting it's, the it's enemy. Easy to secure. Okay, yeah. so you got your leadership to go and play. So, uh, this will play out like a mass combat, which will have. Probably a, a couple of little phases. So Ooh. let's see. You have deployed. Let me pull up the mass combat check. You have deployed yonder two squadrons of starfighters. Yes. Mm, yes. So yes. that will count as two green arenas. Now here's yep. the thing. I'm pretty sure because you're taking to the sky that Wevu is leading from the front. Yes. Yes. So this will be upgraded by Wevu's ranks in leadership, I believe. Yeah. So that's three. I'm also right, assisting, good. technically. Yes. Um, I don't have any points I in leadership. Anything for that but... or... Let me see. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's... Uh, do you have any... Do you, Camo, have any points in leadership or knowledge warfare? I have a point in knowledge warfare. I should work. Okay, so I, I will allow you to uh, give Webu a boost die because there are two separate forces and you are semi leading like you're mm -hmm. you're able to coordinate with uh amber you are able to successfully split your force to do some interesting maneuvers if we at least get 10 experience for this i'm probably going to buy a point of warfare or a third point in pilot planetary oh, so we'll, see. We'll, we'll see how many points of experience you get but um <laughs> i would have had boots give a blue die for your defensible position but you're not really defending the fighters so yeah yeah maybe the next uh, maybe the next best combat check <laughs> well if they yeah, get we'll closer, see where yeah. we get in here <laughs> yeah Okay, so, well, yeah, because, so I said two phases, so their plan is to basically dance a figure eight over your heads. They're going to do a forward pass and then a reverse pass, mm -hmm. assuming they don't 
literally okay. all explode in the first pass. Yep. All right. Uh, yep. So, uh, actually, I think that's. Uh, yeah, I just had to self correct my notes. Um, so we'll say that the enemy force is the same size. They're two. They are two purple pips, mm -hmm. uh, but two they will purple. be upgraded by the enemy commander. So. I would like you to roll whatever your uh, your three green dice upgraded by your leadership plus a boost die is uh, against how many? You said three green, green? or two? Green? Uh, no, it would be two. That's right. Yeah, it starts oh, yeah. with two. Two and two. Okay. Sorry, and I have a lot of notes here. Has... I did not write down hard and fast because I did not know how how much is, ass you were going to deploy at once. Is that any fez upgraded by three or oh. four? Oh, well, hold on. I'm calculating. Okay. Sorry. This is okay. going to be tough. So, so you should roll against. So it becomes. That. Yeah, I think that's. So it's base two. It's base two and they got five upgrades, so. Oh, yeah, that is oh, two reds, three reds, uh, four reds, one purple. See, based... No, I think it would still only be, well, it's upgraded each time. So I think it's only like three reds and a purple. Yeah, three reds and yeah. a purple, yeah. Yeah, three, yeah. three reds and a purple, all the mesh together. So okay. yeah, purple, purple. You get a boost die. You've got two destiny points left. Yes. This is, this is gonna this is gonna be tough. Uh do I even want to use one? Well, I mean you're this is a uh this is like not quite a desperate offensive, but like no, this is you That's Arma like... matched force with force. She sent exactly as many bodies out there as, as the enemy had units, plus yeah. one Jedi. Yeah. And was like, buy me some time, so I'm gonna do it. Do it. Right. Believe in the force, the force believes in you. Okay, you 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 the Okay. So the Oh wait, that's too many puzz. Need to eliminate those two initial ones. Okay, you you the Okay. So the skies over Soho live are split by Starfighter engines. Okay. Failure. But with a advantage and I see, so when we're rolling crafting, that's in that that's when we roll good. I mean, so, triumph. you bought time. Oh, yeah. The chart for this, by the way, is on uh, page 21. Okay, now I can do that. Oh, wait, I did the wrong thing. Oh, wait, I did the right thing. Yeah, you did the right you're thing. You a dark side point. You flipped it back to light. Yep. Okay. Pull the thing back open so you can uh, look at that. It is on what page? Uh, It's 23, actually, but page number written 21. Okay. You okay, got one advantage and one. Uh... You rolled pretty good considering, like, fuck, that could have been way worse. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I really should. I think I will put some effort into just getting my battle net uh, up. Okay, so. Uh, can what? we use. Can... I know it's only in Serum but can you use the, uh, like, organizing suite? Or what was it called again? The what? The tactical suite. That's only if if you were commanding from, uh, right the, from Sierra Mobile. Like I said, I plan okay. to get in Sierra Mobile, but I need to get this set up first. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Don't. Oh, think remember, remember, yeah. If if narratively it makes sense, you can switch off in various phases of mass combat. So like, I expect at some point Arama will be taking the lead. But yeah. here we yeah. are. I guess. Yeah, I don't. The, get the defenses first. Yeah, I don't expect the reinforcements arriving makes much narrative sense right now. Uh, don't think overwhelmed right now. Uh, no, uh, none of those triumphs don't seem to really account for anything. Well, you need. I mean, you could do a notable NPC. You could. Yeah, I guess noble NPC for that, and then I guess for the. Uh. uh and I guess for the. One advantage. Um, there's either cover one's trained, but I think everyone has. I think everyone's topped off. Yeah, everybody yeah, should top... be topped off. So I guess knows the key feature of the enemy force. Hey, that could be useful. And it's positional the battlefield. All right. 
they don't know how useful that'd be. So, uh, well, you're flying out farther, so you're getting closer. So you definitely get a long, a longer look on your sensors at the enemy frigate. It's out there, um, and you definitely notice um, that uh, you don't. Yeah. You're not. You're not close enough to necessarily tell what they are, but there are definitely enemy additional air units out there lurking behind them. Oh shit! So in a future wave. All right. Other. So. Other. Uh, that said, let me let me see. What's a good? Hold on. Do I have a, I do a list for? Don't I? Okay. Come up with any cool clone pilot names? <laughs> see. All right, the nickname. Yeah. Because you're saying an NPC did good, so. Uh, uh, like I'll give you a choice. Who's going to become important? Uh, do you want it to be the leader okay. of Shade Squadron, or do you want it to be um, Camo's backseater? Ooh. I said the leader of Shade Squadron. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, let's see. He has a snake. Huh. Sorry, I'm consulting my list of names. <laughs> I was not necessarily prepared to whip out a random clone trooper <laughs> name. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. It's all I... Oh, that's a good one. That's a funny one. Uh, we'll, so we'll say that uh, uh, his name is Dozer. He is CT0241. Uh, and he is okay. the 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 head of Shade Squadron. So, the Shade Squadron interceptors in V wings, um, you know, very specialized, new tech, very fast, very light. Um, with with Wevu in the pole position, you guys fly up and just dart clean through the enemy squadron. You get a couple of of vulture droids clipped out of the mass in the pass. Um, unfortunately. Uh, while your strategy was very aggressive, very good, very proactive. Um, they got past. Yeah, the starfighters, the enemy fighters are in a broad formation. And yeah. uh, fun fact, vulture droids, very agile. Uh, they don't have human pilots who melt with G-forces. So um, unfortunately, your big, heavy Y-wing fighter bombers are not agile enough to actually, like, dogfight these things. Yeah. And don't get any really <laughs> noticeable kills in. So the enemy does actually do a pass over you. They're down a couple fighters. We'll say they're down to about 20-ish of them. But, um, okay. yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you fire off a couple rockets go up. There's a couple of, of shots, you know, right? Uh, mm. The artillery teams even get some engagement fire, but they're not really accurate yet either. So, uh, they they do a <sighs> pass over. Some, some blasters start firing, you know. Pop, 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 pop. Uh, they blow up some chunks of your, your lovely runways, your landing pads. Um... Some of your buildings get some hits. Uh, no, nothing major. They're just firing laser strafe, so like you get some new holes. Um, mm -hmm. You know, somebody's okay, got a new, so new room after just this. Laser burns and some some holes. <laughs> yeah, scorch marks. Start some small fires. You have damage control teams get out of the way. Uh, then they open up their uh, missile racks and they start firing just... rounds. And then. Uh, just just before the missiles hit, they peel open like a flower of demise and just vomit buzz droids into the base. Oh, <laughs> of course it's buzz droids. Uh, hey, well, Mister, of course it's buzz droids. Boots, you're of course standing right there by the by the artillery platoon as they start. You know, they fire off a couple shots. One of the missiles lands square in the middle of all of you, and then just <laughs> and vomits out. Your old friend, the Buzz Droids. Ta da! <laughs> Vomits out. Uh... Six Buzz Droids. 
All right, well, it was four no matter what. Vomits out four functioning buzz droids. <laughs> uh, Boots, buzz. I would like you to roll initiative. Droid <laughs> uh, Arma, if you want to possibly get in on this, you should roll initiative, too. Uh, I should probably roll initiative. I was not expecting yeah. buzz droid. Yeah, they're going for right. sabotage. They're dumping yeah, Discord missiles well, the just, like, oh. communicate back. But it's like, sorry about that. Couldn't quite get them. They're a little bit too fast for y wings. I'm about to punch me some buzz, buzz, buzz droids. Real hard. Beat a buzz droid with another buzz droid. I probably could, but I won't. Boots just needs to turn his shotgun, <laughs> or, like, put it in the fucking drum mag and just set it to auto and just fucking chew, chew through all of the buzz droids. Nah, it's a pump. He can't yeah, do that. Yeah. All right, where? What am I looking for? I'm looking for the adversaries. Yeah, you're there in it is. there. Here's my adversaries tab. Oh uh, yes. What I'll do is I'll dual wield my blaster rifle and a shotgun, and then have horrible recoil. <laughs> I didn't even. Did they even try to do a rule for if you try and one hand a two handed weapon? No, not really. I, I think, think so. I think usually it's you just add a fucking black. I think. <laughs> yes, this guy. Right now, you need that. <laughs> I don't know why, energy. but basically, my recommends is just this guy as, as the Doom Slayer, and I'm like, why is this appearing in my recommends YouTube? Why? <laughs> well, probably because you watch us, and I watched it once. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's is... like, hey, that person you like likes this. Oh, this yeah, is also not... very much camo energy, or at least I've what not I have watched like, that one. one yet. I watched the future one. I just watched the whole one. Yes, it would be willpower, right? Vigilance. Oh, wait, how can green. I forget this amazing uh, image? <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, like, legitimately, like, a lot of, like, that would inspire how I, how, I, how I thought about camo. Okay, so, um, well, PCs always go first, so they break ties. Yeah. Yep. All right. So PC gets to go first. I will punch a buzz droid. Well, are we, are, right. is this, are these four individual buzz droids, or is this a group of buzz droids? Uh, there are two minion groups. Two minion groups. Because I'm getting right. you in on this. So one, one yeah. is deployed around Boots. One has deployed between you and Boots. It was another four. Um, crawling in the hallways towards the command center. So, Arma, you want to step in first? Yep, I will step in, and with a mighty fist. All right. You should probably spend at least one maneuver to move to engagement range of the mm -hmm. buzz droids. It's like I I, t I toss my fucking microphone to another cl clone and just be all like hold that and just stride purposefully. And by then... tossing it, you ripped it out of the console it was bolted into to toss to him. Yeah, maybe. Like put that back in. <laughs> put that back in. I might. I honestly, I probably ripped it out when I grabbed it in a hurry in the first place. Tell you, you don't know your own strength sometimes. Well, I assume I was wearing the crush guns. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but average... For our audio audience, Marth is having some slight difficulties with. I feel the voiceovers maybe are resetting recently. Yeah. Uh, yeah no, nothing Usually, fancy. resetting the Discord call works for me, but that's not a guarantee. Oh, yeah. Uh... just like, oh wait, I'm in the white wing. The connection is breaking up. I'm trying to remember how to punch things. Um, I will just dump. Yeah, I'll just dump all my light side in there into damage. That um, seems fair. I will spend my triumph to crit. Okay, so you eliminate one of them immediately. Yes. And uh, with one of your hands, you just reach out a crush gun, grab its tiny little beady little eye stalk, and just... If these things could feel fear, it would. <laughs> and then uh, just straight damage with the other one will be... Uh, let's see here. Four plus four plus four. Pierce five. That takes care of their whole two soak. <laughs> uh, so did you say four plus four plus four? So that's yeah. 12? Yes. All right, you've done it. Okay. okay. They have three wounds each. Okay. Bang, 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 pow. Yeah. yeah, so you just grab one and crush it, and then with your other hand, you just do a lightning quick series of knife hands. What? What? They fly apart in several pieces. You, you, you leave stains of oil and scrap metal like the giant bugs they resemble on your floor. <laughs> you yell at a clone, clean that up, and you go back to your business. <laughs> you clean it up. You apply some paint. But what? So, Boots, 
Uh, it is now the other PC initiative slot. You are outside, and four more of these little guys are looking at you with their little drills and saws and just kind of... Ah, you, wife number eight. Me. Pull! Yeah, I remember you. <laughs> and just immediate... Just fire. Like, I don't... I, I'm done. Fire. Well, actually, technically, <laughs> aim. yeah, aim, then fight. Yeah, you beat me to an axe. <laughs> uh, distance, short? Yeah, no, these would have deployed in your immediate vicinity. And now let me double check, because I haven't used wife number eight in a while. It think ah, yes, uh, accurate two, spending those two immediately on uh, successes. So two blue sty because clanker killer. Yes. This ain't missing. <laughs> Clankers detected. It did not miss. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're fucking dead, dude. I think they're dead. Like, so, what's your Dimaggio on that? That's like, I think it's over 20. Like, holy Let's shit. see. Wife number 8 deals 8 damage. 8 plus 7 is... <laughs> even not counting my deadly accuracy, those guys are possibly dead at 15 Yeah, does that, does that one have any pierce? Uh, No. Okay, but you still do like 15, so they take two off with their soak, so there's still like 20, 13 left. How much heavy do you have? I have deadly accuracy with giving an extra five, so this I'm just saying, point. even without that, that probably. No, yeah, dead. no. That, you're already still at like 13 damage. There's four of them, they have three three wounds each, so yeah, you got them. Yeah. So I you just. And they're gone. Like, you just wipe them off. Uh, uh. One of the clones on the artillery teams is like, oh, thanks, sir. Can I? You, oh, how can I spend that? I'm just thinking if there's a way I can spend that triumph. Oh fuck, I don't know. Is there a way I can spend it for like a morale boost for the nearby clones as we set this all up? Sure. I mean, you can, can look cool. Yeah. Wait, did did you take them all out? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, oh, no, I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your triumph. So you, you want to like yeah. raise everybody's morale, get everybody going? Yeah, like get, get this whole like uh, uh, thing we're doing here with the AA stuff just sorted out quickly. All right. Okay. Cool. <sighs> All right. So uh, that was a brief interstitial when those buzz droids happened. So the enemy, yeah. you know, lighter a few fighters, but still mostly intact, is going to wheel around and come back for a reverse pass before they hook back up with okay. their carrier. So uh, it's it's time to do the defense again. Okay. Oh shit! I I need an e uh gif of that fifth. Another mess call that day. Day. I'm going to kill you, and then kill you again. So you do get a second boost die this time because boots did rally the defensive forces. So you're actually like okay. people are in position. They're pivoting. They're rallying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Arma, you're you're getting you're getting pretty bog standard damage control reports from across the base. Let's mm. oh, listen again. Uh, I'm going you know. to do that again. So you can't use it. You can't use it to downgrade the check because it would only make it only roll over the reds. It's down still to three you. reds and three reds is still like if it is one failure. Is all yeah, right. it's big dice. Big dice. It's pool. like a red dice adds just as much like decreases just amount from the percentage as a yellow dice would increase. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm going to roll that. So you, 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 ba, ba. This time, to success. Hey, Yay. all right. So you don't really do anything crazy, uh, but you are able to, by virtue of knowing where the enemy will be this time, you're able to split your formation appropriately, spread everybody out, and uh, actually like build a proper defensive screen. You actually have fire support on the ground now, kind of fun funneling the enemy. And you're able to scratch off another, you know, uh, couple of enemy forces. And, okay. uh, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, you got two successes. So you, you carve up a decent number of them. We'll say you whittle them down to one squadron's worth. You're, between okay. your, your two squadrons of guys, you get another, like, eight kills. Okay, so, so that's 12 left. Yeah, they're, they're down 12 total. So 
uh, on the second pass, your forces are able to, like I said, rally, redirect, and actually, you know, block off the enemy, beat them back, and uh, and prevent them from doing another full-on bombing run on the base. They have to break off, and they scooch back to return to their carrier. Uh, and since they did that, they don't dump any more buzzroids on the base. Yay. 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 This is important. It is important. So Stop yeah, Arma, you're here. getting your, your, like I said, you're getting your standard feedback of, of damage control reports, right? Hmm. Like, you know, got a fire over here, putting it out. Uh, you know, got some minor damage over here. Uh, you know, if you hadn't turned out everybody, there probably would have been some some collateral damage casualties, like because you took some shots that hit some of your barracks, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Uh, but no, no, nobody's sleeping in a bunk right now. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've Who's got all your civilians right below ground. Um, you've you've got most mostly minor structural damage and minor sabotage as. I assume following Boots' example and your own example, honestly, you're going to, like, start detaching clones to be like, all right, kill team, sweep the base, find buzz droids, shoot buzz droids. Yes. Yes. So your your infantry forces are pretty blocked up. You cannot really get them to do new things without making them stop doing a thing they're doing already. But uh, so far, this, this first wave has resulted in fairly minimal damage mm, on target. Yeah. Huzzah. So, uh, now we get the second wave. There we go. <laughs> the second wave crashes forth. Fuck you, Ocean! <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you're, you're back to your, your favorite Scopey boy. Um, your, your, uh, unnamed sensor, uh, clone, Arama. Mm -hmm. He's watching the board and he's like, All right, enemy's getting closer. We've got a uh, confirm munificent class frigate. Uh, she she bears the name Liquidation Preference. Oh Jesus! <laughs> uh, yes. By the way, um, in case you didn't know this from the fact that General Grievous's ship is called the Invisible Hand, um, yeah, separatist ships are all named after capitalism and and business buzzwords. Oh no. So that oh makes me think of like Hyperion from Borderlands. I, I think I just took like two two points of strain damage listening to that. <laughs> liquidation <laughs> preference, psychic damage, buzzwords, yeah, like, liquidation oh. preference. It's like oh god, it's fucking gaudy. Ugh, I don't want to be killed by that. <laughs> uh. Like, uh, I wonder if I can find the 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 quote unquote canon examples that are in the. Star Wars Armada because they've started doing Clone Wars ships. Like, I love it, but I hate it. I love it. I hate it. <laughs> You know? Uh, I gotta look at our assets again. <laughs> Liquidation yeah. preference. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, we, uh, I think at this point, I gotta fucking yell at them to bomb the fucking frigate. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, it's, great. it's starting to get like a little closer, a little in, in tandem. Yeah. I can. Oh, do you not like, have... not even bomb it, but like hit its guns. So, like, I guess just, just disable its guns as much as you can. Well, no, like I'm probably gonna like I'm gonna scramble more fighters, cause like again, like I can't sc I can't scramble everything at once. Yeah, you gotta yeah. only do enough to. But then, then this is why I wanted one of the things of um getting um Marv to try and hold them back, cause I need to get armor onto the flats because honestly, like, we don't have like actual AA defenses, not 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 in the traditional yeah. sense. We have to actually get tanks out that will shoot up. And I'm so, now starting to see where I know I'll be spending my time between missions of well, getting Well, we don't have to worry too much about that. Honestly, literally, we can just buy fucking AA turrets. We literally can. There's four of them yeah. at fucking more Iridu. Yeah. yeah. Enough, I'm yeah. doing, like, enough for yeah, now. I I'm going to need you guys. Well, like I said, my order for uh, you is... The other thing, though, is not only is this the it getting closer, mm -hmm. yes. it's approaching, but also uh, your comms tech uh, notes... Also, we're tracking deployment of more vehicles. Uh, these silhouettes, they're deploying bombers. Two squadrons, high unit class bombers. They're splitting up. Uh, one squadron of bombers inbound on the base. The other squadron of bombers, he does the dramatic turn over his shoulder to you. He's heading for more Iridu. 
because uh, now I would like to point out that's longer away, but that is close. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, have and... we set up that a uh, makeshift AA gun? Uh, you guys did arm them with some light turrets. Uh, I do believe they were actually anti-vehicle batteries, but yeah. it's only a few. So it's like only like four. It's... Yeah. Yeah, if you position them in cardinal directions. It's against a bomber assault. Little eh. So now you this is wave two, bombers inbound. Now you have problems. So um enemy you've got two enemy bomber squadrons, they're split. Um one of them is heading for your civilian population center, which is while decently like fortified and secured, is not ready to be run over by bombers. Mm -hmm. No city really is. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you've also got your own squadron of 12 hyena bombers coming to you. Uh, these guys will not be dumping missiles full of buzz droids on you. They're probably going to fire proton bombs and proton torpedoes. Yes. Oh. So if these guys actually break through, uh, this is going to be bad. Yeah. And they're split forces, so you... You got to do something to to move or both of them. Yeah. Now, um, the way this works is this doesn't necessarily have to be like a mass combat. It's a single squadron of enemies, so um, we could roll that out as a vehicle combat and say, Wevu plus uh, camo because they're already in the air could chase yeah. down one of them, right? And they could have a whole vehicle encounter. But that's could a that you could do Arma do a mass combat for the ones on this base and the vehicle combat? We or we chase the other ones down. We could do it that way, yeah. Yeah, let's chase the other ones down, do mass combat, where Lucky can do something with mass combat. <laughs> well, yeah, no, if you guys right, just chase so... them down, like, you guys both have, um... I have pilot planetary. I don't have gunnery, but I can do pilot planetary, so yeah. Well, no, no, yeah, you got, a, you got a backseater. Yeah, that's why you got the backseater. Yeah. So, but, we can um, chase Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be scrambling more, um... Ugh, I'll be scrambling, um... More fighters. Cool, uh, well, fuck, yeah, I'll be scrambling hecking, uh... Carmine Squadron yeah, that... and Coral Squadron. All right. Yeah, that's what I was questioning. Those then she'll just say all right once you give the order. <laughs> yeah, no. So that yeah, will... and Booth will try to man the makeshift AA gun and. Oh, and no, I'm gonna yell at someone. Someone warm up um, Sierra Mobile. All right, on it. We have those I'm guns. Deploying. <laughs> Send Boots there too. <laughs> yeah, Boots, go down. You're going to head down to the armor and start um, getting see if you can expedite getting the boys out into the flats. All right, then. I'll see what I can do. All right. Boots, okay. roll well, we wanna get the, um... leadership. Uh, roll me an average leadership check to start yelling. Who, me? <laughs> uh, well, both of you, actually. Boot. But, like, yeah, bo boots, boots roll boots. to deploy armor. Arma, roll because you're scrambling more fighters. Make this go orderly. You're you're, you're spinning a lot of dials, uh, moving a lot of plates now, so. Uh, and... Let's see. I'm sorry, uh, guys. Booth, boof, sir? I I'm, I'm spending a final lightside destiny point. Sure. Go Actually, ahead. Actually, You know what? It's double XP if I want to buy something during session, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm spending my last 10 XP to get one point into leadership. Okay. So, because you're buying mid-session... Uh, you're gonna upgrade one of those purple dice now, but you get your point of leadership. It, I don't think it costs double. Then it probably just costs the point, but it. No, it because it, it's out of career. Okay. Unless right. does officer have not have leadership? Oh, That's probably commander's leadership. leadership. Oh, sorry. Yeah, double like five five points for one normally, but double because in session. What? Oh, no, is it double in session? No, it's not. Is that what we're doing? Session. No, you just it's upgrade the check. I asked if it was double in session, and someone said yeah. Uh, no. I do not recall that. I do. Okay, then. Where's the actual rule? It's in here somewhere. We've pulled it up before. I think it's... There's a couple of different things we can do, but no. If it's on your, your thing, no. You can you can still pay the base price, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So it's contacts, titles, followers. Learning as you go. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Okay. So that's if so... you're paying over. You can take your first steps to do it. Go in. You can buy a skill rank, talent, whatever. Um, I will spend... Actually, um, you know what? Uh, it... It doesn't actually say. It's, uh, usually this seems to be talking about, um, buying things... Like, partially. 
Yeah, partially. So actually, you should just be able to spend the five XP and get a point of leadership right now yeah. if it's on your skill list. Yeah. Okay. And uh, um, uh, hold, hold your roll because I'm gonna spend five of my light side points. Well, I'm spending all of my light side points into okay. getting advantage. Okay. Because um, I'll go for three and three just to you know get everything uh, yep. nice and fast and tense. But I will also pass um. Well, let me three and five. Uh, two boost. Okay, gotcha. Right. Oh, thank right. you for the boost. Yes. All right, so Boots, you get two boost on this, and you have one yellow pip. Uh, question, for story purposes, because I did the thing to give morale to everyone, shall I get an extra boost? Because people are like, hey, it's that guy. Actually, wait. You're an officer. Do you have your Republic symbol of service on you? Pretty sure we. I would have been wearing it. Yeah, so, okay, yeah, yeah. Get your boost every night, yeah. Your morale, your morale thing was, uh, I let that solve the problem earlier with the oh, okay, uh, boosting good. Webu, but yeah. Yep. Oh, for fuck's huh. sake. Is that the exact uh. same? Mm, not quite, but still yeah. Still triumph, it's though. It's no, isn't it like, okay. two, like still two advantage, one triumph? No, no, let's wait. No, that was Mars. Mars was um, one advantage, one triumph. Yeah. <laughs> wait, there we go. Triumph. Here guys. I right. to get a the pain of the double failure. Yep. The okay, pain. so. So, Arama, you're you are able to fairly flawlessly be like cuz you know, you got you had everybody fuel up. You had your last squadron launched and had their their full cycle go by. So, you are ready to set again. So, Carmine deploys. They're in big big boy arcs, you know large forward-facing weapons, etc. They have rear gunners, and you have uh, Coral Squadron deployed to escort them, clones mm -hmm. and Z-95s, and are like, all right, stop those bombers. Well, and I should note, uh, let me actually see. Yeah, no, I think for the sake of simplicity, and it makes better for the mass combat, there are still 12 Vulture droids left, so those 12 will form up on the set of bombers heading for the base as escorts. So Heck. we'll keep the force disposition good. Um, okay. Boots, you yell at armormans to armor. Um, while indeed you are successfully getting everybody loaded into their vehicles and fired up, right? Like, yes. everybody's going ahead and getting in stuff. Um, you run into some some issues of, like, actually getting them out onto the, the, the flats and stuff. Um I think we've talked about this before. Your vehicle components are probably split between, like, hangars and storage bays actually up on the mesa, and then you have, like, a large cargo elevator, right, down to the actual flats oh, area, and then yeah. you have some garages on the bottom. So you are, I will say, with your Triumph, right, you are on your way down with all the, the ass you've got in stock to the bottom level, but uh, your ability to actually get deployed on the flats is really going to depend on whether or not Arama can yell at those fighters good enough that you don't get bombed. Yeah. Okay. That, uh, I'm fine with that. Okay. So, uh, the mass combat role will be faster, so we will resolve that first. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah. So, Arama, uh, you are deploying two squadrons of fighters, so let's give you two green dice to base. You have... One boost die because you have assembled your defensive position, which you are defending. Yes. And uh, you will roll against the enemy assets. They also start with two purple dice and then upgrade five times for, like, what was it? The uh, three reds, one purple, I think we decided. Math? Wait, no. If yes. It's, if it's. No, it'd be. If it. Wait, no, if, it's, if it starts with term, wouldn't it be... Hang on. Purple Upgrades red, go... It's purple, red, then purple to red. Then purple? Yeah, so it's three reds and a purple. Yeah, three reds and a purple, I guess. Okay. Yeah, three, yes, reds, three reds, reds and purple. purple. Three reds. Okay, we did our math correctly. Yay. Yay. Here, well, hang on. Let me upgrade mine to yellow, yellow, green... Then I have command. So blue. So blue. <laughs> glad I, I'm glad I picked that up. Jesus. Um. Oh, do I want 
want to spend this now? Uh, let me check my. Because I do have a. Happens that there's tiny destiny pools and help. Well, also. Yeah. Luckily, well, I'm not going to need a destiny pool. I have the force on my side. Thank you, um, Exemplar of the Republic. Yep. Uh, yep. And you have like five force guys, yeah, so you're um, bound double, around. I'm double checking some things real quick here. Uh, will the force. Da -da -da -da. Fall back, commanding presence, that one is blacks. That lets me use force dice, knowledge is power, that's a trump card. Oh, that, that's it, alright. It's kind of great that like your character has actually grown into actually feel like you fit that talent, like, damn. Uh, so yeah, I, are the... I rolled. Here we go. Alright. Okay. I think you break. I think you just break through the thread, and you have like, yeah. Just pour all of that into. Yeah, I'll pour all of that into advantage. So into... It'll be four success, one advantage. And. All right. Uh. Yeah. No. You. I think you. you break it. Uh. Call for a sterling defense. <laughs> this is. Be because you are defending a static target, you are, and you've got your positions in. You have you learned your lessons from your first engagement. With these guys, and it's like okay. Don't spread out. Don't go too thin. Actually, it would probably be, yeah. Everybody spread out. Don't focus your fire. Give me a big wall. Shoot everybody who comes down. And just, uh, you're, you know, now that you're using your, your ARC 170s, which have, which are, are heavy, uh, but long range fighters, mm -hmm. very big engines, very strong long range guns, um, backed by Z95s, which are very, uh, good multi-role fighter. Uh, the Z95 is the predecessor to the X-Wing. If anybody doesn't know, it just doesn't have the cross-wing formation. Um, and, like, get people into, like, broad positions to chew up most of the enemy fighters and bombers. You don't really take any significant losses on the backswing, and anybody left is easy pickings for, uh, you know, stray uh, man pads on the ground or, or emplacement fire. Mm -hmm. And bombers do not hit uh, at all. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Cool. Alright, well, um, if we have a moment, I would now like to make a mad dash for Sierra Mobile. Alright. Okay. Roll I'll yell average, at, um... Roll me an average athletics check. Funds. For funds? Yeah. All right. For funds. Let's see how, let's see how fast I can yum here. Let's see. Yum. So, let me see here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing fancy, but I have the force. Wait, that was wrong. That was wrong. Oh, you're, 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 uh, that was just wrong. Just roll, <laughs> roll the two purples. Well, once again, lucky forgets to add the difficulty. Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah. Let's just move that on to success for success for advantage. All right. So, so Boots is arguing with the elevator operator. He's like, <laughs> "Listen, the general told me to deploy to the flats yesterday. And the elevator is operators, but like." But I got an order from a general to hold the elevator, and then just Arma, uh, fucking three point Iron Man lands. It's and like, like okay, it's like, it's all like, get it. my tank on that elevator. And he's like, oh, go, flip, <laughs> Red, green light, you know, you you got a, you've got a lovely like video game loading screen sequence of like sirens going as the elevator just lowers Sierra Mobile onto the flats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is like the, I love this. Like this is never just like a Star Wars game and like using the Dragon Quest, like Dragon Age, like I guess formula of like area sequence, area sequence, area sequence. I just, I just had the thought of yeah, fucking. Uh... We call Kotor because made by the same people. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I yeah, I guess people are Kotor. Just like with the elevator operators, had that bit of droopy from uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit's like going down, sir. I remember All right, so um, because we have a moment to go, because we're gonna roll yeah. some initiative dice in a second. Um, yeah. Unless, I mean, we've been going for three hours. I know some of you were a little sleepy. Are you guys still okay to go? No, I have been uh, jazzed by the fact that I am under attack. <laughs> I am ready to. I'm, I'm okay. ready to combat. Ready okay. to hit this out of the park. Or okay. All right. Whatever. So we will go there in a second. But so. Uh, I assume because you didn't say anything about moving them, you were leaving one of your arty platoons as the defensive screen, right? Yes. Like, actually, as your air defense. Are you taking the other one with you? Yes. Okay. Like I said, like, I... I'm keeping so, it back... So, like, like, is this is this all... You want all rolling thunder on the plateau, on the plane now? Like, like yeah, like... 
if they okay. get those droids on the on the flats, like I don't have the infantry to deal with that. I literally don't. I have to basically hit them with right. as much metal as no, possible. No, I'm just making sure. Okay, yeah. so you 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 deploy at the the head of an armored column. I I assume with Sierra Mobile in the front. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, f f flanked by a mix of ATTE walkers with their you know big main guns ready to go and uh, with probably uh. Probably shielding your stun tanks because those are bigger and slower. Mm -hmm. uh, but they have, you know, those big, big composite ion cannons, which make, you know, fairly good uh, anti air guns. Also good at penetrating shields. Uh, prob probably with your two platoons of your TX Saber tanks, you know, flanking to your sides because they're fast attack tanks. Mm -hmm. And your artillery walkers are way in the back because, well, that's what you do with field guns. Yeah. So yeah, uh, you know, you you form a, a, a an impressive display uh, of of gleaming Republic steel uh, on the the you know the big wide open brown and green slightly sepia tone mud flat. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you want to deploy infantry, do you also want to hustle out? Uh, you know, you've got your uh, cavalry platoon of swamp striders. You want to hustle them out as well? No. Well, uh, right. no. Okay. Okay. This one, this cavalry is mostly for scouting and patrolling, not for actual direct combat. Okie dokie. So, let's roll some initiative. All right. So you guys have. I'm trying to think. Is the best? No, the best. Me to answer the question to me. The best move is not to roll 12 initiatives for 12 rival class bombers. That's dumb me. <laughs> I'm trying to use the Trevor reaction. So. All right, yeah. you both activating a rapid reaction? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, um, ahead, suffering one strain for rapid reaction one because I okay. only have one. So let's see. Okay. 12 bombers. Do I want to do two ah. groups of... I can do four groups of three or three groups of four. Four. Uh, what do we roll for this one again? Let's do three groups of four. Uh, I'm thinking cool. Cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. Because we're going, thing. we're flying up behind them pretty much. Yeah. Gotcha. Actually. Oh, right. I reminded me. Um, before we do that, um, we might actually have you know add some modifiers in there. Go ahead and uh, both of you roll me some. Let's go with average pilot checks. You are turning okay. and burning. You know, you're doing okay. an intercept course. Um. But going out there also <laughs> we'll need to pull up okay so before that i'll commit a force side to increase my agility up to five okay. that's a good point to do that to pull that, that means i have two force points and that's just average okay how much i already have you guys have yeah uh, i'll do, do three uh, what, uh what's the stats for this plane uh pilot, for this craft yeah i'm pulling it up space yeah i'm uh, using pilot space yeah you can use pilot space I mean, I got only you, can, you can also use pilot planetary. You're in an atmosphere. Uh, where was okay. I? Okay. Yep, got it. Okay. I was just pulling uh, it. Rex. Okay, handling's normal. Okay. Then I only got okay. this. Yeah, you're in a big wish boat. I'll take a strain, I guess. All right, yeah, you take a strain and you take a system strain as well because you were in a vehicle check, but you're... I mean, it's fair. You're in a Speed 3 vehicle. You're in a fully armored fighter bomber. So, like, you, Y-Wings have big engines. They're still not necessarily meant to, like, turn and burn this fast. Yeah, it's like I'm pushing this thing. Yeah. The right. the astromech you're riding with, you know, beetle beeps some stuff that goes across your display. Something about the warranty. Oh, wait. I probably should have added any... Yeah, I was about for, to say, uh, are you familiar with your, your own vehicle? What was the handling... Not, not uh, really. I have to close good. things. Okay, so I will uh, scroll up. Gear. Let's go to. It's in your. It that is a normal vehicle, so it will be in the vehicle list. But I'm also scrolling. So let me see. I'm very... I never considered see... like level hero custom. What's the name? Is called. Let's do double check. Eight to two Actus class. In is the Delta. No, I don't, unless you took the two-seat trainer, you are in one of the Jedi Interceptors. Okay, so I guess that's the AT, ATA... Yep. Eight to two, Actus. Is that right? Oh, yep. yeah, that's it. 
Okay. Time to do close. that so that's handling plus two. So I add two more. Boost die, yep. And that, will that do anything? Three more advantage. So three success, uh, six advantage. Uh, are there any particular uh, maneuvers you'd want to do ahead of time? You know, draw a beat on anybody, get a lock on or anything? I guess. Guess get feed on. Are there right? There's other fires with us. Um, yeah, you gotta uh, you gotta wave. Um, so you could attempt to make a choose to make a leadership check to build a squadron formation around you. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, so basically for free while you're while you're going, you yell at one of the squadrons to form up on you. Uh, I assume the V wings because those are. Light and fast yeah. interceptors. Yeah, the V wings. Yeah. All right. So you, you know, yell out Shade Squadron on me. So make an easy leadership to get into formation, right? Yes. Yeah, easy leadership. Like, yep. Because they're clones. Oh, right. Uh, and you get a free upgrade. Yeah, because they're clone. So, you, 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 puh. Okay. Fighters, follow me. Yep. Three success. Okay. So you get to pick a formation. They're on page uh, 20, but it's attack formation, evasive maneuvers, run dark, sensor sweep, navigator, or screen. OK, squad, OK. Let's see here. I uh, don't think run dark will be what I want to do. Um, Where are these formations? Screen formation, screen navigator. Okay, I'm thinking attack formation. All right. Attack pattern alpha. Got it. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to find this page in the hologram. 20? Yeah, 20. Type 20 in it. Yeah. It's the oh, it's page, it's page 18, number 18, little... but yeah, it's okay, number 18. Go to the yeah. 20th one. I was looking too far. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, the other thing okay, you guys so are both want to want to find. Where is it? Squads and squadron. Where is the starship? There's a special note. Yeah, okay. Uh, the page is numbered 29, but it's 31 in the PDF. Uh, the astromech section. You guys both have um, NPC uh, astromechs. So gotcha. you can look for that sidebar, uh, which will mean you can spend to get at the benefits of certain astromech abilities, because you guys both yeah. have... Right. Uh, NBC Astromex writing with you. Yeah, I can see all of them. Okay, so, yeah. so watch back, target lot, damage all control, right, so, etc. So, uh, the you use a rapid reaction, so you got two success okay. for advantage, right, Marth? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me roll um, mine because I didn't yeah. Go ahead and roll your cool. I gotta roll my calculate. <sighs> menu, so. All right. <laughs> Okay. Camo, go fast. New, new. That, that makes sense. I'm gonna split the heavens. <laughs> he's going. He's he's doing fast. Yellow line is playing somewhere. Red line. Red line. Yeah, red line. <laughs> red line would be good as well for this. Uh, okay, hold on. I need to figure out. So it's uh, red line camo. <laughs> So the way technically uh, minions work is I would upgrade this for the skill so they have it. They have one green base because they have one in everything, and then they've got three additional guys. So that would be two yellows, I think. Yeah, because it would be green and then three. So I will roll double yellow three times. <laughs> I rolled decently. Okay. Huh. Damn. Ooh, we got four successes. <laughs> if Axe hadn't rolled three advantages and a triumph, that would actually matter. Um, Four, yeah, three advantage and triumph. But yeah. <laughs> you did roll, yeah, two, four. So technically a couple of them do go, so this should be PC, PC, PC. I think it's like PC, PC. NPC, PC, NPC. As a question, oh, uh, I, the astromech is separate for the backseater, right? Uh, yes, you also PC, have a gunner. Um, NPC, gotcha. NPC, PC, NPC. Yeah, I believe this should be yeah, right. Uh, there is also... Uh, because they are not in formation, there is an NPC squadron of Y wings. Like period, they will interact at the end of the encounter and do stuff. Mm, okay. Um, okay. But yeah, basically, if you have you have access to your main guns, um, 
at the just to keep it simple at the end of your initiative uh when you're done with the rest of your turn axe i will have your gunner take a pot shot with his ion turret all right based on his stats um and if you roll really good on like an attack or pilot roll or something you can like set him up or he can like also fire on the same guy as you or something i'm probably damage. just gonna do pilot check because i basically give him chances to shoot but we'll see yeah. but okay it's a pc slot first uh well, we could take like it, to go they want to, uh, i don't actually have gunnery <laughs> okay i think i'll go so I'll, since it's maneuver i'll uncommit a force die to allow me to have more force point force dice okay. to use and how far away are they? All right, so we are at uh, the beautiful power planetary range. Yep, so, planetary range. Let's see. More Iridu is decently far away from the outpost, like, uh, uh, you know, a little bit longer than sight lines. Yeah. But you guys uh, did roll pretty good to catch up with them, so we'll say... Let's see, what's the best... Planetary ranges are pretty far, so we can we can start you out at at short. Okay. As... Uh, okay. Now most of your most of your weapons and your sensors and stuff will work at close, yeah, so that means yeah, you still gotta like are close move range. up to move in. Okay. And technically, okay. Genesis has some interesting rules for like, um. You know, okay, so free not... free maneuvering every round and stuff, but we're not. I'm not gonna futz with that too much right now. Okay, so are you uncommitted at force? I said that's one maneuver, and they are at medium or short. Short. Okay, so I'll need to move the ship to uh, yeah. to get closer. So here's a good question, because um, this wasn't like an opposed style chest last time. How how fast you humping it? Let's see here. Uh... All right, speed six. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, this is the... So the A to 2 turned into the TIE Fighter. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. And so yeah. it, it is a fast little sucker. No, it does not have shields. <laughs> I find it interesting that we have both of them, both speed. predecessors. I think yeah, it's I'll funny how go... that split worked. Well, since I'm... Um... Right. One Short. got cheaper to make. <laughs> Guess I'll go speed uh, four. All right, speed four. That makes sense. That's about as fast as your V-wing buddies can go. So, yeah. okay. Yeah, I should I should say technically the the design for the the A to two became the tie. They're not necessarily the same manufacturer. Um, I believe it's okay. canon that uh, Cenar stole uh, Kuwait Engineering's uh, design. Uh, however, KSE, the company that makes the Ada 2, also went on to go build the A-Wing, another ludicrously fast fighter, so. <laughs> they just don't so, stop. like, one stole one, then basically made, like, super mass productive, and the other one just kind of... Uh, yeah, improved. no, Cenar took the, like, the design for the twin ion engines and the cockpit, the you know, the flight structures, and was like, I can make this cheaper and more energy efficient, and okay. won his government lowest bid contract. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm going speed four. Hmm. So there is... God, I wish this had a table. It's skip right easier, they, but... They have, like, the whole... Sp how much the speed goes per maneuver. Yeah. Well, okay, let's get some Maki Ando here right here now. Planetary range band. Okay, all right. Yeah, so you are speed two to four. Yeah. Uh, you can move to close with one maneuver. Okay, so I'll do that. They'll... Be too, I think. System strain. Uh, yeah, because you've already used your maneuver to uncommit, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, you as the pilot take this take two strain for an additional maneuver, and your vehicle takes two system strain. Okay, so you're you're undercut. pushing it hard. You're going in ham. Okay. Mark down. I have two, so that's three strain that I have on me. Uh. Okay, so now since I'm at close range, let's see here. I have either light ion cannons or medium laser cannons. One does ion. Both are linked. So, hmm. Yeah, you've got... Because the... To remind everybody at home... Oh, actually, this is, this is a really good one because this has got the actual... This has got a good forward-facing... 
Yeah. So, just I think I'll Here go we. with the forward mountain being laser cannons. Oh. Yeah. So, um, I see how that turns into the tie. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so I believe the, the laser cannons are the inset ones, and then yeah. the outset ones are the ion cannons because they're on the wingtips. So. Yeah, I'll go with the laser cannons. All right. Okay, so... Yeah, you're just going to do... You're going to tuck in behind uh, one of the bombers. Yep. Got uh, Alpha, Bravo, yep. and Charlie, we'll say, yep. formations. So who do you want? Uh, Yes, Alpha. All right. All right, so you, you grab the lead cluster of bombers and are just like, yo. Yeah. Okay, so what's the difficulty? So, uh, you guys are both the same silhouette, so it is average. They have no defense. Droid okay. fighters don't come with shields. You, 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 and then Actually, I guess I'll try a gunnery. I, I saw five agility. I'll just do five greens. I'll try. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you get one boost die for being in attack formation. You, you have a whole squadron of guys supporting you, following your lead. Okay. Then I get three force dice because of intuitive strike. Oh. Yeah, you do. But Bro. I have to spend like two points just to add an advantage or a success. So oh. it's different from the. Uh... Yeah, it's they, they they balanced it. I think decently enough. You need a couple to make it good, but like because can, this is this is literally adding ten damage to a roll. Yeah, no, yeah, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, like. Rip, uh, rip them into a cloud yeah, of dust. Pa, 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 pa. Okay, two success. Actually, wait, do I want to use that dark side points? Not yet. What is our destiny pool at, anyway? One light. Yeah. Yeah, one yeah. light. So I'll <laughs> just do two success. All right. What's so your base damage on that? Five? Base damage of the medium laser cancer is, is six based on your profile. Okay, yep, six. So that's eight. Okay. Eight, you don't have any advantage from length, so that's eight. They have armor three. So that's five out of, yeah, however many. Right. Just realized I need to open a notepad to start tracking hull profiles. <laughs> Bravo, Charlie. So Alpha, that five mm, out of their we first. Start, we might need to 14. put some fortifications around the mud flats. Now that I think mm. about it, you can Maybe do some work. Yeah. I think we've yeah. talked about that before. You just, nobody yet was committed to mucking around in the literal mud yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's like this is mud. No, <laughs> no, no we're, we're reasons, like, okay. setting up a few bunkers, some a turrets. And shoot, we might want to think about putting some fucking. Start making a coastal guard, I guess. <laughs> or well, no, 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 not coastal, but um, actually putting some of the motor pools down in the flats for rapid deployment. Uh, yeah. Uh, these guys didn't come from the coast. They cruised from somewhere overland. Yeah. Gotcha. They they hugged a cloud formation and basically meandered their way over, like. Like you said, when you checked in with um with Green Hills, they were like, "Hey, we got a weird sensor blip coming towards you. What's that? Look at it." And you looked at it, and it was an enemy ship. Okay, all right. So, uh, yeah, I believe that's everything. You did two maneuvers and a go. So yeah. it's NPCs. Yep. All right. So as you stitch a couple shots, which tear into one of the bombers, you know, start peeling away some of its some of its armor and and hull material. Uh, there's other two squadrons of bombers. Notice. Galaxy Willikers, there's something going on here. So, yep. Um, they actually starburst away, whip around, and so let me look at my maneuver list. What's the best? Okay. One? <laughs> right, armor two. Okay. No, you're in a you're in a Jedi ship, which is yeah. very f flimsy, but designed for Jedi's to. Fly them good. Yeah. You could do fucking corkscrews around like the enemy. I know. No, they're very agile. As we belong something. That was me, sorry. I think the best is just I was getting technically dinner. let's see, do I wanna hit would they gain the advantage? 
oh yeah, no, this is a Genesis improvement. There's actually in Genesis, there's actually a maneuver called reposition, which is just you you scooch around in your range bands a little bit. Um, oh no, I got the some the chicken tortilla soup. Okay, uh, so let me scroll all the way back up now. All the way back up. Because the Genesis, the, the bonus Genesis rules are at the bottom, but let's see, where's... Beckles? Oh, the NPC, all okay. oh, right, NPC Astromech has plus one blue to any skill check. Yeah. Well, free That's skill good. check or just when he matters? Yeah, it says I think to check that the... To one skill check that the pilot makes each turn. Oh, okay. So you gotta should have got an extra boost. Okay, we'll do that next time rather than keep going back and forth. Okay. Yeah, it's just a special note for NPC Astros. Okay. All right, that's good. Okay, so where was I? Uh, yeah, I think the best way to to talk about this is their. Let's uh... right, gain the advantages. Now I need to double check again the page about the Genesis. Did they make gain the advantage and maneuver then? No, it's still an action. That's really shitty for the action economy, guys. Why? Why do you make this so hard? Um. Fuck it. I'm the GM. I'm. <laughs> These guys are reasonably certain that I'm fair and and balanced. Um. Reasonably. So. Most uh, times, yes. I will have them spend a maneuver basically for to to fluff wise reposition, so yeah. they break off and circle around behind you in your formation. Both, uh, okay. we'll say that uh, Bravo does it first because we, you know, they can't both go at the same time. So okay. Bravo breaks off, circles around, so they're going to spend a maneuver to get around in position. That means they can't use it for any other fancy pants stuff. Okay. And, um, then they are going to attempt a, uh a combat check against you. Okay. So, you are still... Well, technically, you're still at four, but it's a one difference. Yeah. Because you're a squadron right now. Yeah. Uh, you don't have any defense. Yep. No defense. <laughs> so, dice roller. So, they have one. They still have all three minions, so this is... Just two yellows, two purples. Uh, do you do anything to this with your jettiness? <laughs> jettiness. I, uh, what does intuitive do invasion I... do? Intuitive invasion is a maneuver that I have to activate on my turn. Uh, okay. I yeah. don't think I have a dodge on a... Yeah, no, there's yeah, actually... Uh, it's really dumb because they didn't backport it, but... Um, in the clone pilot spec, they added the snap roll, which is a default talent in Genesis. That's the equivalent of dodging. Um, it's unfortunate that not a lot of people have access to it, unfortunately. Um, wow. But we'll just go with the yip yeah, yip. Yeah, see what happens. Yep. All those have canceled out. Okay. Uh, by the okay. way, they weren't firing any special weapons. They were just shooting at you with their lasers. So. <laughs> okay. Some laser blasts fly over your head. You kind of <laughs> duck down low. Uh, so the second one will break off once again. They'll circle around behind you, and they'll do the same thing. Okay. Snap roll around, fire. Okay. okay. So these guys get one in and one advantage. Can't really do anything with that advantage. Um. So, but your vehicle takes uh six damage before soak, or before armor, I should say. Okay. So that's okay. That... And keep in mind, um. You are surrounded Six. by a squadron. At any point as an incidental, I believe you can choose to have one of your squadron squadroneers take the hit for you and be taken out. Okay. Uh, instead for of you suffering I'm... a hit. Okay, so that's six damage minus two armor, so that's four. Yep. I think I'll just take it. All right. One of their laser blasts managed to find its way through its formation and skims across your, your, your fighter, peels some of your yeah. paint off. Yeah, I'm protecting the others. Okay. Uh, camo, it's you. Uh, you see right. that your uh, general is engage has engaged the enemy and is being engaged, and there's a big there's a big furball ahead of you, as they call it. <laughs> All right, it's time to mince some time to mince some droids. Actually, 
Actually, does, right. droid, does, does a droid killer work when you're in a craft as well? I don't see why it doesn't. These guys have a special rule to be droid operated, so no, they're droids. You can get clanker killer. Yeah, I see bonus. I, I just need some boost die, yeah. Which I at least get one, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's any combat check that targets tar targets a droid. <laughs> And you can choose to add a blue die from your Astro, so you can at least get that one. Oh yeah, true. They're gonna have co they can co-pilot. Actually, that works out. Yeah. So, All right, so yeah, you're here. Uh, you are currently at short range from the enemy because you haven't yet moved up. So, can I add point blank technically? No. No, because okay. you're not point blank. It's not that kind of short range. All right, fair. I had to ask. <laughs> Is this planter short range? What's the range on his weapons? Well, so, uh, the Y-Wing's armed with ordnance, so he can fire proton torps for short, um, uh, sensor range okay. on the Y-Wing. Uh, let's see here. You let's may see. have to... Oh, yeah, pro... Proton bomb rack is damage 8 down, blast yeah, you can't, reach 10. You have, to, you have to be firing at ground targets to use the bomb rack. Okay, uh, fire mounted proton torpedo launchers. Yep. Yeah, the proton Four torpedoes damage eight crit have two breach. Short, blast 6, breach 6, linked 1. Ooh, linked yeah, 1. Yeah, no, they're good. They're, <laughs> they're big boys. You want to get in there? Uh, let's get in there very short. All right. Uh, can I apply true aim? Okay, this is actually a very good question. Are you allowed to aim in a vehicle? Uh, I mean, it's, so it's not on the list. You can aim vehicular weapons. I don't know as a pilot if you can aim. You may. Uh, the the appropriate number is um, usually the the maneuver is stay on target. Mm -hmm. You upgrade the ability of uh, any outgoing attacks you perform until the pilot's next turn, but also upgrade any incoming because you're flying level so yeah there's not really that's the aim maneuver equivalent okay gotcha yeah literally uh oh true is like hmm. a separate maneuver but that's fair. Yeah. yeah oh yeah there is a thing called advanced targeting array which can give the the vehicle uh, innate true aim talent Okay, so okay. well, if it can, the... then and that's uh, that's a that's the normal one, right? Yeah, it's the advanced targeting array. Yeah, Nate, okay. true aim. All right, so yes, uh, that means that you can in fact true aim in a vehicle. Okay, so you can spend right, cool. the true aim here if you want. And I have two ranks of this, so I get so you get two upgrades, two right? And two boosts, or I guess just a boost and two upgrades. Just a boost, because you get the benefits of the aim maneuver, and then you. Yeah, yeah I get the two so, upgrades. Okay. So okay. So you you flip out your bombing computer. You're in a Y wing, so it's the thing that covers your eye, just <laughs> like in the end of A New Hope. <laughs> uh, is the astrobot have like a serial number or serial name? Uh, I can I can make one up for you. All right, sure. We can decide who your astrobot is. <laughs> like you got some spicy soup. Mm, Ooh. Spicy. Also, the name of my uh, gunner. Yeah, sure. Um, no, that's too on the nose. I can't call him literally backseat. <laughs> Dorsal. Yeah. Rear Admiral backseat. Barrage. I'll figure it out. I got some stuff. Right. But um no. Barrel. Um so your your Astromex <laughs> uh short form is M three. Alright. Yep. Uh, uh it has a bright red color scheme. Uh your backseater keep calling it X for some reason. <laughs> uh, and it is uh, aggressively attempting to fire the ordnance. <laughs> <laughs> Just your 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 little because you've got a little there's a little heads up display in the cockpit that lets you know mm -hmm. what the Astro is saying because he's fucking outside in space. It's just like you know he's just yelling at you the fire missiles. <laughs> okay. Target center mass. And then, like, this is where I'd probably say, like, we're capable of probably, like, say, like, target locks established. Um, lock targets. Fire. Also, like, probably being, like, probably saying, like, it was, like, insert name of back, uh, gunner. Yeah. It's like, get uh, he can do a lot right now because yeah, you're like, out of range. Yeah, but... it's like, a uh, cover all stragglers as they leave the group, as they like, yeah. try to, like, run out of the group. <laughs> all right, here we go. The, you're the boss. Box two, box three, fire. All right, I wonder so, what would the FOC code for protons be? I don't know. Probably radar-guided? Mm. They're not thermal, I don't no. think. 
Though you right, can just... actually, they might be. You can bamboozle missiles sometimes with countermeasures. I'd have to do my double checking on the Fox code. So linked one means like it just happens twice, right? No, uh, linked one means you can choose to hit a second time if you get two advantage. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, all right. You so I get to. a thing. I get a. I get a boost from being in. Did I tell this being in the formation? No, you are not in the formation. You're okay. Not so then, I get a boost from aiming and I get a boost for the so... astromech. Yes, if you want to use your astromech boost for this skill check, yes. All right, cool. Because I'm going to do it to give myself two advantage, and then Fair I'm have two. Okay. Do you also remember this is blast? They are minions in a minion group. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah. Blast is a uh, fucking bullshit in space. Yeah, guys. but it's, yeah. it's why I make sure I have advantage. Yeah. <laughs> in space, no one can hear you blast. Activate blast. Yeah. And I guess to do trium. I get two yellows, and then I have three greens, and then I have an BV, and yeah. then the uh, difficulty, right? Uh, yeah, too difficulty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're fucks too. Probably... All right. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> How oh, much no, damage no, is no, that? No. Uh, so hey, who did you want to shoot at, Alpha, Bravo, or Charlie? Keeping in mind, Bravo and Charlie are currently harassing your Jedi. Uh, Bravo. <laughs> okay. Dead. Yeah. All right. So, um, what's your base damage on that? It's eight plus three, right? Uh, yeah, that's eleven. Okay. Eleven. <laughs> 11 with like breach 6, so fuck you armor. Breach. And so like, so I could totally like do it again to hit to 10 alpha. And you can. Well, no, you would apply it to, to hit the same target twice. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, then... Is really? Then Can't blast. Was first time using a linked weapon? But yeah, uh, yeah, you can spend 2 to or... link, so you would hit them a second time. Mm -hmm. It's linked because you're firing two torpedoes, they're double launchers. Gotcha. Yeah. And then you could do the triumph for blast if you want, which would mean you'd apply the base damage of the hit to everybody in that formation. Which would mean yeah. blast, so it's base plus six, so that'd be like 17. Well, no, it's, uh, what's your blast rating? Six. Blast yeah, is so six, six, six plus so three. Nine. Okay, the nine. That's nine. still pretty good. <laughs> yeah, nine with the breach. The breach counts. That yeah, breach six. That, that so, probably uh, so all their armor, yeah. You pretty much take out one and you give nine damage to all the others. So could I, so like, do the two for the linked and then the thing for the blast, so then, yep. like, you just, yeah. Okay, so, it's like... so that was Bravo. So. <laughs> Um, the lead bomber in Bravo eats two proton torpedoes and evaporates in a cloud of uh, rapidly expanding radiation. Uh, because it was a proton torpedo and you hit a bomber, uh, its magazine also explodes and the other three fighters in its formation eat the shrapnel. Uh, they're all still flying because hyena bombers are decently tanky, but yeah. they're not good. They're okay. not in a good way. So, yeah, uh, there you this go. You only figure. have... Uh, you only have what more? Seven more of those? Six more? Yeah, yeah but it's limited. It's, uh, on that? Uh, uh, it's limited to eight, but it's still okay. So you got so seven it. more shots. Yeah, but it's they take a bit. This is a whole yeah, bunch of fine. like, Kevo's like done all of, like the piloting before, and like he's had to literally just through literally just raw training, and I think just muscle memory forced himself to actually like know how to shoot well. He's he's seen boots do this enough times. Yeah. <laughs> and to be fair, you're firing guided munitions. The torpedoes yeah. do most of the work. Yeah, just no, line it up, there. wait for it to lock in. The little you got the little the little indicator of the bar filling back up as they're reloading. It's like yeah, uh, I think that's it. I can do. When this is... uh, we'll say that you're. I, I've decided I want to call your backseater, uh, flight officer Lowrider. All right, okay, Lowrider. <laughs> Lowrider. You, you can call him LR for short, and he's like, "Good shot, sir." Uh, keep track of uh, keep uh, keep fire on the Rainers. Uh, we need those down. <laughs> You gotta get me close for that. Move in. He takes a couple pot shots, but I believe the I believe the ion cannon bubble turrets only close range. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe we move in close. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Could technically, because let's see, I did a thing. I could. Yeah, you got uh, another we... maneuver if you want to rack up some more sh ship strain. You could close in. I, I did say technically one. he doesn't take a shot until the end of your initiative, so. So might as well, yeah, move in close as so I do it. All right. You you scooch up closer. You you touch the throttle when he tells you to get in. So. I'm at three strain, so I should probably keep track of this. Yes, you're at three of the personal nine? strain and system strain. I just mark, I'll mark the two. Yep. So let's see. Clone. I still got like twelve. I got only at five. I'm only at like five of seventeen strain. Well, no, those guys are all minions. Well, okay, I guess that makes sense. He can be a minion. You have like a third of the strain of this thing, but hey. I mean, you can take a pretty simple maneuver to clear strain. You can. I mean, I've also you can, hear, you can heal system strain as much as you like. 
Yeah. Uh, so. like only hell strain. You can only jury rig once. Yeah, so I can push this thing as much as I can if I'm able to like focus on it. Yeah, you're right. actually pretty good at that. Okay, so I will roll for him. You've already used the astromech bonus, so he just gets his. Right. So it's basically like rolling guided dice at this point. He rolls three. three also, times. I was I would been oh I was to, I was listening to someone hey, doing this. Okay, so that's your base damage, Chief. Terminator light ions. Okay, five. The pierce, no beach or anything. No, okay, so that's just seven minus their armor, which is three. So four. Wow. Damn. Oh, that's right. The Probably finish all this off. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's system strain, so it's actually it's out of the, that as well. Um, but okay. still, that's very funny. Uh, I would, I could easily have gone if it had actually exceeded their hull threshold of actually knocking him out, but no, it's not quite. So we'll go with the, the f four out of twelve. They oh. do have less system strain than they do have uh, hull, so the ion actually is a is a move. Gotcha. Also, I was I was listening to this song when like doing this. It's pretty great. <laughs> all right, but uh, that's all of you. So it's now it's the last NPC go. So, uh, Alpha will go. Alpha Bomber Group feels slightly pressured now that they're being shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, are you going to take the conflict one. and stuff to take the extra damage? Well, I, I won't because there's a... Uh, should I actually... Uh, I'll you. just do it. I'll just do it since I already did the damage so there's not any sort of wibbly wobbly stuff. We're able to just we'll skip beefle darks, I guess. That's one damage, really. On the eight damage still. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Alpha's a little, like I said, they're a little loosey goosey. They're getting they're getting beamed a little bit. So, um, uh, as an action, they're just going to um. Well, as their turn, I should say. Um, they're going to take two maneuvers. They're going to um, first go evasive. So they're going to okay. they're gonna kind of like break up from their little cluster there. And they were flying in maybe like a tight diamond or box formation. They kind of break up into a loose, a loose cluster that kind of scissors over each other's formation. Back and forth. And then, uh, yeah, they're just going to drive. Um, so they're going to break away from close back to short and push ever closer to more Iridu. Oh, God. Right, they have a second objective, so yeah. Or they have so, a first yeah, objective. They're gonna so. they're gonna break away and, and try and get some space while they bob and weave. All right, okay. end of the round. Y wings. Uh, so let's see. Let's just uh, roll it. In. Oh, I assume all the ones in the formation are the ones boosting Wabu, so those don't get anything. Yeah, those are the V wings. They're giving Wabu a boost. The Y wings that were loose. Nobody is commanding them currently. So. All right. Uh, all let's just. To a direction. So let's just roll gunnery for them. They're gonna move up close and shoot, and they will pick uh, Charlie because they're unhurt and did actually shoot your Jedi. So they gotta get rid of those guys. They're bad. Get rid of them. Get them out of here. Grin. I gotta think about my next attack. Pop, pop. All right, the all right. Huh. Nice score a hit. They score right, enough for the... linked. They're just firing with the forward lasers. They're not getting fancy, fancy, fancy pants. So let's see. They're what medium forward lasers? Yeah, forward mounted medium laser cannon. So that's six plus two. That's eight. Minus three is five, but they get to linked. That's a full ten. So probably messes up a few of them. We'll clock some damage in, but the, these guys are a little. They're a little beefy. Okay. All right. All right, top of the round. Okay, so what action does it take to disengage the squad? Uh, to like just get rid of your squadron. Yeah. Uh, I think just it's actually like them... dis dismissing them fully is free. I think you can just do that as an incidental. Just have them do their own thing, okay. I guess. Yeah, I think I'll dismiss them. Okay. Just have them act on their own. 
All right. So as an incidental on your turn, you tell them to break off, do their own thing. Yeah. I'll Watch have them. Off. Yep. Okay. Now I'll go after the Alpha Squad again, so I'll use the maneuver to get up closer. Okay. And let's see here. What thing to do? Uh, right. So one more maneuver. Uh, where's the thing? Uh, vehicle combat starts on page number 23 and then just goes from there. Okay. But okay, for maneuvers, there there's, you know, inherent maneuvers like stay on target or evasive. You could do your evasion thing, I think. Yeah, I could do the intuitive evasion. I think I'll punch that. So that's two system strain, and I'll commit one force die. All right. What effect does that have, mechanically speaking? Essentially, it upgrades one of the force dice, uh, upgrade one of the dice, uh, difficulty dice to a red. Okay. Per rank of two to the evasion, which I only have one of. Okay, so it's like sense, but for vehicle combat. Cool. And uh, I su su suffer a strain per turn. All right. So you 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 yell out, "Force, take the wheel!" <laughs> <laughs> Just start start doing your favorite post stall maneuvers. You jank, okay. you juke, you dive, you side slip. I need um, to play an Ace Combat game. <laughs> yeah, I mean you should. Ace Combat Seven is a beautiful piece of work. Yeah, I know. Um, right, they're I love doing it. evasive, so that adds stuff. That upgrades the difficulty of your check to hit them. But okay, also would so upgrade para. any of their combat attacks. So yeah, para. Okay, so para. Okay. Yep. That's everything. And Astromech gives me a boost. Yep. Okay, time to do it. Nothing to it but to do it. Okay. To success. And there's no destiny points left anymore. <laughs> yep. So it's just eight damage. Well, I mean, did we, yeah, we didn't actually flip it for the last one. I don't. Oh think. yeah, so I should just flip it. Yeah, that's just re flip away. Nope. Other way. Use lights. Yeah, so I already flipped that other one. Yeah. So, so this, that's so just it's the just two. Going, it's just the eight damage. All right, so that reduces to five again, but okay, so five plus twelve. All right, you put a couple bolts in in Alpha. Their lead bomber is looking very rickety. You can see clean holes where you've blown through the fuselage. But... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, NPC slots. Okay. So, uh, Bravo. Uh, Bravo has been bamboozled. <laughs> They've been uh, they're bombed. They don't like it. I think um, they're literally like so one, they're going like, to good if you would, like one good blast attack away from dying. Oh, oh yes, definitely. No. If I can do any of, I, I have to wait another yeah. round for um, that. Yeah. Well, yeah. What they're going to do is they're going to take two maneuvers. They're not going to shoot at all. Also, much like Alpha, they're going to scooch back up. They're going to fly closer, and they're going to take evasive as well. So they're going to they're going to starburst away and scatter in a loose loose kind of rotation. I guess I'll formation. try to hunt those down. Uh, and now Charlie gets to go. Now Charlie is mostly fine. They took some hits from the. They took a decent double tap, but that was only one of their vehicles. So uh, there's still a there's still a, a loose Jedi out there. So they're gonna they're gonna um, uh, re-engage the distance with um, pull up to close. Yeah, no, I don't want to. They wouldn't waste any of their their. I'm thinking they could technically shoot torpedoes at uh, Wevu, but they're not gonna waste their ordnance on a single ship, no matter even if it's a Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're, they are under orders to save their bomb stuff for bomb stuff. If only I could drop the bombs on them, but they're too. They're like too. That would require you to make some kind of like pilot check to position yourself. Um, like some fucking daredevil actually, check. Technically, you could use the gain the advantage action that lets you choose what direction you are attacking from and attacking in. You could use that to position yourself so you are literally flying above them. So, so you my gunner could drop bombs on them. <laughs> Don't drop your bomb. Uh, no, your gunner can't. You you gotcha. have to drop the bombs in the gotcha. there. You are Remember, you are the pilot and the bombardier. Gotcha. You still have a fucking uh, frigate to take down. 
Oh, uh, fair, fair. I'll save it for those. Yeah, don't, actually... don't waste all your. Don't waste all your. Much like the droid bombers, don't waste all your 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 ordnance and on one target. Not don't fair. Blow all, all your right. payload before you get the job done. Uh, I got. The, yeah, I got. So the, just shoot I lasers. Got the so. so this is upgraded once, right, okay. Webber? The difficulty is upgraded once, right, Mike? Yes. <laughs> yeah, once. Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll be nice. I will spend a destiny point to add a green die, so you guys get more destiny okay. points back. <laughs> okay, it, I'll probably need that. Watching it double, nah, it was a double success. Okay. Oh, all right. So, uh, they don't hit you, but they do get four advantage. So let's see. Where's my fun charts? Is yeah, there not an inherent I, vehicle combat chart, there, or is that missing? There, from is, there is one, but it only shows the advantage part. Yeah, okay, here it is. All right. It's large ship battles, but yeah, nebula, such battles. Astro no, no, they've got it for vehicle combat. It's missing the threat side, though, yeah. It's on the okay. other page. All right, where are we going to do, do here? We could do a free maneuver. Let's do crits. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, there's terrain okay, charts. Crit, we can do that. No, there's no Our terrain. Thing. You guys are flying in open air. That's just the entire <clears> one. <throat> oh, it doesn't even say you can aim. Okay. Why is... Uh... Why did you not also like? It's not in the list. There should be a, a, somebody should list that you can also just aim. But all right, it's very confusing sometimes about what you can and can't do. Anyway, you're not aiming. You're not doing anything. So they're not gonna do that. Um, let's just go with um. They will add uh, a black die to your next piloting or gunnery check, Wevu. Okay. Uh, and they will add a blue die to their next piloting gunnery computer or mechanics check. So they they just kind of like scooch up behind you in formation and they just blah, 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 like lasers flying all around you you're you're dodging and weaving they don't hit you but you're very boxed in right now okay uh now it is the other pc slot it is you camo you are still within close range of actually no you're not they moved up so you're not you're everybody moved so you gotta move again yeah that's right me i'm smart smart yep. i remember things Don't mind Lucky, he was just looking up fucking brevity codes. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah, you're not in this and we're in a we're in a full bone combat, so Yeah. I kinda I left it open ended, like there was the two seat fighter, like you guys could have buddy copped a little more, but no, it makes perfect sense for Arma to stay behind, so yeah. Yeah. Hopefully I was, I, I honestly, I'm, like, like I'm fine guys. with it. Like I am. I I am I have... Sadly, unlike a true ace combat game, I can't do any cool enemy dialogue because all all the droids do is kind of <laughs> they, they they make um they make like imposing eighties computer noises. <laughs> they make um, they make they make ominous enemy phase noises. No, no. What happens is like like one of them tries to launch you. All you hear is the fucking Windows dial up sound. At like <laughs> no, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. I think I heard once uh, the Imperial March played on a fucking floppy disk. I'm like, I'm thinking those noises. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on. <laughs> Remember that, yeah. Also, like, it's a weird thing, but, like, if there was, like, enemy, like, pilot dialogue, I think Cam would probably be bantering back, but uh, that's a different thing. They're just, they're just yelling the, the fucking There's 1970s like... Battlestar Galactica, by your command. By your command. Get right. these guys off me. Alright. Well, Cam, mm -hmm. Webu did yell at you to get these guys off her. Alright, let's go. <laughs> What are you doing? Right, it's, those things are slow How far are they? firing for the proton ones. Yeah, protons are slow fire one. Um, yeah, how far are they? Uh, both of, both squads have moved back up too short, I believe. All right, I'm gonna move back in on. Uh, I assume Bravo. If, if I just go try to like take out the rest. I mean, of Bravo. this isn't like engaging. You can just move up a range band and be in range of both of them. Yeah, sure. I'll just move in close. Okay, fly again. New. Aim, and I think we're just gonna do what I did last time. Unless there's something that like, changes it. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, just you're just the... using the regular lasers though this time. Um. Yeah. I'm using like the lasers that's all linked. Yeah, so let's see how it goes. So who do you want to engage again? Uh, Bravo. I'm gonna finish them off. All right. I'm gonna try to. Okay. Right. I'll probably at least yeah. get two of them, depending. Eleven. <laughs> yeah. And nine, they are minions, so... so you do you do technically bleed up if you do. Extra you can't do damage. overkill. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bravo did go evasive, I think, also, so you upgrade this once. Okay, so that'd be red-purple. Yeah, red-purple. That and does mean if they want to roll anything to shoot back at you, 
they will upgrade as well because it's not until the end of their next turn. Okay. All right, that's gonna be. Uh, that's still nine. Uh, I don't think it has any breach. Two to links. Uh, yeah. All right, so. How much armor we got? is six. So that scratches that guy. And you hit again, so that scratches that guy. Uh, with, I think, two damage extra. So that guy's sitting 11 out of it. Yeah, so you just you just fire a couple short bursts, and you catch two of them with your lasers. Normally, a single... You know, relatively accurate laser blast. These hyena class bombers are tough enough they could take, but after being, like I said, uh, lightly dusted with a beridium explosion, um, they're not really that resilient anymore. So they <laughs> explode like a couple of cheap fireworks, and kind of <laughs> parts fly off everywhere as they go spiraling to the ground. And I guess in this case, it means that like uh, Low Rider can probably finish this with, like last one off if he can. So it goes. Well, he's still using ion cannons. Yeah. Yeah. System strain is not hull, but he'll take a yeah, shot. Yeah. It's the end. Uh, yeah, you true him, so you're out of maneuvers. Yeah, yeah. So he will roll again. I'm really happy I got true aim. <laughs> wow, damn. Okay. Holy shit. Here comes the you can link that, yeah. Are those also linked? Yeah, they're linked. I think they are. It's, it's, it's a twin iron. Yeah, so he'll linked. Bullseye. Pyong. So that's, that's like, like five plus two. That's seven linked seven. one, yeah. So that's Seven four and four. So that guy takes eight out of twelve strain. Uh, so four, you could right? literally strain him out with. Oh wait, that was the one that wasn't already didn't take away the strain, right? Right. No, yeah, that was the lead guy. Unfortunately, he got blown up real good. Gotcha. You blew, you blew him up just now. But uh, yeah, okay. So Bravo's down a lot. You've been focusing your fire. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. Is once again, I believe Alpha's the last one that hasn't gone right. I think so. All right. So Alpha will again. Let's see. Webby's on their tail. Evasiving. They are. Where's the chart? Let's see, you were at long. Okay. Is my backseat gunner trained in gunnery? Uh, technically yes, but he's a minion. There's gotcha. no. There's no like good stats for. Gotcha. Clone gunners or pilots who aren't minions. So yeah, he's he gets because he's trained in it. He gets to roll his ability dice, so he rolls three greens. Got okay. Got you. He just doesn't have a stat to connect yeah. connect to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The the actual like pi pilot formations actually have numbers to them, so they're minion groups. So they're they're getting a lot of upgrades to actually hit people. But let's see, yeah. Alpha. Let's see. So they're going speed four. They're going as as fast as they can go. They already moved up to short. So. Two to go to medium. Yeah. So I think I think Alpha is just gonna floor it. They're gonna scooch to medium range, uh, which means they are now they are now approaching uh, firing range on more Iridu as they just step on okay. it. That's their whole turn, though. Okay. Oh. You, you guys can start to see on your on the, your scanners. You're looking out of your eyeballs. The cloud parts. You can see the you know, the walls and scaffolding of the city on the horizon. But okay. Uh, end of round. Clones go. So when I roll for them, now two squadrons. Yeah, they're now two Lucy Goosey minions. So. Uh, let's have. The Y wings will keep on. Charlie, where they were before, they will fire lasers, fire their lasers. So what I do Shoot this before? They gonna try their torpedoes? Uh no, probably not unless one of the Jedi yells at them too. They're they're holding back. Got uh, I got you. Oh, are these the uh, bombers or? The... Yeah, the bombers will roll first. Okay. Oh, they get another couple hits in. So that'll be the first guy gets scratched off. Charlie. Yeah, I don't think we need more fighters and stuff, but we definitely need more defenses. Yeah. Uh, no, I gave... I, you should probably not need more fighters. I gave you a very generous air package at base. Yeah, no, that's what I was saying. I was just looking at our numbers. I'm just like, yeah, no, we have plenty. It's just we're kind of flat-footed because we have nothing static to engage them with. We have to scramble stuff. We have to deterrence, yeah. 
No, it's it's almost like you were a science base with a natural defensive formation, and nobody yet actually asked the question, what do we do if they try to just roll up upon us? <laughs> yeah. Well, now what we do. We do? <laughs> well, we've learned uh, now. So we'll throw ev we'll throw everything at them uh, in a desperate hope that it works. That's kind of <laughs> it's working doing. okay so far. <laughs> okay, so we will scratch one Charlie fighter, bomber technically, but you know what I mean. One guy in Charlie goes because they're they're firing their medium, so that's six plus two, so that's eight again. So that's five. They fire again for uh, linked, so. That means that guy is at like six out of fourteen. So, oh, well, I think what would probably call to the V wings to aim at Alpha. I'm yeah. going for Alpha next no, time. No, they were they were planning on engaging your target, but if you want to actually yell at them to do so, yep. So what are V wings? And you, actually, I have, what's my turn? Using I have a good idea. the Using any sort of ordinance they have. I think they have concussion missiles. Yeah, I was about to check. If they got concussion missiles, those are technically. I think they have fighter concussion ordinance. missile yep. launchers. They do. Okay. They will do that. Roger, engage it. They're too far for guns switching to missiles. That's not how that quote goes. <laughs> what? Uh, it's a line from Top Gun. Maverick says, too close for missile switching to guns. <laughs> I haven't seen Top Gun so, in age. I should watch Top Gun again. The sequel will be coming out this year, won't it? Maverick? I I, I don't know. I believe it because it was played for last year, but they had to push it. So. Yeah. Should make sure to actually watch Top Gun again before I watch the new one. Because, you know... Tom Cruise will actually fly fighter jets because he's a lunatic. This is the weird thing where it turns out like that that movie actually might be somewhat accurate to how actual fighter pilots are acting. Oh, no. Well, I mean, no. it was it was it was backed by the Navy. Yeah, no, okay. that's completely the, the Navy aviator program got a shitload of recruits after Top Gun because they thought it looked cool. The the only thing inaccurate about Top Gun is the ranges because they're way too fucking they're flying way too fucking close. But you also can't do camera comp if you. Are flying at actual ranges. It doesn't yeah, so, work. Yeah. Um, okay, but uh, they are going to roll basically the same pool. So they're the same size squadron. Okay, so. Uh, did Alpha. No, Alpha did not evade. They just flew straight, so do purpose. Oh, no. Okay. All right. So that's they not, that's missed. Not, that, sounds, that sounds like classic Omega luck. They do miss, but is it guided? Yeah, they're guided. So we're gonna we're gonna spend. Yeah, I'm trying to think. So they have blast too. We could detonate blast on a miss, but it's yeah. much better if they're guided three. Yeah. No, we'll we'll spend, I believe, three advantage to guided. Well, if you missed on Guided too, can't you still activate Blast? Yeah, anyway? three advantage to go. I, I no, I don't think that logically makes sense. They cannot have the missiles come back around for a second pass and also explode. I, hmm. They could activate <laughs> yeah. Blast on the Guided attack because that's a separate yeah. attack roll. But I, I don't think logically it works that they can explode and also track I mean, around because that's no, what guided no, no. I does meant, like, uh, no i meant the other way around that after the guided attack if it still misses activate blast oh yeah no they could do that because that's a separate attack yeah. roll. i'm <laughs> just what, wondering if i, I can stack I was like, Wait them a minute, yeah i was thinking about guided? the attacking order right they could guided then blow up yes uh i'm just wondering can i i don't think well okay i mean these guys are your allies do you guys mind very much if i spend a triumph to give them an upgraded on the guided i don't care sure Right. I don't mind because they roll green. They roll green dice for that. So yeah, okay. I think that's what I would have wanted them to use. Hit the hit them. Yeah, just we, we, yeah. It's like hit them all. I have a weird idea of having my gunner and try to hit is... the last of Bravo, so I can then go try to hit Alpha. So that may yeah, actually three work. Advantage. Okay. Yeah, there's three advantage for guys, so there's still three advantage left yeah. on the other one. Yeah. Uh. They will add one blue to the next allied character's check, and they will specifically add one blue to Wevu's next pilot and gunnery computers or mechanics check. 
So they generally boy some okay, someone, I'll, but they specifically shout to you, Webu. Uh, they give you a boost. They're like, we've yeah. got you covered, General. It's just shouts in the cars like... And now it's God. the end of the round, so they'll roll guided. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what it gets. Yeah. Oh! Hey! Nice! A hit. Yeah. A palpable hit. They do not get any blast or anything. Uh, well, honestly, or, we didn't need that upgrade. But... Yeah. Double success! Uh, but that does mean that Alpha is gonna and the the lead the lead bomber in Alpha eats a concussion missile as it comes this. around. How hard does this hit? Uh, they're not as hard as uh proton torpedoes, but they're still damn six of breach four. Yeah, that's still gonna pierce their armor. Yeah, that's still like nine damage. Yeah, so that's the full him. Uh, he only had like two health threshold left, so uh, we'll 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 have the bleed through do so that would be like two off the. 7 out of 14. Yeah. yeah, so the concussion missile pierces through the lead one's cockpit. It explodes in a shower of shrapnel, which flies into the guy flying behind him. Funny how that works. That's how it goes. Yep. Droids don't don't need to, like, be far out when there's in formation, because... Yeah. No, this is explicitly noted yeah. for both vultures and hyenas that I talked about this earlier. The fact that they don't have organic pilots means that they're, their droid brains are, are programmed to do some pretty crazy maneuvers. Yeah, so like, yeah. Uh, the main problem is yep. that they're not like so. They have they have stats at one, so they only have one in all ability scores. They have decent skill pools, but they're not very they're not very broadly focused. They're they're talented in specific areas. Yeah. But anyway, okay. Top of the round. Marfi, okay, okay, if I go I'll first. Uh, sure. So Omega. Yep. Uh, I want you to have Lowrider do attack on the last of Bravo. All right. I mean, that's fair. You can wait for him. You can tell him. Do it. Okay. So. I would do then do my move. So. Hold on. Him, so he will do. Actually, wait. No, Bravo isn't. It's still. Huh. Yep. Uh, he's not uh, able to hit that guy. All right. Fuck it. We're moving an alpha. <laughs> all right. Retargeting. Okay. Well, uh, pro it's the uh, proton retrievers are ready, so I'm gonna fire it. Let's fire this yep. alpha. So you take one maneuver to okay. move to short because they're at medium from you because they yeah. double moved. Yeah. All right, but you move. All right, up, we'll, we'll take them next time. Uh, move it in. All right. All right. You're gonna let loose with your proton torpedoes. Anything fancy pants here? Uh, let's see. I'm doing the train. And All right. We're... Remember that's another two system strain. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm ready to like heal after this. Okay. Yeah. What are you at, like, 8 out of 9 or something? Uh, that's another 2. That would be... T we were at 3 earlier. Number 5. As we took one 2 earlier. So... Okay. No, yeah, it would be yeah, over at, like, 7. Or, like, 7 out of 9. Yeah, so you want to... Uh, unless you want to blow your engines out. Well, not really, but, like, do do the classic stall thing. I'm probably going to uh, stall next turn, so... Yeah, you want to make sure not to do that. Okay. That's one. That's... I'm going to take that two strain two. with the astromech boost. I'm going to put that into two advantage because I need to make sure this blasts. Oh, uh, they're not being evasive. They're just moving, so it'd be two purple. Yeah. All right. Purple. Okay, so one strain, two strain. Yeah. All right. Well, they're fucked. Yeah. That's a linked blast again, I assume. Uh, yeah, linked yeah. blast, and that's going to be... That okay, was base so six. I think that's... Let me just check again. It's eight base damage, so it's ten. Yeah, that's ten. ten that's great. Ten. I could have I could have crit, but let's not. I don't ten, need to. Ten twenty, and then blast. So that uh, is the six plus two applied to everybody with the breach. So that's eight. So, yeah, no. Uh, that's gonna be. <laughs> you do twenty, which eats all everything. So alpha two is gone straight up. That's seven. He uses up. So you've got. Another like twelve ish left, I think. Yeah. Let's so see. yeah, basically yeah. basically what happens is everything bleeds up except for the very last guy who's at like the the eight out of fourteen for blast. So yeah. Once again, two proton torpedoes <sighs> slam into one of them. It goes up, yeah. you know, in a brilliant flash of light. Secondary explosion, shrapnel, just the other one eats it, and there's only one bomber left flying in that formation. When you're done. 
All right. <laughs> and I, I, yeah, I, yeah. Okay. And right, and what, was just wondering see, why. She unless I have any, unless I have any remaining advantage, let's see, because I used two for blast, uh, two for guided, so there's uh, one left. Have any oh yeah, do we have the uh the next the one boost to the next person going? Oh yeah, yeah, you should roll one more boost. Oh, yeah, see what happens. Yeah. Maybe I'll get every advantage and give it to Blue. Okay, that's three. So, um, three boosts to the next person going. There's probably Webu. Alright. That means Webu's got a lot of boosts because she got yeah. one yeah. specifically called out for her. Okay. So... Alright. Yep. <laughs> okay. Not... I'm listening to really hype music right now. <laughs> Just some dramatic countdown music, it's like the final. Wait, no. <laughs> no, I think the. Uh... I was into this, but I'll just. Uh, close uh, it Tie fighter attack's probably good. Yeah. You don't like click on this yourself. Very dramatic. Very. Uh, That's when very... I get black bagged by the mouse men. Yeah, uh, you probably can't click on it, but hey. Oh well, yeah, no, only... I personally can't click on anything that's going on right now because I don't want to. I don't want to give the people any more audio treats other than that. By your command, I listened to earlier. Oh. It's a Wasaki Endo song, but so well, like that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a speed dragon. The dragon of speed. You should paint your yeah. Ada class interceptor like a dragon, Webu. <laughs> a blue dragon. <laughs> oh, a white dragon. Anyway, no. Um, I'm anyway. just looking the range. A black wing dragon. Okay, so they are close enough for <laughs> missiles, but not for bombs. <laughs> that as well. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, no. Um, so nice. I think what's going to happen is Alpha will go. There's one Alpha bomber left. He's about to die. Uh, he's going to start trying to dump his payload. So I tried. Okay. <laughs> he's going to roll his uh, <sighs> gunnery shootman pool. Okay. Of whatever cranes. Uh, it's only one part because it's a stationary ground target. And he's going to see it's... if he can connect. And he does. Uh, and so uh, a, a single pair of proton torpedoes flies out of the lead bomber. And just slams somewhere into more Iridu. A storefront somewhere is completely demolished. I think we at least minimize uh, damage to a degree. Well, wait, you're not so done wait, yet, Chief. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What about the A turrets in Mirren? I know there's only four, yeah. but... Actually, that is a good question. What is the range on those? Because these guys have actually got in. Some... i got to look up the anti-vehicle battery. I believe that's in the gear list. Well, they have hit, like, they, I know they have long range sensors. They would have seen these guys coming a mile or what, well, more than a yeah. mile. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, no. These guys are on scopes, but... Uh, let, me... let me stop. Other playing. gear. Maybe they had a shot they got off there. In the gear list, if I remember correctly, it's in the bay of remote. Uh, the 1DP light anti vehicle battery, light anti armor laser cannon. Uh, anti oh, vehicle? no, those are range close, yeah. So they're not they are not within range yet. Okay. Okay, planetary okay, On the so plus that's... side, that means that um, close range is the range for the proton bomb. So this guy's just firing torpedoes at a at a shorter, aka a longer range. So okay, they are not yet in range for their uh, anti vehicle batteries, but they're ready um, because they haven't fired. It's not like this guy. This bomber did not target his bombs at anything in particular. He just hucked a couple proton torpedoes down range. He just tried. He just okay. did his job. Wait, before he died. Die. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. yeah, they're under. They're the bombers are ordered to bomb, so they're they're trying to focus on doing their job, but they are getting their asses kicked, somehow, some way. Um, so that was our yeah. first set of NPCs. Okay. We will have Bravo. Yeah, that last poor motherfucker on Bravo. Well, now that <laughs> Camo has gone out in front of him, <laughs> yeah, no, sir, he's gonna return the favor. He'll fire his proton torpedoes at you. Oh fuck. So can I dodge? Roll. Sadly, no. We've had. This I, want to, I want to Alien roll this. Really? Yeah. Uh, you have to pick up the clone pilot talent tree. Oh, Maybe fuck. if you're gonna do this more, you should. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. This might be. A, I don't think this might be a recurring thing. Uh, but, maybe. but actually, you have shields, don't you? I do. I have armor too. Uh, what's your shield rating in your rear? 
One. Defense 1-1, one, one. yeah. So he actually has to roll a setback for this. Okay, at least have some defense. It's not... Huh. Yeah. Not a lot, but you've got some. So... I put my faith in Omega Luck. <laughs> roll the hmm. dice. <laughs> well, there's an Omega check. Okay, okay so... so that's, uh, that was Proton Torp, so that's going to be... Oh, fuck. It's going to hurt. It's going to be damage... Base damage 8, plus 3, Ugh. 6. So... Oh, that's like almost all of my ship. <laughs> Fuck. So you take uh, 11 oh. hull. Yeah, I'm almost dead. <laughs> Fuck. All right. So, yeah, the, a proton torpedo. Oh, yeah, but your I, uh, it's too strained, so it maybe knocks itself out. <laughs> Probably uh, not. Yeah, we can do that. It can take two system strain. Um, it, so it, <laughs> you hear briefly over the over the line in binary, from hell's heart, I stab at thee. <laughs> <laughs> and then a proton torpedo slams into your back armor, and it like it, it like it, it like crashes into some shrapnel or something. Or something I don't know. No, I think it just it pushed itself too hard to catch up with you, and just it it hits the limits of its vehicle and just locks up and just and it's gonna have a lovely long plummet to earth. Okay, yeah. it's, like, it's like yes, I fucked, I got, I got him. Oh shit, the ground's uh, yeah, gonna so, uh, Camo, your your fighter bomber rocks. Yeah, oh, I, I'm probably doing a stall turn to heal my ship. Right now. Your, uh, your, your astromech, who's also, by the way, riding back behind the gunner, just goes, wow! <laughs> um, you know, sparks fly out of your displays. Uh, you know, your, your engines kind of, boop, 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 like, they're like, whoa, what was that? You know, bits of armor, armor plating fly off into the night. You're trailing smoke. I, I guess if... I well, guess if I'm instead of like this right, Camo, you only have one health threshold left. I only have one health threshold left. Yeah, it's why I'm taking a stalter to heal my he shit. Has to, he technically has to um exceed to, yeah. to exceed. Yeah, um, but no, yeah. So like, what one of your fellow bombers is probably like, uh, so I'm alive. Roll a D12. What's, what? You stole your ship from Amber Nine. So okay. Uh, Amber Nine, are you all right? Processing. Uh, gonna need stall. Cover. All right. <sighs> it's fine, boss. I'm still okay back here. All right, good little rider. Little rider coughs through his his flight suit. Bummer, if Lower hit that shot loop, but okay. <laughs> but uh, whatever it happens. Oh, that's, that's that's, that's, that's how it goes. by the way, this is why I'm not going ham on the torpedoes. But I figured since this guy was gonna die, I would I would have a go. I mean, okay. no, like structure. Uh, oh fuck. Man, and now it's Webu's turn. If I was in a if I was in a ship more often, I might actually consider pilot. <laughs> but we could do some fun stuff. Webu, you are up. PC slot. Okay. So there's so... one guy left in Alpha who fired his payload at the enemy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I might as well take care of that one. They're medium range. Uh, no, you, uh, you got up with these guys last time, so you're back at short. Okay. He did not, uh, he fired his shot, so okay, he did not move short. any closer. Okay, I'm just looking at this. What does game mean? Uh, gain the advantage lets you pick the direction you're firing yeah. from. Like, technically, at any point, I could have these guys just say, oh, they flip on that a die and shoot back at you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, gaining advantage means that until they roll to not do that, they literally cannot attack you. You are, you you do the full blown "I have you now" thing. Uh, okay, I'll. Okay, so they're short. But that's of... a, it's keep in mind that's an action. So. Okay. Oh, right. That's an action. Uh... Yes. No. Okay. Gaining advantage is slightly bullshit. Yeah. Uh... I have. Okay. Let's. Okay, so I think I'll do get into short and do stay on target. Okay, you move to yeah. short, you do stay on target. So that's six out of my eight strain <laughs> threshold. You are and two you. on a uh, two on Webu, <laughs> and that's just one on the from the. Oof. And uh, one from the intuitive invasion. <laughs> yep. On me. Yeah. Um, so I assume you're you're maintaining just... intuitive invasion. Yeah. So that's covering three. Okay. 
but you have done stay on target. Stay on target. Yep. Stay on target. So I upgrade my thing. You upgrade your once, shooting check. Anything that, and then anything that targets me upgrades once. Yeah, we'll see if they get to that. I mean, technically, I guess okay. uh, Charlie has a turn left, but. Okay. I yeah, I give you one back. You can roll it. Dark turn. pips. So I can spend dark pips if I need. And I have one boost from that one guy, then three boosts from X. Yes. You can also remember you have an Astro Max, so okay. you can. But that's five boosts. Yeah. And then two purples. Have they yep. broken their evasive maneuvers? Yeah, they're evasive okay. ended. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. Two force pips. Okay. Inconceivable. Okay, so this is where I spend a destiny point and use well, both okay. dark pips. Why? Do your do your base uh, math first. What do you got there? Okay. What's your damage? Okay, that's a base. Oh, yeah, I, do, I probably don't need it. So that's eight minus three. All right, eight minus three. So five again. You have enough to link, so you can hit him for another ten total. Oh, yeah, I don't need to. Yeah, that'll take care of him. Yeah, I don't need to, so yeah, I'll just likes. do that. Just All right. Us. So uh, remember, these are hy hyena droids are a lot like vultures, so they're actually variable geometry. So Al Alpha Alpha Four, the last the last droid bomber in that formation, pops his head around to look over his droid shoulder and just like, Mer and then just you just put both laser blasts right in his dumb droid eyes and just <laughs> it evaporates into shrapnel, which falls harmlessly into the delta. Alpha is taken care of. All right, lost is Charlie. Charlie right. has yep. three total vehicles left in it. Okay, so that's... I have one advantage left, so I guess yeah. I'll give a... Give a boost to whoever goes give next. Give a boost to whoever goes next. I guess the squads. Okay. Charlie will... What's more entertaining? Oh, it's way <laughs> more entertaining if they try and shoot down Webu, yeah. I guess <laughs> were they were they the central bombers were like the, all, all twelve of them bombers. All twelve were bombers. Okay, right, because all the other the remaining other aerial fight force was like yeah was no um, uh, somewhere what the actual chatter you guys is you guys are hearing the heroic cheering of Arama squad back at base you know uh, as you know the the guys in Coral and Carmine are just racking up the kills. I just noticed the dumb thing of. Yeah, Camus get... had a fucking Gundam pilot situation of being like, I know how to shoot. I don't know how to fly that well, but I fucking pulled it off when I know how to shoot and fly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, fuck, I, okay. Except huh. for that, you know, torpedo in your backside. Well, I don't know how to barrel roll yet. <laughs> That's true. You don't. <laughs> or at least I could do it in a submarine, not in an aircraft. <laughs> you know, uh, what was it? Uh, you know, Crazy guy, man. <laughs> Lowrider's low talking to you, and he's like, so... You didn't. You didn't think to evade that one, Chief, and it was like, I don't. I, I don't know how. I tried. <laughs> I, I know how to move the throttle up and down and pull the trigger. Okay. <laughs> it's like I know how to lock this thing. I know how to like know the perfect angle. I know how to. I know how to shoot. I know how to pull the shot. <laughs> okay, Axe. I'm gonna tell you right now. You can't brag about this for the next five minutes. No, that's sir. Yeah. I was. Right. I would, no. <laughs> it's Charlie. Yeah. will move on Everybody, to <laughs> Sorry. Sure. Let's make it easy. Let's stay on target. So. I'll just keep track okay. of five minutes. Yep. 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 Rup, pup. And, yeah, we went for them. By the way, we've been going for over four hours, guys. Just letting you know. I know. Yeah, yeah we're at 420. Okay. Just blaze. What is that? Uh, well, okay. and, uh, yeah, we'll be ended after this. There's, we'll, We're halfway through the waves, we'll call it. I figured this might actually okay. stretch because of the downtime so stuff. So what's... But... So, you take a whole whopping it's about load of damage. Two. Nah, it's probably all right. Seven before armor. So, I think it drops down to five. Okay, so seven minus two, five, so nine out of ten. Jeez, you both are down. Fuck. 
Oh, almost down, I should say. Lasers fly towards you. They slam into your backside also and just pop, 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 pop. Just, you know, blinking lights are going on. Breep, breep, breep. Flashing lights. Your astromech does the thing where it pops up the little fire extinguisher and like... Psh, psh. <sighs> Might scream like... Wah. I don't actually want to. No, scream. this one doesn't scream. We've already had our, our scream. He's he this one's like it's it's you know like that's that's well there goes the warranty, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's not actually a Mac um it's not actually um spec for um combat, it's spec for bureaucracy. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, you voided the warranty. I was like every missile you fire calls cost calls the republic that much. Have you filled out the the requisite forms? Well, luckily, whoever doesn't have to worry about that, she's not loaded with missiles. <laughs> I also, I don't have to sign any paper. I'm like, I feel like Kevin's like also the one person of the team that doesn't actually have to sign paperwork that much. They can't find him to make him sign it. <laughs> uh, hey, Commander, what did you do today? Uh, Classified. <laughs> <laughs> he just submits all his reports in black ink. <laughs> Redacted. I can't read it. That's the point. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, he does take one badness point. Oh no! no one badness. Bad guy. <laughs> That's I don't badness. think that does much. One strain. Whatever it uh, says. Whatever it does. <laughs> well, we could have him suffer a strain. Or we could have him slow down. Huh. Ooh, excuse me. Don't worry. We're I almost done. Slow. I guess slow down. All right. So they they have to lose some speed to get their steady aim to actually hit you. You're bobbing and yeah. weaving all over the place. Yeah. All right. <sighs> you know your cockpit judders. Sparks fly again. Alarms. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Hull integrity is it? Is it? Uh, you know, ten percent. It's like <sighs> we've given it our all. Uh, at which point the clones are just like, "Oh, the was hit! Quick, everybody, like, shoot like, those guys! That one down! Somebody shoot that man! Shoot no, yeah, her!" Again. It's uh, like just shouting to all the communications to the uh, like, "Take the that one, one down!" Blasters. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Triumph. So that's a dead minion. And that's like, and uh, they, they shoot do... missiles or just lasers? Three. Nah, the, uh, I believe conks are also slow fire one. So, okay. What yeah. if conks are slow? Himself. So they will just shoot their basic baby medium laser cannons. So that's another Still six nine. plus two. So eight. Yeah. Or did they roll three? No, they got three. Yeah, nine. Okay. But minus two armor, or minus three armor is uh, six. Six. So we do six. So, they get a crit, you know, they shoot one, one just evaporates as it takes a couple shots, they strafe another couple. Okay. So, we are down to a mere two in Charlie. Uh, Y-Wings are going to go in on there. Okay. Whoever did technically order them to fire the missiles. Yes. So, they'll, they'll lock this guy, you know, there's two of them left, they're like, all right. I better back off. Danger close. Firing a torpedo salvo. It hits. Okay. I don't know why. I'm imagining it gives like the thunk sound. Oh, right. I mean, damage. you can. All all of these have canonical sounds. You can go find on the internet what like uh, Skywalker sounds official proton torpedo noise is. It's it's the <laughs> it's the chunky one. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, so there's two vehicles left. That's going to be, what, like, nine? Nine, nine breach. Wait, no, that's both on torpedo. That's a lie. Yeah. So. Not that those don't have a distinctive sound as well, but yes, yeah, so that's yeah. two, nine. So the last Charlie vehicle is at seven out of 14. He's at 50%. Okay. Oh wow! Yeah, I guess there's one vehicle left. You guys are mostly untouched, um, though. Both of our both of our main character pilots are good. Um, I'm gonna need to. Like, yeah, we're ready to. Install. Okay, well, I guess I'll I'll ask you guys the question as the as the pilot characters. Um, 
uh, let me let me figure out what this guy wants to do, and I'll ask you how you want to behave about it. So let's and then we roll a die, as I love to do for things. Threat. Yeah, no. Uh, so this guy's going to keep going. He's going to go balls out, and he's going to try and overfly Wevu and, like, get over the city to drop bombs. What are your orders? As you guys okay. are quite well beat up and almost have, have redlined your vehicles, like, what what or would you want to do? Uh, okay, orders are take that one down. And All I right. one thing. Can I do a mechanics check to like heal strain so I can move close enough so my gunner can take a shot? Uh, I mean, you probably still you could don't even have to make a mechanics check. You can just take two maneuvers if you don't take an action. But okay. no, this is this is more narrative than that. There's a lit there's literally a single enemy and there's twenty five fighters up here with him. Um, he's pretty fucked. The question is just like you guys are gonna push on. Okay. Um, it's like even I mean, if I think starts stalling, I'm gonna Is Wevu? I would like you to roll me an average leadership check to see if you can get this group coordinated enough to pinch that guy, because god, he's really fucked. There's all that. Check my assistance, if I, if anything. This is probably the last, yeah, this is probably the last check of the night, so I mean, you know, go nuts. And I guess no... I wonder if I hit duty. Hmm. Uh, this guy? No. Uh, actually, yeah, no, wait, this guy stayed on target, so. Yeah. Uh, but no, you're not making an yeah. attack roll, so. Can you... Okay, yeah, 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 papa. Okay, so, this is weird, but technically, your astromech says it, it gives you a boost to one skill check of your choice, so. I do actually think <laughs> you could get this the boost. One, you might as well. Okay. It. Take it. It just, you know, it coordinates your radio. Okay. All right, yeah, uh, that's a triumph. That guy goes down, um... You you have the V wings because they're pretty fast, and yourself basically punch out in front of him, and the Y wings box him in, and you do you do an entrapment formation, and just uh, you don't need to use ordnance anymore, and this guy just eats it, like you just encircle and frag him, and his bits of shrapnel don't even land on the city. So uh, you know, uh, Amber and Shade squadrons plus one Jedi, you know. Over, overfly the city of more Iridu engines screaming. Uh, some of you trailing smoke. Uh, but uh, other than a single proton torpedo, which technically did delete at least one building, he didn't get to roll blast. Yeah. So we'll we'll say that the shape charged went you know clean through. The problem with using armor anti armor ordnance on soft targets, but um yeah, uh, there's definitely at least four figures, if not five figures of property damage done. Yeah. We can cover there's probably that. a small fire that's been started. Uh, but, uh, again, more Eridu is remarkably intact. Um, you probably see some people breaking the discipline that uh, the militia enacted when, you know, Code Zero got called. Mm -hmm. uh, breaking, <laughs> breaking, you know, the rules to actually break cover and, you know, cheer at you as you fly by, throw their hats up in the air. <laughs> We gotta start with the big uh, one right now, but yeah. Today's, a, today's a, a good day as you guys make your plans to circle around. Meanwhile, back at base, mm -hmm. uh, ever you know, our Ar Arma, you finally got your your glorious you know iron curtain rolled out. <laughs> your 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 two squadrons of fighters you got up there managed to to pull their self back into formation. Uh, as you get it, you get a call back from base, and you see in your own scopes. All right, the the liquidation preference is getting closer, but we've got six new targets. It looks like enemy gunships coming in. And when we come back next week, that will be Wave 3 Predators. Scary. How many waves are here? <laughs> I'd say four or five. Uh, I may have said already we're halfway through the waves. So. Oh, yeah, four. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so but, uh, Yeah, so the next Wait. wave, when we come back, will be uh, half a dozen HMP gunships loaded with a mix of BX Commando and B2 Battle Droids. Oh, God. Oh, ready no! to rock and roll. I need to like. Get, I need to get. I need to replace it. Well, yeah, ship you, or you guys are, are are not gonna be first crack at this problem. I would need to like. I need to like shift to a different. Yeah, craft. we're gonna be taking a while to. Well, here's the take thing, guys. Like I said, we've sorted back. most things. Unless you want to start pulling out the mothballed. Um. um yeah. I mean. Uh, I, yeah, no, if you wanted to hot swap, you'd have to land. Now, keep in mind, you're riding a yeah. Y wing that's got one point of hull trauma left. You might want to land anyway. 
I, I, yeah, exactly. Like, or it's like, I, I need to repair. <laughs> uh, I mean, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll figure that out. We'll do this in the post show. Uh, that's it for tonight. Thanks so much for going. So okay. let's see. You guys defeated two waves. XP. So we'll call that 10. Yay. Um, also, you did do your downtime, and you know, it's been a little bit. And I know you guys got some purchases. We'll round that out mm -hmm. to 15. Anybody want to make a good coist? Good case, good case for their motivations. The mission. Yeah, no, battle. I mean you you rode your ass into the it, you flew into the sky to go do the mission, even though you're not good at that. <laughs> I'm looking at shooting I'm really good at flying today. <laughs> you you almost mission. got your ass blown out of the sky for the mission. Yes, sir. You may take your five extra points. <laughs> yeah, I would you. like to say I would like to say that I got people are counting on me. I basically put forth a defensive um plan first to make sure that everyone was safe before we actually started rolling out a lot of um actual um... yeah uh you actually in fact directly split your force mm -hmm. when 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 i brought up the civilian evacuation you were totally like shit that means i have to take care of those people yes mm -hmm. so yeah now you can get yours yay yeah um, i know so mine's gonna come like a a a a your okay. support right giving... wait no that's uh, not... damn it yeah like, I didn't really do much to help uh, the other clones or people I consider family. The only thing I, ki I kind of did was, like, ra raise morale or rally everyone at that one moment. But I really don't think that's worth uh, five uh, I mean, it, it didn't directly come up, but you you were out there in the hairy zone. Just just because yeah. you, got, you didn't get your shit pushed in on that first pass, because you guys didn't fuck up that bad. You, you were out there with the men, like... You fought those buzz sure. I'm I'm willing to count it. I mean, you're an officer yeah, now. I'm to count there, I'm it. Um, you you were out there with them. And sometimes uh, sometimes it's uh, uh, just the fact of you standing by your dudes, you know. Okay. Like I still uh, would have uh, given Axe his plus five, even if he hadn't been hit by that torpedo, because he was out there in the in the <laughs> thick of it for the mission. But like now, you were you you were risking yourself with those people. You could have stayed in the command center or stayed in back, waiting for waiting for injuries to pile up. But no, you were out there. And we're attacked by buzz droids, even if they were horrifically incompetent. So, question: Should I get targeted yeah. low or natural marksman? Right. Uh, whatever okay. floats your boat. Um, right. We'll talk about that more later. So, so yeah, get, honor in battle. Yes, the, you, you, yeah. Honor in battle. Yeah. Yes, you. Then, you rode uh, out to meet your enemy do I in hit, person. Do I hit my duty because that's air superiority? Oh yes, fuck yes. You. Uh, let's let's give you five duty. Yay. Okay. Uh, I, Camo did not yet do any sabotage. Maybe next time. Maybe when I actually like bomb the fuck I out. I might of get them. some civilian support if after this fucking thing we have to do a cleanup operation or something. Yes, you will probably I mean, you know, not get, get your up some money. Really that other. guy's pick some like shops. His personnel, right? Yeah. His personnel. I also don't think that came up yet. You did organize people, but that's just general logistics stuff. Personnel is like yes. making sure your personnel are healthy, trained, armed. So actually, but I might start putting you. I might start putting you in train a charge of uh, training the militia. Now that I think about it, anyone else got their duty raised? No, not, no, not yet. Not me. Okay, okay. And nobody okay, wanted so to one. like. What is it like? Two advantage, I think, to get a duty bump on the mass combat chart or something. I don't think, any, I don't think anyone got two advantage to spend yeah. on it. No, you yeah. only got like one. I think. Uh, you and your are... role rolled like five billion success. It was like four. Yeah, like, for success what, straight up. Yeah, so you completely crushed the only times them. I rolled for mass oh, yeah. combat, uh, you saw my failure with a triumph. 37? Yeah, but okay. So uh, that's that. That is 59 um, duty. Nice. Don't You oh. don't have to roll conflict yet, because this is we're literally splitting the session. So oh, just wow. keep, keep any conflict you've earned in yeah. mind. <laughs> Two. That's me. <laughs> Should we keep the same destiny pool? Uh, no, I've it's maxed out. I I'll let you reroll it next time. Needs to be better. It's or pretty worse. brutal. We'll 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 shake that up a little. Though I mean, I could I could keep yeah. it at like six dark for funds, but no, I think you guys will have a hard enough time. Um, yeah. I so I I have I've mentioned the vehicle load before. Uh, you guys can look up the stats on all uh droid fighters and ground vehicles, including the HMP. So it's uh it's not nothing to fuck with. Uh yeah yeah. So yeah, I guess we got like then like the special like honor guard of these things, and then the actual ship itself. Like fuck. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't. I could keep the suspense. I don't feel bad about letting you guys in the audience because I'm still rolling the mics because we haven't finished yet. Mm -hmm. Um, the audience at home know uh that uh there's there's two more waves. So predators is the third wave, and then the fourth wave, the boss wave, is the dealing with the frigate itself. 
because you you can't leave that one to. Uh, this is all like the, yeah. This is all vehicle combat, right? Yeah. Oh. Maybe, maybe, maybe well, a hot spot. Uh, get... You guys can okay, plan well, uh, to tackle your problem with the frigate uh, next week. Yeah. I am going to sign off, everybody. Good night. Uh, yeah. Good night.